gains that confidence, uh, plays a few uh, good events, stops looking inwards into his own insecurities. I like the no expectation part. So like that's something that has gotten better because sure, it's like not my full time job. It's definitely good for chess in India. And now there is Olympiad also. So there'll be more people following and mm -hmm. taking up chess as professional sport. Yeah. And it's surprisingly concrete still, no? Like, yeah. he takes d4, good move, this d takes d4, this d takes d5. This line was essential and forced, but uh, also not uh, rocket science to my bow. It's time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Move Trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery. played the Berlin which I sort of expected but I didn't really know what to do against because in reality very few people do when we are playing a, an even game against someone of similar strength to us usually we need to give something in order to obtain the initiative just how shrewd and cunning Ali Reza can be even with uh, very little time. I want to show you a game just to prove that I play these lines. I played against former world number two and a bit of a superstar, Gata Kamsky. This is John. John loves to study chess. This is David. David loves to study chess as well, but efficiently. John spends more time setting up the board and figuring out what's on the page of his book than he gets to study. David likes to take it easy and use his time wisely. David has finished his exercise for today. John should try the same. As a kid, I spent hours every day reading about chess, about openings, chess history, and games played between world champions, grandmasters, all of them. My apps make learning much easier. Everything I know, you can find in my apps. Magnus Trainer, Tactics Frenzy, and Play Magnus. You can learn the basic rules of chess, train with our 400 lessons, 
and even play against my digital self. Download and try my apps for free. Seriously? Checkmate! Aim Chess is an intelligent system that analyzes your game, prevents mistakes, and develops recommendations for improving your skill. Phew. Welcome everybody! My name is Jan Pomnishi, former World Chess Champion. Are starting a new course here for Chessable? A very special chessable course. Master your chess with Judith Bolger. You know what? I learned a lot. Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world, with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive chessable courses. Hi there, it's me, John Chess, inventor of chess. And are you sick of sucking at chess? Well, lucky for you, I have also invented AIM Chess. Look at this chess puzzle. Did you solve it? Of course not, that's because you're not using AIM Chess. AIM Chess is a digital chess trainer that helps you improve by creating unique lessons based on your recent games. Just link your chess.com or VChess account and feel that brain wrinkle. Yeah, see, you shouldn't have blundered your queen just there. <gasps> now I know! Thanks, AIM Chess! Now all that's left to figure out is how that funny horse moves. They even got acquired by that one chess player other than Hikaru, so you know it's good! Hi, it's me, that guy I just mentioned, and I am the best chess man in the world. But thanks to AIM Chess, I also have a girlfriend now as well. This could be you! Personalized training, game reports and analysis disease, study plans, sick luscious hair. Intuition Builder. All this and more available on AIM Chess. Hello? Courtney, did you know that AIM Chess users improve their ratings 43% faster than average? What? So what are you waiting for? Join AIM Chess today. Links will be somewhere, probably. I don't know, I just made the video. AIM Chess. Sign up now and get 50k silver and two free months off your VPN. Now that's what I call a queen's gambit. <laughs> that's so fucking dumb. AIM Chess. For when you aim to chess. That's their slogan. It's what they say. Ready, AIM Chess. That's another. It's... Look, it, just sign up for aim chess, okay? Just come on. Literally, why not? All right, just stop being a dick for like five seconds and just go. All right? Jesus Christ. Now anyone can learn and improve their chess skills with the world champion, Magnus Carlsen. The Magnus Trainer app is packed with fun mini-games and interactive training content. Playable anytime, anywhere. Get the Magnus Trainer, available in the App Store and Google Play. Hello everyone, welcome back to the second day of the second Fisher Random World Championship. The second day, first game's uh, position was just drawn. A lot of excitement by the players, a lot of excitement by us. And uh, let me introduce my partner, Nils Grandelius. Hi Nils, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm very excited, of course, for today. How did you recover from all the action we have seen yesterday? 
<laughs> the question is if I did, yeah, <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a lot to take in, I have to say. Uh, but I mean, as commentators, it's of course a little bit easier than than for the players. Yeah, we are mainly enjoying the process, no matter what happens. Exactly. I mean, uh, the reason why is because my head is still spinning for all the action. Yeah, it's uh, and and all these memories, these flashbacks were coming back and and trying to understand what happened. And it was also very interesting to hear what Magnus had to say about his blunder. I mean, basically, we talk about two blunders, but especially the the second one against Hikaru that. Basically, in that position where he blundered the rook, he intended to play f3. And after knight b5 to play a6. And uh, he had calculated, we have been discussing it, it wasn't a clear position. But in fact, those were the best moves in the position. And then how frustrated you should get when you suddenly make the, the second move first. yeah, and, and you lose on the spot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, as we said, the position wasn't... Uh wasn't very clear at all and easy to to get confused but still uh, making the second move in the sequence is very tough of course yeah yeah so basically okay magnus needs to recover we we talked about it prior to the show that we have a very special day today because we will have two mini matches by the same opponents yes yeah? so for example in group a we might be having a decision today between Wesley So and Jan Yapomyashi after they both lost yesterday to Abdul Satarov. They are under a lot of pressure. Yeah, whoever loses both mini matches is practically almost out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot to, uh, <laughs> a lot to play for, definitely. <laughs> Would be very exciting. Yeah, there is. Uh, we are waiting for the new starting positions. I mean, it's just so funny. Also, as a commentator, I'm coming to the broadcast, and you know, I want to have everything ready. And yeah, I still don't <laughs> exactly. have. You know, I still don't have the system running because we are waiting for the new positions. But by the way, we were discussing uh, the procedure yesterday. What happens with the seconds in between the games and so on? Uh, and I asked now the organizer, and the point is, they get these 15 minutes. But then there is no more contact, so no contact before the second game. So this means not only that they have only 15 minutes to prepare for one color, but they actually have 15 minutes to prepare for both colors, yeah? Because it's also the second game that has to be played. So it's like seven and a half minutes per game, or how do you say? I mean, it's really almost no time at all, yeah? Yeah, wow, this is actually a fantastic information. Yeah, very good that you are sharing this, because now we can imagine what's really going on. Then we have to say that 15 minutes is even less than we we already thought it was too little for one game. Yeah, so for two games, it's really uh, almost nothing, I would say. Yeah, so basically, the players are relying on their own experience from the game. Yeah, they can take it with them themselves yeah? and maybe look at the other. Ah, that's why also Magnus is looking around who is doing what and how things are progressing. It's perfectly understandable. Yeah, definitely. But that's why I thought it was so interesting yesterday when they played the, the second game. Uh, so they have this information from the first, and we saw four different first moves from white. Like, so they are all drawing their different conclusions. Yeah. Yes. Just goes to show how complicated it is, of course. Yeah, it's just uh, unbelievable. I mean, okay, but all this excitement, also. I mean, I'm I'm so much waiting for. Let Let me even check the system. That do I already get the positions? Because I'm so excited. We We have already seen that the king was on on C1, C1. I think. Yeah. Oops, no, I started the wrong day. So let me... Yes, we have. So we can already start discussing. Let me share you the screen. Hang Do on. you think they made some general preparations for the Fisher Random? Like uh, maybe just some themes, yeah? some Not the entire position, but like, uh, like we saw yesterday, for instance, with this bishop on h1, knight on g1. Very often you have to play bishop g2 before you play knight f3 for this kind of stuff. Do you think they uh, they gave it some thought before the, the tournament? I'm not sure. I mean, now that uh, they got all these type of positions where it really mattered, uh, I think they will. Uh, this will be certainly one of the main motives. And I actually wanted to ask you that if, for example, your best friend will be playing in the next uh, 10 minutes uh, Fisher Random game, based on yesterday's experience, what would be your advice that you would be telling him what he should pay most attention to? I think take his time. Yeah, <laughs> that's my main, uh, let's say, conclusion from yesterday that and this that you keep the same, let's say, speed as in a normal rapid game, it seems to simply not work at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that's uh, that's very clear. And uh, also now we can already talk. Yeah, we have the live board. 
The, the first thing that I noticed that there is an undefended pawn on a7 and on a2. So, yes. for example, a move like f4 could eventually gain a big tempo. Yes, definitely. And and another thing that I noticed immediately is the placement of the kings and the rooks. Yeah, they are all very close to each other. And that, to me, is always very confusing. Because, like, when you castle, let's say, short, you actually move the pieces very far away, yeah? much farther than a normal castle, yeah? Ex exactly. Also, Basically, that, that would mean that the white king goes to g1 and the rook from d1 goes to f1, right? Exactly, exactly. That's that's the short castle, which already feels a bit odd with king on c1 and rook on d1. And, I mean, it's, and long it's castle, a super long castle, in fact, yeah? <laughs> the, the king stays, yeah? Yeah, but then also long castle is a bit strange, yeah? Because you already have a rook on d1. So where do you put this rook, yeah? Normally, one of the main advantages of castle is that you immediately get the rook into the game, yeah? But... If let's say the D file is open, you, your rook on D one will not move, most probably. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's very... Yeah, this is a very bizarre position, very bizarre stuff. Exactly. Like the, when the rooks and the kings, they they, in my opinion, are actually the most important uh, pieces for the for the starting position because they make it so so different because of because of this castling, right? Yeah. Yeah. But okay, now let's let's talk some lines and uh, okay, the very first question right. as we started, yeah, what happens after F four hitting the pawn on A seven? Yeah, so the first question is, of course, at least it's first question in my head. I mean, can we sacrifice it? Yeah. Uh, let's say, I don't know with which move, but let's say I just play f5 for the for the sake of argument to see if yes. it's a threat. So you and take, I play, takes, you jump, knight, yeah. Knight b6, yeah. So I'm threatening to trap the queen and I will win another tempo. And where is the queen? Uh, queen going? Oh, I'm, I'm spotting some very funny line. We have to show it. <laughs> so for for example, I I already hear from you laughing that you you understand what I'm talking about. That there are all kinds of things like okay, the bishop on f8 is high. You can even argue you can start with bishop g6 with a yeah. tempo, and then after queen takes a2, there might be queen takes a1. Threat. Queen takes a1 threat. Yeah. Okay. Probably white will play knight b3, but uh... yes, exactly. Just wanted to highlight that there are, there are already but, some mating ideas, right? But in general, start. we can we can say. I mean, to my mind, it looks like uh, fantastic compensation. I mean, most yes. probably very very good for black. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I mean, so basically, it means that after f4, maybe black can afford to simply ignore the. Sure, sure, sure. The pawn on a7, okay, then if white plays knight b3, black plays knight b6. Yeah, I'm curious also what happens on uh, on the other side, uh, because there is also this knight g3 followed by e4, like we saw a similar idea, but on the other side, part of the board yesterday, yeah? that you attack the pawn and next move you want uh, to break. Exactly, yeah. For example, if black would just prematurely play a move like g6, then e4 gets some space. Yes, exactly, activates the pieces a bit, and so also the knight is now... Quite, exactly, uh, yeah. With, with the pawn on g6, suddenly the bishop on e8 is dead, the knight from h8 is not feeling happy. So, yeah, one really has to be careful. Yeah, but definitely, like, yeah, there is no question that f4 is the most natural first move, let's say. Yeah? Yes, I, I think that here it's, it's quite obvious that we're going to be seeing quite a lot of f4s. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you and know, and what if we just try something else, like knight b6 and we don't fix anything yet? Yeah, that's that's a good question. Uh, I mean, e4 of course looks very natural. Uh. Yes, e4 looks very natural. And, and then I don't know if, let's say, you play uh, d5. I, I mean, what what now? Already we have to start to to calculate. Like you can gain some space with e5, but uh, yeah, what it, is this position? Yeah, exactly. This is... is the center weak or is it strong? Yeah, so maybe g5, yeah, just yeah, some, to... either g5, yeah, or f6 first. Uh, I'm yeah, not sure, but one, uh... of, one of these breaks, yeah, very messy because actually the king will have very hard time moving from. Exactly. I mean, that's what I was saying in the beginning with these rooks, yeah, that actually they are both very far from castling, so many pieces has to move. So, yeah, and also bad news is that if you move the rook from d1 just to prepare your long castle, your opponent will already know that you want to castle long. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, this looks like quite nice counterplay. I, th I mean, it's very hard to say, but uh, exactly to me, definitely. Like, also, this bishop h5, yeah, will be <laughs> can be very uh, unpleasant in some moment. Uh, currently, there is g4, but but let's say a bit later, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, 
Yeah, a big, big challenge for, for all the players. I, I already feel that so, they yeah. are very tense. It's also kind of a big question that do you feel like, is, is it an advantage to have the white pieces in the first game when still none of the sides really know what's going on or it doesn't matter? I think it's a bigger advantage than in normal chess to start with white, yeah? I also have this feeling, yeah, because... It's because somehow... with black, you will equalize, yeah? I mean, if you know what you are doing. But with white, you might be like Magnus, for instance, yesterday, yeah, winning in five moves. Or Wesley, especially. This Wesley against Gretelson, where he was just completely winning after five moves, yeah? Yeah, but and those I mean, moves that, were that not... was exactly the second game of the match. Exactly. And those moves were not even very strange moves. It's not like Gretelson played something, uh, I mean, very bad, yeah, or very strange. He played quite natural, actually. Yeah, but it turned out to be very, very, very bad. So yeah, exactly. I think this is one of the biggest dangers in uh, Fisher Random. That I mean, just making some natural-looking moves can lead to a lot of trouble. Yeah. Now yeah. here, of course, we should also mention that the move d5. Yeah, it looks very natural. D5, just ignoring the pawn. Still ignoring it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it... You you are provoking. Okay. Let's let's grab it. Uh, you th yeah. Of course, it's a better version to take now. But okay. Knight b6. Knight b6. Okay. I have to come back with the queen. That's for sure. Yeah. But now I have e5. I thought you want e5. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How many tempies do you get? I mean, <laughs> in normal chess, we used to say one pawn is three tempi, Yeah. And here, I feel like I have more than three, maybe. Like now maybe take and my g6 is another tempo. Yeah, it's another tempo. I only don't know. Yeah, It's very funny to kind of discuss that. Where does this tempo lead us to? But yeah, okay, it looks promising for black. Yeah, Of course, white structure is very solid. Yeah, because it didn't move a single <laughs> yeah. pawn. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh... no, nothing moved yet. I haven't shown my cards yet, but it's also not a good sign. Yeah, Exactly. My... At some point, you will actually have to move. Yeah. Yeah. And only my queen moved so far. Yeah. So basically going pawn hunting, uh, I think it already illustrates. Maybe I should have after knight b6 gone queen a5, but then you can even recapture the pawn immediately. You can recapture at least. Yeah. So. Yeah. And of course, much more tempting to take it with the rook than the queen. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. This, this actually already shows that I'm very happy because... First, I was, you know, afraid that we might get a position where White gets a clear advantage by going f4 and uh, putting putting the pressure right from the start on the pawn on a7. But as you explained, that Black can sacrifice this pawn because Queen a7 will be met by Knight b6 brings new dynamics to the position. Yes, definitely. Uh, but I guess even so, that like f4 is still a very reasonable move for white to start with, even if you don't intend to take the pawn. Very tempting, at least, forcing your opponent to think, yeah? I mean, please yeah, yeah. make up your mind. On the other hand, it's clear that in the preparation, everybody was focusing on the move f4. <laughs> yeah, that's true as well. Yeah. Uh, wow, the players are arriving. We are about to see the action start. Uh, so let's talk about the matchup. So we, we already mentioned that Vesti Su against Jan Yepomiachi is kind of a very important, uh, very decisive battle today because both players are under pressure after losing to Abdul Satulov yesterday. Uh, Abdul Satulov, on the other hand, after winning those two very nice mini matches against the two favorites, has now a kind of easier day against Greta Arson. But those are the days that you should be very careful because after winning two matches against Jan and, and Wesley, I mean, you feel like, wow, the world belongs to me. And then you can very easily uh, get back uh, on, on the ground with, with a bitter loss. Uh, so Abdul Satov should not fall into this mistake of underestimating Gretarsson. And uh, go on, Niels, explain the other group, yeah? So... Yeah, the other one is, uh, I mean, first of all, Bluebaum against Carlsen. I mean, it seems so far pretty clear that Bluebaum is the, uh, I mean, uh, weakest player in the group or the one who struggles the most. And but Magnus uh, actually has to take it uh, very seriously with his loss to Naka. He's not yet uh, qualifying for sure. Uh, and then of course Nakamura. I mean, if he wins against Fedosev, he's through easily. Yeah. But if Fedosev so. wins, yeah. if Fedosev wins, then they are all three sort of quite equal. Yeah. Uh, so it's quite. Uh, I mean, we have to, of course, predict that that Carlson is a big favorite and uh, and Naka as well. But uh, it will be very exciting. Yeah. So I see the first F four on the board between Gretarsson. Yes. 
against Abdul Satilov. Very interesting. It's the first move. Uh, we don't know if it's a ceremonial first move or uh, looks like a ceremonial move from the from the live feed. Yeah. Yes. On the other hand, uh, it's like an expert move F4. Yeah. So I I feel yes. like somebody was giving a hint and D5. Your opening. Uh -huh. But you know that's uh, that's typical Iceland, yeah. Like if you have some politician or something making some chess move, they will probably be decent chess players, yeah, because everybody are, yeah. Exactly, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it seems to me like the Icelandic nation is so incredibly talented. I mean, great in football, great in chess, great in handball. Only the things that I'm kind of following. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, very special nation, yeah. Uh, and we have the move actually, knight g3 from Wesley. Yeah, Wesley plays knight gc, takes it super slow. I mean, basically getting his opponent out of book, right? I mean, yeah, you, probably. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna prepare against knight gc, and then Jan goes f6. Uh, f6, yeah, I guess f6, think? it makes sense, yeah, because maybe he wants e5, and then both bishops are sort of, sort of out, yeah, yeah, kind of a very clever little move. This f6, yeah. All right, so knight g3 f6 uh, on the board between Wesley and knight b3 played as well. Okay, very thematic. Let's take a look how Magnus is reacting. He's also wow. playing f6 on move for one, yeah? Yeah, this, okay, it, it was e4. So it was e4, but uh, yeah. And f6. Knight b3. Yeah, of okay, course. We, we see the, this uh, kind of idea that uh, the players want to activate the queen as quickly as possible. Yeah, and that's because otherwise, if the queen gets completely offside, uh, I mean, it's the strongest piece, yeah? So it's a big danger. Yes. And uh, the last game between Hikaru Nakamura and Fedose have started with d4. In fact, we have seen four different first moves. Four different first moves, yeah? Again. Yeah, no, <laughs> no clear favorites. Yeah. Wow, Hikaru goes super professional, very pro looks professional a bit soft, bishop. no? I mean, <laughs> bishop b4. Yeah, doesn't strike me as the most ambitious way, but uh, we will see. F6. Yeah, he's basically offering the trade of the dark square bishops, claiming that I have already placed the pawn on d4, and then eventually the knight will come to b3. Maybe he can fight for the c5 square. Yeah. But, uh, okay, it's uh, kind of easy to understand, but we, will, we, we can't really judge what will be the effect because... Exactly, because also Black's... Uh, I mean, if Black gets these pawns on d5 and e5, uh, uh, it cannot be uh, that bad, I think. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. As they say, yeah, with space advantage, there are no bad bishops. Yeah, and then... Uh, okay, basically, we have seen all the... And, uh, wow, on every single board, we have pawn on f6. Yeah. Look at this. Greta Arson, Abdul Satilo, finally on move three, black played f6. Jan has already played f6, move one. Uh, in the Hikaru Fedosiev game, we have just seen also move three, f6. And Magnus also went for e4, f6. What a move, f6. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, okay. but also interesting that it's completely not uh, tempting as white to play f3. Yeah? But with black, it's very tempting to play f6. Exactly. It's a funny thing. Very, very interesting. But okay, since we, we talked about that for the tournament situation, Wesley against Jan. Yeah, let's stick to that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because okay, it's so difficult, so complex. I mean, we cannot be calculating, uh, working on, on all positions. No, we but, have to stick to, to one, I think, yes, in order to have any focused. chance. So let's see. He, yeah, he went f6, e5. Uh, very logical. Very logical. And uh, also from Wesley's side, very logical, breaking the center with d4 immediately. Knight b6 and e4. e4, eh? Only sensible good moves from Wesley. Yeah, it looks like some scotch. Yeah, it looks uh, like a very uh, harmonious way to play. Eh? Yes. N next f3 and bring the queen. Yeah. No, th but of course, the, still the question remains uh, what to do with the king. Yeah? Can it be that he wants simply, you know, rook d2 yeah? and <laughs> long castle and uh, he's already fighting hard for the d file? Yeah, and, and look at this. Jan played the move g6 almost like he, he was afraid kind of of some 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 rook d2 long castle business. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But he of course, he's, he's really uh, making his own knight and bishop on e8 uh, much worse than before. Yeah, and the bad news is for him that after bishop h6 check trade, bishop d2, this would heavily favor white. Yeah, Heavily favor white, yes, yes. exactly. Because then you're really then, ready to castle now. Huh? 
and then yeah basically just to to highlight because maybe with uh, if i'm just making the arrows then it's it's not the same look at this dream position that's yeah. it almost winning by for white yeah because we castled already and we are ready to open up the position yeah it looks terrible for black yeah. yes so okay basically of course jan says i only want to set him with bishop h6 check nobody told me that i'm forced to go for it but he's just uh, i mean white just has the center yeah so to speak for free yeah white has the center for free yeah it looks like i mean I, to me it looks very nice for white but uh okay basically he... now maybe it's the time to start developing the bishops right yeah i mean oh, but where and uh, like i feel like okay because i already i'm planning to castle long just uh, obviously i feel that maybe bishop f2 bishop f2 yeah and then uh, use your plan look d2 and long castle could yeah could be the only i mean question is uh if black can think about playing d5 next it's risky i understand but uh, it would also activate the pieces a bit probably you have to try to fight for the center if then. you don't uh, you're simply much worse yeah exactly but this could be of course <laughs> making things uh, even worse but what yeah i mean knowing that you know, bishop a6 check will be there at some point yeah also uh, everything is defended twice in the center so yeah so okay let's let's try to figure out another move i mean for example d4 d5 is that a clever positional move occupying the center or the there are drawbacks also important question very important question and it looks to me it looks to me quite uh, quite strong but yeah i would also be very like you can now this. maybe argue that if we play bishop h6 we trade the bad bishop yeah or the bad bishop is not so but white keeps the space advantage yeah keeps yeah so okay black would have to play d6 and uh okay we castle Oops. probably we castle yeah yeah we castle and then yeah. i mean even just king b1 c4 c5 opening exactly up. I mean, we have breaks here. We might be also preparing something on the king side, depending if uh, where this king is running. Very scary yeah. position for black. Yeah, I'm not sure what his intention is after after d5. Could there be some move like uh, like f5? I don't know if it works immediately. Wow. I mean, yes, to, you have queen g5 check yeah? later. And... I mean, if you were to take it twice, some queen g5, I was hoping that... This pin would be problematic, but it's yeah, d5 on the board, ladies played, and yeah. gentlemen. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, Vesti is also known to 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 get the grip of his positions right from the start. I'm I'm really liking the way how he approaches the game. It's all it all looks very very natural. Yeah, it's like a wonderful zamish for White. Yes, Knight on g3 is actually very well placed in this structure very well yeah and also the knight, the knight on... on b3 not bad but knight on b6 actually very bad yeah very bad yeah very unfortunate due to the space advantage yeah bishop h6 bishop d2 on the board queen g7 so queen yeah g7. basically jan is already preparing the short castle he wants d6 bishop was probably d7. Short, but also he's making it a little bit trickier for white to castle long i guess yeah can you be very ambitious here and play knight c5 wow not to let d6 happen exactly i mean it looks uh, a bit naive i have to say but uh, i mean if you stop d6 how is black going to to get out eh? wow very good question i mean this is this is terrible and by the way actually you even get chances of going b4 rook b3 b4 rook b3 or also a4 a5 can be i mean if yes. you can do nothing yeah yeah wow i mean knight c5 a striking move very interesting however wesley has played c4 not d6 on the board but c5 is coming again anyway. c5 is the same idea to get the knight to c5 yeah and after 97 c6 it's all, almost made yeah <laughs> yeah wow but so, okay I... basically knight takes c5 has to be met by bishop d7 ah you think so i mean how yeah, else can el i stop knight yeah, what else what else yeah I mean bishop d7 and then trying to go for this uh, short castle uh, next move you castle short yeah I will castle short I mean close my eyes and and hope that maybe eventually I can target this king yeah I mean if uh, it depends what what I'm doing at some point I can also maybe try to play for short castle with white but it looks a bit slow yeah you still have to 
Now the problem is I don't have a good square for my bishop on f1, yeah? Like queen f2 is a normal move, but I still need to get rid of the bishop. Yes, knight takes c5 plays, so I'm expecting bishop d7 exactly. Yeah, bishop d7. Yeah. I mean, we see the evolution bar claiming white has a very big advantage. I mean, it looks very promising for white, but I mean, if black will be able to survive the next couple of moves, then uh, it could actually, I mean, the position has the potential to, to turn. I have another a little bit uh, slower way. I, mean, I, I we don't we really want to cast along, but can we actually play, let's say b three king b two rook b c one or king c two rook b c one? And look at West just goes a four. Completely different. Uh... And quite quickly with lot of confidence. But why? What is going on? Let's say, if I take with the knight, his idea is to take on d7 and play bishop b5. Exactly. Yeah, knight takes a4, runs into knight d7, rook d7, bishop b5. Double attack. Yeah. Wow, very well timed a4. And if I take with the bishop, you simply take... I mean, you let knight, knight, knight e6 yeah. happen, right? Or knight... Yeah, but knight e6, I have... I mean, the rook is still hanging uh, later, but... Yeah, it was just such a fat tempo. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I mean, that. 96, the queen has to move back to some ugly square and then some queen c5 coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, no, this looks terrible. He didn't take the pawn, yeah. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, knight d6 and b3. Ah, b3, yeah? Ah, because, yeah, black was ready to jump to c4 with the knight. Yeah. Creating mess. And there you go. Shh. Short now castle. Short castle. I mean, it, it feels like, you know, whenever I claim it's short castle, I feel like it's a long castle. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's one of the longest short castles ever. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Well, take a look. I mean, just appreciate this move. Yeah. King from C8, look from D8, marches all the way to the king side. Short castle. Yeah. So now if white could just castle short, let's say, uh, would be a huge strategic edge. But that's quite far away. So what do we do with our... After yeah. a5, you have to go back to c8, yeah? I'm going to go back to c8, yes. And after knight takes d7, you can take ah, intermediate. Hang on, do I? Can, can I play rook fc8? Ah, rook fc8, yeah. And after king b2, go to a8 with the knight instead, all right? Oof, yeah, but then I'm losing a piece. Yeah, yeah so I, that's not. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> that's a bit too I much. have to take on d2 first, but yeah, this is this is awkward. Yeah, it it wasn't part of the plan. But yeah, knight knight c8 maybe it's not so. Not so. Bad. Just to keep the grip, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you want I guess f5, yeah, strategically speaking, as black. It's like a grim fat king's Indian structure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, it's not such a bad news that the terrible knight from b6 is... Uh, exactly, the knight is already the problem, so... ...is forced to some good good squares. Yeah, I'm curious. I mean, my, my point was actually to, at some point, take on d7 to release the tension, yeah? Force you to take on d2 and... But, I mean, after a5 or...? Yeah, probably after, because otherwise you take yes. with the knight, I guess. Yeah, but, I mean, okay, somehow... Yeah, but this is, yeah, it's not so much, yeah. I'm very, very happy with this trade, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not... Uh... Because, okay, then then suddenly the knight comes to his f5, it's... Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It all makes sense. Uh, yeah, but still, also from white's perspective, it's not... I mean, it's quite nice position still, I guess. Well, it, it just looks so bad for black that I... Yeah, I, yeah, that's true. I mean... The, I the... feel like I would be relieved. Yeah, I mean, okay, the that's worst true. has passed. I managed to castle. I'm still alive. Thank you very much. All I need. That's true. Uh... Yeah, and, and now the big question, because uh, maybe, I mean, clearly Wesley has a very clear mind of uh, of knowing what to do. But, uh, I mean, he has lost some, some tempi. So if he is not making good use of these A4, B3 moves, he might be regretting uh, losing yeah. these tempis. Yeah, how do you, how how is he going to handle... Like, let's say I play a move like queen f2, just slowly. Yeah. yeah. Eventually preparing a uh, short castle, I guess. Like, do you really trust f5? 
It's a good question. Okay, knowing Jan, probably he no, wants Jan to will get... play it, uh, but <laughs> yeah, he wants to get desperately desperate counter play immediately. Yeah, because now, for instance, the same idea with a five and knight takes d seven, I guess, makes more sense. Oh, you want to take with the queen, or, or even exactly, or even but e takes f five, you will take not with the pawn, you will probably take with the bishop. Yeah, but okay, bishop takes is an exchange sacrifice. Yeah, but but yeah, I understand. I don't know is... because if you take with the pawn, something will be overloaded. Yeah, like a five, knight h five, and I mean, let's say I play. Let's say a five. Knight... Okay, here maybe you have better moves than knight c eight. Yeah, I can also now maybe take on d two, and I queen takes. Queen takes, then knight gets back to c eight. Yeah, my point was knight h5 here, to go, I mean, in general. And then the queen comes to g5 or h6, and the bishop on d7 is still hanging. And Yeah, it's... And, and it queen could f2 at on least. the board. Queen f2 on the queen board. Queen f2 yeah. is on the board. It's a very nice little sensible move. It's a very Wesley-style move as well, right? Yeah, nice. I mean, if it's white's, white's move, I mean, maybe just the bishop d3 followed by short castle could make sense, yeah. On the other hand, the rook on d1 is so nicely placed, yeah, that my yeah, heart right. would be bleeding, no, to castle and get the rook to f1. But I'm understood, like, we have already quite a nice strategic edge, yeah, so it's really up to, to black, yeah, to uh, try to create something. If we just stabilize, our advantage will grow bigger and bigger. Yes, that's... But, I mean, <laughs> how to stabilize is a completely different question, yeah. Much more difficult to understand. Yeah, another break uh, for black uh, is, is clearly c6, a part of f5. Also very tempting to, uh, trying to hit the, hit the king. Let's let's take a look. Can we go c6 let's take a look too at, much? Because there are a couple of pieces hanging on the d file, yeah? But uh, are we able to actually make something something happen there? Yeah, it, it feels wrong. It feels at, at the very least risky, yeah? Yeah. I mean, for example, even in some bishop takes h6, queen takes, and queen, uh, queen takes, and then king b2. I'm not sure. Because king b2, suddenly... even. Uh, even, yeah, even this, even this, even this, yeah, because a5 is threatening to win a piece, and those also d6 now, yeah, it's oops. I mean, it's 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 too much to open. Like I mean, in general, c6 is not, uh, let's say, it doesn't feel like it should work. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's tempting that the king on c1 is a nice target, but uh, the king can just move away. Yeah, yeah. Also, a5, I mean, to, to include somewhere with white and d7, d6, it's all uh, all hanging a bit loose. Uh, yeah, okay. Jan has a four minutes time advantage. This is basically some kind of a compensation. Some compensation, but... But yeah, yeah if, if Wesley stabilizes the position, then actually he doesn't need more than 10 minutes. Yeah, because... He doesn't need that much time to play uh, with exactly. a nice strategic edge. Uh, no, I mean he's he's most probably thinking about f5. Ah, he plays f5 actually. And he uh, plays f5. So he has calculated something in these lines. Yeah. He takes f5. Also, knight takes is a move, I guess. Knight takes is a move, yeah. Because that, actually, the other knight anyway wants to go to d6. Mm. Yeah, somehow I don't really see Vesti taking e f5. Yeah. Only, only if there is a very concrete uh, reason. Yeah? Yes. But okay, f takes e four is a big uh, relief for black if you are allowed, I guess. Yeah, and and bishop d is a little bit slow, yeah, because also it, then f e four is a big. It's tempo. a bit soft, yeah, because even yeah. the d five pawn is hanging. Exactly. Should, should not re uh, forget. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like something something sharp should be should be tried. And something like okay, if a five, uh, will you will you retreat or do you have something more interesting? Yeah, that's a big question. Yeah, then because let's say f four is like is never going to play f four because it would kill all the counter player. Huh? Yeah, yeah, no, never. I mean, we have to be ready to open up something. So a five, let's say I try it. There is one, but I cannot get it to work, yeah? But imagine the pawn was not on e5, yeah? 
Yeah, then Quincy is the Jack being mate in one. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not the... sure how to uh, how to remove my pawn. Uh, yeah, and because also the king will be quite safe on on b2, I guess. Yeah, I was I was looking at all kinds of knight takes d5, e d5, e4, but they never work because everything is hanging. Yeah, so. Yeah, there is also bishop takes h6 will come with tempo and so on. Yes. So, so if yeah, you have nothing a... better, you have to go back. Yeah. Yeah, if nothing better, then. And now. Now it's the same question. Now f takes e4 maybe is a little bit less of a threat. Mm, yeah, with the knight on c8. Because the. Def... But the, even so, you still want to do it and trade the knights on e4 and. The other knight can get activated to d6. Yeah, not so easy. And Wesley is taking his time. He's done to 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, the annoying thing is also that it feels like he's looking for something because he feels like there is something. Yeah, There should be something, yeah. Should be something. And then if you don't find it, it's uh, rather unpleasant, especially in rapid. Exactly. In many positions when you just feel like, okay, let me make some moves and then we see what happens. But here you you feel the temptation of trying to punish your opponent's position. Also, like, they just make some moves. I mean, it's completely unclear what those moves would be. Yeah? What, like, what is a solid natural move here for white? Yeah, big <laughs> question. I mean, uh, yeah, very hard to say. Big question. After all, white has not yet castled and... Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we don't need to castle on the other hand, and the a5 is played. a5 is natural, yeah, but we will see then most probably on the next move what his idea was. I mean, you can you can put like, let's say, rook b c8, but white will not take on b6, so... Exactly, and then the I mean, knight will forever be hanging, yeah? Exactly, exactly. it's a very short-term uh, solution. And young goes bishop takes d2. Oops. Immediately, yeah. Yeah, he he takes. Mm -hmm. Most probably, queen takes. Yeah. Well, if you take with the rook, it means that yeah, uh, that that you can't castle short. You can't anymore. castle short because now yeah. we are already forgetting about this long castle. Of course, with all these pawn moves. Like from the beginning, we thought he was going to castle long, but not anymore. That's pretty clear. Yeah, knight b c eight. One advantage. Ah, but still no. I was going to say that now there is no pin, so you can recapture with the pawn on e four. But uh, I doubt that you want it in any case because it would also stop castle, short castle. Exactly. Yeah. Then then you are again stuck. Yeah. Just to highlight that if if black takes f e four, then f e four looks like a strategical blunder because we, we yeah. might never Let be able to cross to to the short. Let's say if I already had castled, I would definitely take with the with the pawn. Yeah. And I would just have a big strategic edge, I guess. Yeah, so fe4 is played, and uh, basically we're expecting some piece Knight, to Knight g capture. takes, I guess, yeah. Knight g3. Two but the white will, black will take on e4. Exactly, this is also some kind of a relief. Yeah, and then the other guy comes to d6. That's why, I, in general, I want to take with the pawn. Like, if I... Uh, that's why it was so tempting, but... The king, king is even more important than... Uh, but uh, Wesley takes with the bishop. Takes with the bishop. Takes with the bishop. Actually, it makes a lot of sense after playing bishop to d3 because yes. now if you take on e4, then knight g4, and eventually maybe we have some knight g5, knight e6. If knight yeah, or, or simply knight takes d7 also is very natural. And then knight c5, knight e6. Uh, okay, now you knight d6. I probably should go your knight g5 because you will take in between on e4. Ah, uh, but of course, yeah. Let's not forget that now the short castle move will be very effective. Yeah. Keeping a nice stable age. He does take, yeah? Yeah, Very he takes on e4. Yeah, exactly. Like after knight g4, let's say knight d6, even the immediate short castle should bring a pretty nice edge for white, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, just castle. Oops. That's the trick, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, knight d6 on the board. I mean, we are more or less guessing the moves, yeah, the ideas. Yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> Whom it's good for, eh? <laughs> that we are guessing. <laughs> Deep yeah, shot on castle. the other hand, though, those are, I mean, everything that happened is a very logical development. Definitely, of... definitely. 
Yeah, so basically, I, I also feel a bit, bit sorry for, for Jan that, I mean, he makes nice progress and he's still under pressure Yeah, after making all kinds of only moves. But it also shows that Wesley was playing very smartly. He's played very smartly in the in the opening. Um, here, uh, yeah, he's thinking now, should he try some concrete knight g5? Or should he simply castle? And stylistically, uh, with Wesley, I mean, short castle must be the, the favorite, but... Yeah, also he's behind on the clock with almost eight minutes. Yeah, so trying to keep it as simple as possible while uh, maintaining some strategical edge. It's, uh... But maybe he's adopting how big his advantage is if he castles. Huh? Like maybe black takes on e4, kicks the other knight away. Yeah, but I mean, okay, there is still some. On the other hand, yeah, we, we also talked about knight g5 being very tempting. I mean, potentially very, very tempting, yeah. Going for 96. After all, uh, not exactly clear how black is... Uh, yeah, I guess just... Yeah, but... Using not, the moment. Yeah, yeah no, no, not easy. Huh? Some ugly moves, maybe. Yeah, because one really would like to sacrifice something, but I just don't see the initiative. Yeah, there is no... I mean, okay, for example, the move that comes to mind is, yeah, Knight G5 on the board. On the board, yeah. Yeah, I mean, something like e4. Is it kamikaze? Is it crazy? Is it stupid? Probably all of that. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, 96, maybe not so improved. Yeah, 96, I'm worried the least, but maybe you just take on e4. F takes e4 is more to the more tempting. But my point was that you, you can't castle now. Yeah, that. Now I can't castle, that's true. You can't castle. Can I then try to play some, some bishop, bishop g4? g4? Tem okay, I will probably include knight. G6 or knight C6? Yeah, knight G6. G6. Let's okay, say. probably I have to take. Oh, you have to take anyway. Huh? I mean, th at least something like this was my vision, but uh, now, now I very much doubt my vision. That one yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hard this, to believe yeah? that it's enough, but. Uh, I mean, you have always queen d4. Except it's I take the rook probably and play queen d4. Eh? Yeah, or even queen. Yeah, I mean, no. It, Maybe it, queen d4 immediately. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. It, it's it a bit... just wishful thinking, but. No, no, yeah, after knight g5, yeah, knight e6 is kind of a problem. I mean, I guess you you can play, it's sad, but play rook, rook f8 or queen e7. Yeah, but very sad, yeah. But okay, yeah, but who knows, yeah, maybe just, okay, let's make this move, yeah, queen e7. Because the knight on e6 will not stay there for the rest of the game, yeah? You will have some c6 and... Uh... Exactly, let's just highlight, yeah, if the knight comes to e6, for example... Say, yeah, you take, take it, most probably. We put the rook somewhere, yeah. Some, yeah, exactly. I even don't know. I mean, f5 or f7, yeah. Those. And then, okay, we are expecting now short castles. Short castle, let's say. And then, I... can we break with c6? Maybe actually I should have placed the rook on f6 then. On f6 is more solid, yeah. Yes. And queen e7 on the board as well. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the idea that we are having in mind with black is the, the move c7, c6, breaking this uh, powerful pawn from d5. Yeah, fighting against the knight, yeah. Yeah. And so of course, yeah, Vastly plays correctly. He doesn't rush with knight g6, he just castles. Yeah, no point to go immediately. Because c6 is very risky before knight uh, e6. Uh, you are exactly. not threatening to, to take on d5. Yeah, basically, black would uh, be quite happy with his position with knight on d6, bishop d7, pawn e5. This is kind of a very nice construction. However, this e6 square is a big problem yes and also the pawn on e5 is maybe Vulnerable. quite possible to attack yeah, yeah. Uh... yeah tough i mean how do you how do you actually play like white can just rook fe1 next let's say then already after 96 the pawn on e5 is <laughs> is going to fall so hmm yeah, castles. Just very simple and effective play by Wesley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this, this this whole maneuver with Queen F2. Yeah, because it it was so easy to be carried away that White opted for A4 and then he wants some immediate action on the Queen side. But just combining everything, then Queen F2, Queen takes D2, Bishop D3, preparing short castle. Very nice judgment there. Yeah. Of, of, although it would have been maybe even nicer to have the pawn on A4 now than A5. Yeah, but.
That's yeah, but he couldn't get everything. Yeah, you cannot get everything. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. now we, we have more or less a stable position. And Jan has to think how to deal with this uh, unpleasant position. Mm -hmm. Let's use the momentum to catch up with something. For example, what is Abdul Satulov doing against Greta Arson? It looks like a double-edged strategical position, but black should be fine. Black should be fine, yeah. With this bishop coming to c6 and... Uh, but also white should be fine, I guess. White yeah. should be, yeah. But I mean, simply that this bishop on c6 is such a monster. Black yeah, shouldn't yeah. be risking anything. Yeah. Okay, there is queen c4 and uh, some queen e6 check ideas and pawn on f6 is a bit weak, but... Yeah, eventually, yeah. Th these are the ideas. But worst case, you will simply go knight g8, I guess, and everything is defended. Yeah, I, I think uh, black's last move was knight f7 to h6, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, getting Maybe ready. Rerouting the knight uh, to g8. If, in, if needed, yeah, let's say. If needed, yeah. I mean, okay, now white plays h3, so the knight won't stay forever on h6. Yeah, probably quite comfortable for... Uh, Black. Okay, bishop c6, let's say I play... Queen c4. Queen c4, yeah, the most natural move. Can we go queen d7? Ah, Counter-attack. Counter-attack, threatening mate. Threatening mate. Ah, by the way, queen c4 played. Ah, queen c4 played. Queen yes, d... Yeah, queen d7. Probably quite... Quite annoying. Very after annoying. B, after b3, even a3, yeah? Continuing to threaten yeah, not to not to give you any freedom. Ah, okay. Uh, Black did not play the move queen d7. He opted for queen g8. Uh, queen g8 also very nice. Yeah, at least geometrically yeah. very nice move. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> very beautiful. Because if you take yeah, the knight takes everything is defended and actually I mean bishop takes e4 strategically could be a big threat. Yeah. Yeah. Also, but uh, just look if I mean it feels like a wonderful Berlin defense for Black now. Yes. I mean, of course, their white has the e5 pawn usually. Yeah, 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 but still. You uh, mean, but still yeah, basically, it, what you mean is this light squared bishop is very, very strong, exactly, yeah, like in the yeah. Berlin. The, the bishop on c6 is always a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Okay, okay so bishop f2. The only problem for black is pawn on a4, yeah? Like, uh, it doesn't give you complete freedom because it might, uh, might be dropping from time to time. Yeah. All right. So we have seen it that, yeah. okay, everything to play for, but black seems to be fine. Actually, we already have a draw between Hikaru Nakamura and Vladimir Fedoseev. A very solid performance That's there by, by Hikaru, I would say, because with, with white, you remember when he played bishop before, you already kind of hinted that it's a bit soft. Yeah, yeah, it was soft, yeah. Yeah, it, it was a bit soft. And uh, yeah, basically Fedoseev, I think, made an effortless draw with the black pieces. Good yeah, news for him. Um, I think he will be getting confidence. And the other big game between Matthias Brubau and Magnus Carlsen. Two bishops for Magnus. Two bishops and Brubau has one, yeah? <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, okay, the, the pawn structure is a little bit compromised. but A little more bit than... compromised, but it doesn't really matter with such bishops. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, also, I mean, moves like knight a4 already is, I mean, coming and... Uh, Big, it's big on threats. the board. Ah, he played knight a4. Yeah. yeah, he played. And also the time advantage. Yeah, basically, Matthias Bluban's position is about to fall apart. Yeah, like if you play bishop c3 and Black just takes it. Looks and like then play some b6, c5 and okay. Yeah. Knights are simply not doing anything, yeah? Not doing anything at all. Maybe Black can even be more ambitious with some bishop b4, but yeah, it's, it's just a clear advantage. Bishop b4 so followed by a5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A clear advantage and very, very unpleasant to play as well. Yeah, yeah. All right. So basically, Magnus on uh, yeah. on the right track. Let's get back to our main game because, yeah, this, this seems like the most important one. Uh, he went for this uh, optimistic plan of knight f5, knight d4. Yeah, let's take a look. So knight f5 happened. Yeah. Rook bc1, knight d4, rook fe1. Threatening now, uh, okay, queen d4 is still met by queen g5, but okay, then pawn on e5 is hanging. Pawn so. on e5 is hanging then, yeah, so. Yeah, black sidesteps with the queen to d6. And actually attacks the pawn on d5, eh? not so easy to defend. But hang on, can we just take and take on e5, then the knight b3? Okay, knight takes b3 nice. will be a big problem, yes, I guess. This we have to highlight. The yeah. knight from d4 is suddenly making extreme use, forking and winning the yeah. game. So... 
But I mean, I I suddenly paused because there were some ideas for white, but but probably it's it's not working. Okay. Let yeah, yeah, know. like uh, Queen E3, Rook E7, or something like exactly, this. Exactly. Yeah. Just, just you know the the commentators curse. Just when you say that probably it's winning, then it's losing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it 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 yeah, it doesn't really look look like it's work. Yeah, Queen okay. D6. On the other hand, as you mentioned, pawn on D5 is hanging. Computer pawn is on D5 is hanging, is hanging there is but a also... win for white. But Black's position looks very loose, yeah? Very loose. I mean, there should be, but I mean, uh, why are we not spotting the win? Yeah, why are we not spotting the win? Fisher random drives us crazy. Yeah, we are losing our minds or what? <laughs> no, but okay. <laughs> it's, it's maybe not that simple, yeah? Yeah, I mean, otherwise also Jan would have not blundered it and Wesley would have blitzed out already. Can I play... It's... It's a little bit odd, but uh, what if I play knight g4, queen takes d5, and then queen g5? Wow. Because I'm threatening a fork, and it's very hard to... Wow, tricky, tricky, but Wesley actually made up his mind and he took on d7. Ah, he took on d7, simply. Huh? He took on d7, yeah, which uh, apparently is a good move, but it wasn't the killer blow. Wasn't the killer blow. Knight takes b3 is technically a move, but doesn't feel like it should work. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit asking for too much. Yeah, probably. Then so everything is hanging. Yeah. So queen takes. Yeah. Queen yeah. Takes so queen d7. seven very natural. We expect. Uh, yeah, and here knight takes b3 is a really serious threat. So. Yeah, interesting that Jan is I taking guess queen, so much of his time. Yeah, a queen c three is a uh, is a normal move here, I guess. Because two pawns are hanging for black. Just queen c three, but okay, d five pawn. You you claim but that queen takes d five, queen takes c seven. Suddenly can't defend h seven. Oh, yeah? that's... <laughs> he simply cannot defend. Huh? <laughs> that's cruel. That's brutal. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay. So I'm so not maybe... sure. You have to start with some complicated measures, like, I don't know, rook f5 or some intermediate move like that, I guess. Yeah, hit the knight. Rook f5 or queen f5 or something. Yeah. Yeah, and we see that the position, but on the other hand, yeah, if black survives, then he has a knight on d4. Knight on d4 is okay, but white also will get a knight on e4. And... Yeah, queen takes d7, queen c3 on the board. Queen c3 on the board, yeah. I feel like you have actually called out so far all of Wesley's moves. Yes. <laughs> at least like 95%. Look at five on the board. Look at five on the board. Can I nominate you as the next uh, you know, card <laughs> I mean, or would something? Be, it would be great. Yeah. <laughs> give, give Niels his chance. I mean, okay, he's proving it in, in every single position, guys. Look at five. Unfortunately, it's not enough with 95% same moves, yeah, because last 5% is deciding the games. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, 94, of course, is possible to just play it solidly, but. Uh... But I already, we... somehow, I have the feeling that uh, Jan might survive this. Yeah, it's less, uh, less of an issue than before. Yeah, I mean. Uh... Okay, also, of course, that it will be a very big issue. How do we protect on c7? Yeah, if if you just fall, I think you have knight. to take on d5. Yeah, what what else? Yeah, okay, queen d5, queen c7, and yeah, now uh, and then move the rook, say, yeah, rook bf8 or... or rook d8. Yeah, he plays knight e6, a very solid move. Yeah, getting rid of the knights wow. instead. Okay, and c6 blitzed out. C6 blitzed out. This was not really on my. Radar. And now we are getting a psychologically very tricky moment because it's move 25, so six more moves to till time control. Wesley is down to three and a half minutes. Maybe Jan is trying to mix things up uh, before the time control. Yes. It's we quite have possible. seen it yesterday from Hikaru as well. Yeah, it's a very clever strategy if it works. Okay, if if Wesley wants to be very, very solid, then of course just taking on d4 is possible. Yeah, but I, I somehow don't feel... I mean, Wesley wants to use the momentum. Sure, sure, but... Ah, but knight d4 and then just take the e7 pawn? Uh, exactly, a7 pawn, that's why it's actually relevant at all, because a7 is hanging, but... Uh, yes, so for example, just to highlight like this and... Not only, yeah, because the rook will always be hanging on b8 also. Otherwise, you could take with the queen and b3 or a5 were yeah. hanging. Yeah, knight takes d4 on the board. Yeah. e4, 
Queen D4 will be played. There, there is D takes C6, but I guess you can just recapture. Huh? Yeah, or it's too drawish. It, it's draw too drawish. Yeah, B Queen takes D4. So basically, he will be a pawn up, yeah, but black would be quite active. Exactly. I mean, I feel like black has all the reasons to feel that he should be able to hold it. Should be able to hold. For example, rook d5, queen takes a7. Now the big question, rook f8 or rook d8? Yeah. Yeah, rook d5 on the board. Queen takes a7. But also, I mean, it makes some sense from Wesley's perspective. Yeah, Yeah, very on, practical. I mean, low on time, no risk, still some chances. Uh -huh. And uh, just because I claimed rook d8 or rook yeah, yeah, exactly. so, so young goes rook e8, smart. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, you cannot take and win the pawn on b7 because then black will enter with the queen. Uh, queen e3 check and it's finished. Yeah. Of but course, trading uh, one set of rooks should make it easier for white to convert, no? Exactly. I wasn't sure that I'm... Uh, clearly, white needs to create some luft, yeah, because yeah. fc is not enough. I mean, for example, is h3 a move? Definitely a move. Uh, I don't know, rook. Also, this rook and d5, should it go to b5 to try to be solid, or should I go rook d2? Like, my intuition says rook d2 to go for some counterplay, but... Yeah, also just to highlight that black basically has the chance of trading all rooks and get into some queen and game. I'm not sure if... How to evaluate it? Yeah, queen e3. Yeah, looks uh, very, very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, long. Point. Actually, actually, even I can, I can even take it. Yeah, and taking it. H... Ah, no, you don't take on b3. Ah, yeah. wow. He goes for it. Yeah. The, the things are heating up because Wesley actually opted for a6 instead of h3, mm -hmm. and Jan is immediately using the momentum to trade the rooks. Yeah, this is quite, quite smart. Takes takes also using the fact that the a6 pawn is hanging. Yes, exactly. And if we trade, it's just an immediate, an immediate perpetual. So yeah, can you uh -huh. give some queen b8 check? Queen b8 check, yes. King f7, I have to play. Yeah, then queen f4 check. Queen f4, I have to because I have to avoid you defending with queen e5 check because then you are at exactly to play a7. So king yes. g8. King g8 has yeah, it's on the board. It's on the board, yeah. And now the players reach time control. Wesley gets the extra five minutes. Just in time. But how do we... King uh... G8, yeah? You have to go King G8. King G8, yes. Yes, let's make the move. And now you will give Queen C4 check, yeah? Mm, yeah. And on the next move, you will be able to play either Queen B4 or Queen C3, defending the rook. Yeah, how to hide... How to hide the king? Ah, but it's not a7 is not the end of the world because you trade rooks on he1 and play queen d4, winning yeah, the pawn. Yeah, but I mean I have to put this king somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Okay, <laughs> but let's say you go king g7, queen c3, and king back. So now very important that this a7 doesn't work. Yes, know? let's let's show this because takes takes queen d4 check. And after queen f2, we can simply. Oh, well, I can also give queen even a1 queen a1, check. yeah, but both, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, king f7 played. Ah, oh, they made one. Ah, oh, what what happened? Ah, so king g7, queen e5, check king f7, king f7 happened. Basically, I'm probably fat. Like, if I'm not worried of queen c3 check, then I'm also not worried of. Yeah, that's yes. it. Trying to get the, but it's only five seconds increment. It's not that he's winning too much time. No. So Pretty if fun. you want to continue the game, you play a takes b seven and play the queen ending. Yeah. Yes. But it's much less dangerous than with uh, with a pawn still on the board. Yeah, one really feels that. Okay, it will be a mega torture. I mean, of course, the, this kind of queen end games are. Or hell. Yeah, it's torture, but it's very limited material, yeah? Yeah, I mean, okay, white will put queen on e3, then he will start slowly improving his position, but it will be very tough to convert. To me, it looks much closer to a draw than a win, but... Yeah, and actually, maybe the five seconds increment is a little bit too little for this queen endgame. 
you you really need 10 seconds to make a lot of moves and then yeah that's on. true you will not be able to gain a lot of time yeah not so easily but basically the, that's the maximum white can get probably from the position that's how it looks like yeah yes and it's on the board takes takes so when did we reach this queen end game wesley has five minutes 13 seconds on his clock uh, jan 11 and a half minutes so double much time. Okay, also knowing that Jan is always playing very quickly, I don't think the time will be his. Uh, yeah, main... it's not. Uh, it's not highly important, I guess. The time. Exactly. Here. Yeah, I mean, it would be important if Black, the defending side, would be very low on time. Then Clock would play a yeah, big role. Yeah. Like this, not. And and how do we make some play? Do we go G four and then try to get the king to G three? I guess G four makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, because somehow I don't feel like H okay, there is also this argument of H3 King H2 F4 and then Okay, he I goes for Queen F4 check. A that's bit odd. A bit odd, yeah. That's what I was about to say. I, I don't quite understand it. Yeah. Just a very quick update. Magnus Carson is completely winning against Matthias Blubaum. Winning, yeah. So Magnus is bouncing back. What about Abdul Satul? Yeah, Abdul Satulov is winning his game completely against Gretarson. Yeah. All right. So basically, then we can focus uh, quietly on this Queen End game, which it's is the only one, so yeah. important. Yeah, it's also the most important match in some sense. Yeah, it's extremely important because actually, if uh, we we have seen yesterday that Wesley had all the chances to win against Abdul Sattel of the first game, and then by not making the most out of his chances, he clearly was affected for the next game, and yeah. then went on to lose the second game and lost the mini match. That's why he's under pressure. So. It's it's all connected. Every single game is very important. I'm slightly surprised that he allowed h5 before playing g4. Yeah, because, because it... now Black will finally hide his king on h7. Also, I mean this, but also uh, this pawn on h7 was a bit of a weakness, yeah. It was a bit. I mean, now it reminds me of uh, Magnus against uh, Georg Maia from the Olympics. Uh -huh. it, the, we had this Queen Anne game with Peter Swidler. We were commenting it. It was a fascinating Queen Anne. It looked like it's going to be a draw. And then finally, yeah, yeah, finally end, he won in some very nice way. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And there was some study like stalemate ish uh, save there, but with, with little time on the clock was impossible to find. But yeah, I mean, with pawn on g4, you would have so many more possibilities. Yeah, so I mean, la let's go back because this is some uh, very important moment that after Queen D7, we simply feel that. The move g4, fixing the pawn on h7, and then improving the king. We don't know exactly how, but we, we, we have to do this. We have to do this, and then maybe we can consider h4, h5 ourselves later on, maybe. Exactly. But like, uh, but this is a very big step forward for Jan, getting the pawn to h5, king on h7. How is white going to break? No, not Yeah, as long as you sort of keep the king, uh, the queen on the seventh rank, there are no checks, yeah? which is a very annoying thing for... Yeah, and it will be very nice for Black that after G4, we will be able to trade the H pawn. Yeah, it's uh, vital. Exactly, because H to the H pawn is the worst pawn. So, Yeah, Queen D2 check. Now I'm actually quite confident that Jan will hold Now this. it looks very uh, much closer to it. Uh, 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 although I have to say, I think Gro was all the time favorite in this Queen ending. But now it looks much easier than before. Yeah, yeah, and, and this king on h7, and that's why the g pawn is so much more valuable than, than the h pawn because it gives a yes. very nice shelter for black's king. Yes. This is uh, this is one of the key motifs in, in Queen End games. I'm I'm really not a big expert and I have nightmares for more Queen End games, but this thing I can explain because yeah, exactly. th this is so obvious and so clear. And and before we have been seeing that uh, Jan never knew exactly what to do with his king, he had to go to some vulnerable squares. Yeah, yeah. But but now suddenly with with king on h7, everything makes perfect sense. And another big might be another big disappointment for Wesley. Yes. Wow! Everything happened so fast uh, because finally there was no way. No way around going g4, but now a g f g, and, and we are missing the f3 pawn. We yeah, imagine this h4 yeah. pawn would be on f3 or f4 instead. Uh, exactly, then we would always have some, some cover for our king, and then hope also the queen would have a uh, an outpost on e4, for instance, and so on. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so many reasons why, uh, why it's better. 
And and look at this. Suddenly, even the evolution bar says that it's flat zeros. Okay, it doesn't really mean anything. But yeah, it doesn't uh, really matter. So he has now one idea to go with the king towards the c6 pawn. That's what he's playing for. Exactly. That's the only remaining. Uh... Now the big question. Yeah, that after king f4, black will play. Ah, queen play... f7, king e5, queen g7. Ah, like this, yeah. We have this defensive mechanism. Yeah. And also, let's say you play some move like king e4, then queen e7, then already you are losing your h pawn, yeah? Yeah. Ah, by the way, king e5 is met by queen e7 check on the spot, yeah? On the spot, yeah, yeah. Losing also, the pawn. Even better. Yeah. Yeah, what can you do? Should you go back? Yeah, I should go back, but then queen b6. No, no, it's just perpetual, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost a per direct perpetual, yeah. Just very quickly to go back because everything happens so fast. Queen d4, checks happened, and yeah, this is now the. Nope, king g3 and queen b3 check on the board. Yeah, he's been repeating for. King g2, queen a2 check. Yeah, I guess queen f2, you can play whatever, yeah, queen c4 even might be. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, just uh, the official results uh, are. We have, yeah, Magnus Carlsen has won, and no surprise there, and also Abdus Satov has won his yes. game, which means that they both won with the black pieces. It's it's looking very good for them. Yeah, definitely. Seeing and then, the mini matches. Unfortunately, top also for Gretason, yeah? We were discussing that he needs one win to get into the tournament for real. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. On the other hand, this is also very interesting because, okay, if imagine that Okay, you finally, uh, for example, win the first mini match. It, you you automatically lean back that I have done my job. No, I have beaten my opponent. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that's in true. fact, it's just halfway through. It's it's a very interesting. Very, I, I I have never seen this before in any chess event. Yeah, because for example, in the Champions Chess Tour, yeah, the the matches are with four games, but it's it's one match. <laughs> it's one match. That's completely different than two matches of two games. Yeah, and uh, basically, we also have seen set one, set two on different days, but on the same day to have two matches. <laughs> this is this is something uh, completely new. It's very odd. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see uh, White making any progress at all here. I guess they will make a draw. Yeah, and it can really set the tone for today match between Wesley and Jan. Yeah, that there was a chance that Wesley starts with uh, with a win, putting tremendous pressure on Jan. Yeah, that he has to fight for his life. Now, after saving this with the black pieces, he can quietly play the next game without much pressure. With the, if if he gets a chance, fantastic. If not, then then nothing really happened. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's really huge. So that's why Wesley is trying everything. Yeah, now he goes queen f2, and after queen e4 check queen fc, he would love to give the pawn on b4 to go for some queen f7 check. To go for queen f7, yeah, yeah. King g3 played even. Queen e5 check, of course. Yeah, Black he doesn't never take, yeah. give wide the chance to activate queen e1 check. Probably will be played. Queen e1 check. I mean, he's uh, simply not uh, making any progress. Yeah, the queen was already on f4 before. Yeah, the the king is just uh, way too exposed. Queen e1 check. By the way, also we have to mention uh, because the position is very similar. That even now in in modern uh, queen and game theory, it says that without the pawn c6 and pawn g6 and pawn b4, so white having two extra pawns g4 and h4 is some kind of a theoretical draw, of course. Uh, please don't try at home because it. <laughs> yeah, not easy, not easy to hold. It, but... It's a nightmare. It's total hell. But uh, I just want to highlight basically that how big the drawing margin is for Black here. That uh, of course with the pawn on g6, uh, basically Black is neutralizing these two pawns completely. Yeah. King h3. Yeah, trying to hide. Yeah, for example, queen h1 check very tempting after king g3. Black runs out of checks. Which probably also doesn't matter that much, right? You just go. Yeah, back you to can e4. go back with the queen to d5. Yeah, or d5 or e4. Yeah, yeah. Everything is defended. Yeah, but uh, still, of course, you don't want to let this happen. Probably queen d3 check is very tempting. Yeah. Why not to give this check? Yeah, hard to say what he has planned. And Jan just goes king g8. You know A what? King... You actually can't do much. 
You are tied down. Uh, let me just. Yeah, King J8 also is very nice. Yeah. Showing quite a lot of uh, confidence. Yeah, and, and the queen on e4 is wonderful. Yeah, protecting both pawns. But Wesley is the sort of player who likes to play this till the very end, yeah? Well, I mean, why not? Yeah, you are pulling yeah, sure, up sure. and you, you also feel like, okay, I was putting the pressure on the whole game. I mean, I deserve to, to play. You deserve to, pull, uh, to enjoy this part of it, yeah? Exactly. The only question, how much is he enjoying? Yeah, because he is probably really angry that he, he didn't make more out of his chances. No, definitely, definitely. Yeah, but okay, yeah, it's uh, Queen C3. It's also kind of irritating when you know that it should be a draw, but there is no direct perpetual. The game continues. Yeah, oh. but there is kind of never really a direct perpetual in these positions. Yeah, I mean, you just have to keep it Yeah, normally. Yeah, you have to keep it. But uh, actually, it's kind of interesting Yeah, that now the Queen moved to C3 and the uh, White's King is suddenly feeling much more... Uh, Safe, yeah. No, yeah. no checks are really. White coming. King is more safe, but also uh, as Jan is uh, showing, yeah, like he just waits and lets White make progress. But how do you make this progress? Yeah, and Wesley's clock is ticking down. It's just one forty. Yeah, yeah. yeah go G five. I mean, also not not a move that you you make uh, with pleasure, but simply he felt probably there is no way to progress. Yeah. Also, he was maybe... No, he wasn't worried about 50 moves yet, but not so far. <laughs> yeah, G5. I mean, okay. Now, also very difficult to imagine where is White's king really running. King yeah. G8, queen D2. Queen E5. Queen e5, king f3. <clears throat> yeah, as, as you highlighted, that white is actually trying to get with his king to the queen side. I mean, if you can, yeah, yeah, that, exactly. That's the main plan. But Because this is the only pawn which, uh, which, which is a real weakness. Also, g5 is nice in the sense that sometimes you can uh, give h4, even exactly. just to activate your position. Whereas before, you couldn't really give g4. Because G4 exactly. from G4, the queen is defending everything. And and look at this. The evolution bar jumped. Yeah, like, uh, okay. Yeah, so is... let's say queen h3, king d4. Queen takes king h4, d4, king c5, yeah. yeah? Exactly. So, I mean, just uh, This is very yeah? scary. This can be, yeah, could also be just lost, yeah? Could be easily lost, yeah. I mean, uh, maybe Jan got careless. He got maybe a bit careless. Maybe but it's also careless. very hard I mean, to... The, the king should have never been allowed to cross this. But also, mm -hmm. how how can you stop? I mean, it's so difficult to uh, yeah, very difficult keep track yeah. of everything. Yeah, yeah. Queen e six check. Yeah, so trying to play king d four, queen d five or d six check. But does it matter? Yeah, king c three. Exactly. Anyway, the king reached the the queen side on the yeah. board. Yeah. Now it's looking very scary. But how did how did uh, <laughs> he manage to get? <laughs> Yeah, let's let's go back. In fact, let's go back because this is real mystery. Yeah, G five. It looked like uh, more or less. Uh, this is a critical room. position. Yeah, here he started to make something. But but in fact, it turned out that there was a devilish idea behind. So that's yeah, exactly. Correctly. Yeah, King G eight, Queen D two, and now suddenly this Queen E five check turned out to be a very unfortunate because now White still can't move. Yeah, Maybe... because I guess Queen F four. Then you cannot. Later on, you cannot enter on the king queen side. Maybe you need just, the queen on the queen side. Just go back to h7 and sit there. Exactly, exactly. That feels much more natural. Yeah, because okay, the queen is so wonderfully placed on e4. The king yeah, cannot yeah. start the march because then you lose with with check the h4 pawn. And all of a sudden, after this queen e5 check, king f3, you lose the e4 square, and now white king is always able to to move. And this is now the current position. Nothing can stop White's king from... Okay, yeah, because, course... be because before Black was giving checks from the queen side, like queen c4 check, queen b3 check, queen a2 check. Now you cannot reach the queen side with Black. Exactly. And okay, with, with the check, we can stop king c5, but we are anyway, we'll be forced to, to leave the d5. Screen. Yeah, let's say we play something like queen e4 now, then slowly, like even queen d4 and uh, king c4, king c5 will come. Huh? Exactly, yeah. The, the queen gets to d4 and then eventually if, if white king reaches c5, it should be an automatic win. 
Should be, because also on the queen, king side, the situation is quite favorable. Yeah? Exactly. The suddenly, black king can't really hide. Yeah, Maybe because with lots of checks, you actually pick up g6 with check even, uh, quite often. Yeah. Like if the black queen wow. is... Uh, and then I was explaining that this is so important because if Wesley wins this game, then the yeah. whole day Jan will need to do catch up. I mean, first of all, he needs to win the next game to equalize the mini match. And if he doesn't do it, then he will be in a must win uh, situation for the for the last match because yeah. yeah, yeah, queen d5 check, king c3, queen e5 check. Okay, queen d4 most probably, yeah. Yeah, queen d4 was our plan. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Okay, king c4. I mean, king, okay. King c4 also because queen b5, king d3, no checks, yeah? No checks, yeah, king b3. <laughs> and also not clear how you, like, let's say I go now, king b3, which move do you play? Okay, he, he first wants to get yeah, the Yeah, one repetition, seconds. why not? <clears throat> yeah, there is no pressure. Because King, yeah, I, I read, I couldn't even see a move, yeah, that didn't lose immediately. Yeah, because where to hide the queen, yeah? Yeah. And now he Yeah, goes... but okay, this is the systematic approach. Yeah, yeah also before. very nice, of course, yeah. Yeah, now queen to c3 and then... And then yeah, and queen then... c3, queen f4, king c5. Now, if you trade, I guess you can even play king, queen c4 and go to the pawn ending, yeah? Exactly. I mean, basically, this just... Uh, just to illustrate how hopeless it is for black. Yeah? Wins on the spot. Yeah. He wins simply because this pawn on g6 is so far back. Yeah, it's it's fixed. Yeah. Yeah, so queen c3. In some and race. Wesley still has one, one minute 34 seconds. I mean, it's it's more than enough. Yeah, because you can give a couple of checks, but you can even hide behind the pawn. Let's say queen f1, king c5, queen b5, yes, king d6. So, like, queen d5 check, king c7, you're just hiding, and at some exactly. point, checks will run out. Yeah, just one check of, of uh, moving away the queen from e4. Yeah, one stupid check and uh, the king was uh, yeah. was allowed. Yeah, queen g1. Yeah, trying to stop king c5 at least. Because yeah, because if... queen d4 is repetition. So yeah, if if the king reaches c5, then it's it's game over automatically. So let's say I play queen uh, d2, queen d3 played. Okay, also possible. I mean, also keeping an eye on the G6. Yeah, I didn't want to allow Queen C1 actually, but uh, just King D4, and it doesn't make a difference. But to be honest, King B3 also, yeah. King B3 also looks very tempting. Ah, uh, because you cannot go King G7 because of Queen C3 and King H7. There is even H5, yeah. H5, and no checks. Yeah, this this finishes the game. But King F7 only move, yeah. But uh, Queen King F7, Queen C4 anyway. Uh, it's simply over, yeah. He can resign now. Yeah, King G7 runs into Queen C3 trade and King F7 runs into Queen C4 check. Yes. And literally not a single check, yeah? And what a big turn of events. Yeah, the white was having King on G3, Queen E3 and trying to, to, to make progress there, but there was yeah. no progress. And suddenly, exactly the same position with King B3 and Queen D3 and all of a sudden white is completely winning due to the two weaknesses. Yes. Yeah, these queen end games are just uh, so. Yeah, brutal. he should he should have spent some more time after g5, yeah, because g5 in fact changed the position changed the quite mode, a bit. Yeah, changed the dynamic. It's it changed a little bit what they were were playing for and so on. But if uh, of course uh, it's easy to say after uh, it's incredibly difficult to play such a position uh, with uh, little time. Yeah, he opts for king h7, but yeah, after h yeah, ah, West even doesn't go for h5. Yeah, but this is what I was talking about, that you will actually pick up the pawn on g6 with check. When you just give yes. a lot of checks, you give a million checks and finally you get it with check, yeah? Yeah, you not only take the pawn, you take it with check, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like queen e7, you can probably, uh, they will actually show it probably, the, the players, but uh, king g8, queen e6 and uh, king f8, let's say queen f6. Yeah. I'm or sure. if you hide on h7, then queen f7. And in the end, you don't take on g6, but you play queen f8 and queen h6 check, which is very important. Sorry, where? How should I? Move? I mean, let's say let's say you go to h7 instead with the king. 
here. Yeah, yeah, instead of king g7. So queen f7, king h8, and now very important not to take the pawn, yeah? Ah, but because queen you can F8 take check. it with check. Yeah, this is your line. This, yeah. is my, this was my point, yeah. This queen mm, exactly. h6 check is very, very important. Yeah. And then it's completely, uh, completely yeah, gone. Yeah, thank you very much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, King G7. I mean, Wesley's taking his time, or did he play a move? No, just no. Like... On the on the video feed, we can see that he already took and already pushed him. Ah, G6, yes, yeah. yeah, because there was no no reason to think. At and and he's just simply staying there with B on B3 with the king, yeah, because no checks ever. Yeah? Very nice. Yeah, and Good. just pushing the the pawns. Yeah, yeah. But also with with two pawns, it's very easy to hide uh, on that side if he starts to run with his king. Yeah. Probably there will be no need, but let's say the king now comes to the king side, then you can hide easily among all those pawns. Yeah, queen have to check king a6. But of course it makes sense to, to play on. And queen c5. Ah, queen g3, even king a4 is a move, yeah? King a4 is a move, yeah. No checks. But okay, then I'm gonna play queen g2. I like uh, this. Young goes queen g2 immediately. I actually would have preferred to provoke that king to a4. Yeah, to, uh, to threaten mate, <laughs> to play for. Yeah, to threaten some, but maybe even the king would march towards the king side. It will march in any case, I think. Yeah. yeah. Once you centralize your queen and you start to march, should be gone. Yeah, queen c4 check. So he wants, let's say, he wants queen d4 and g7, or he wants to march? Yeah. Probably yeah, he wants. put the queen on d4, and then we think. Then we think. But probably g7 is good enough, yeah? Why not? You can hide yeah, on a4. Pushing. Yeah, now just uh, you you can also push the h pawn. There is not much hope left. Not much hope left. Well, king a4, queen g2, it continues a bit, but yeah, queen c3 is simpler. King on a3 now. <laughs> yeah, just completely hopeless. No checks and the other pawn is... Yeah, nothing at all. Deciding the battle. No, even with one pawn, it would be very good chances. Yeah, but with yeah. two, it's... <laughs> you can... Like this, there is nothing to talk about. Yeah, nothing to talk about. Yeah, basically the info that we are getting that the games will start 10 minutes after this game finishes. It might get to 15 minutes because, of course, players need some, some time. So we are not sure exactly when the games will continue. Yeah, C5. Okay, just... C5, hit. last try. Yeah, last try. I mean, in, in any case, if some by some miracle, some stalemate idea, of course, with the king on B7, I don't see any. Yeah, how can you... <laughs> how can you dream about something like this? You know? Yeah. At some point, they will be... Uh... They will be too strong, the pawns. They are already too strong. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Ah, he didn't even take, yeah? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, because CB and and now, okay, queen takes, even king takes, okay. Ah, king takes, yeah? Yeah, he just wants to put the queen on c4 and... Yeah. No, with the king on b7 also, yeah? Always a lot of checks. Yeah. Like in between checks, you the, the, no perpetual when the kings are so close to each other. Yeah, super important. But that means that Nepo is basically in uh, in a very risky situation. Yeah, in a very. I mean, he's in a completely must win situation uh, after after this. He's game. already quite close, simply to being uh, knocked out. Yeah, he he needs to. to and now G eight queen. G eight queen. Okay, yes. But I, I mean, G8, G8 guy would play G8. But queen, everything, yeah? yeah, just Queen Beast is also so brutal. Of course, Queen B3 is better, but G8, well, <laughs> that's the stylish way, yeah? Was good enough, yeah. Not good enough. That's it, because, okay, now 
<laughs> Next yeah, now move you... after Queen D4 check, White just sidesteps, video check, and then promotes the pawn. Yeah, and with two queens, it's very rarely perpetual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to give three, four more queens to the opponent. Yeah, then maybe the yeah. the, the chances are increasing. Yeah, probably he would resign. Yeah, I think that this is the moment to resign. Yeah, queen d6, so just king c3 and... Yeah, yeah. I mean, just not to go to a4 for, for any reason. I mean, yeah. But why not? Ah, and he will not lead the queens with queen before. <laughs> no, I was dreaming of some perpetual, Something, I mean, yeah. some stalemate. I mean, some, who knows, but of course, yeah. no reason even to think about it. That's it. Wow, very, very important win for Wesley. Very important. And very scary loss for Napo as well. Very scary, because he had a lot of time. He had like eight minutes and uh, his queen was on e4. Maybe we can get that position back. Yeah, this the, this was the critical moment. It it's the critical moment actually. Yeah, when when White pushes G five to come up with a defensive plan. Huh? Yeah, and and then okay, all Black needed to do is just just sit tight. You need to wait for White to bring the queen to the king side. Yeah, and then you can start checking. Exactly, because I mean, uh, only with the queen on the queen White's queen on the queen side, uh, White can hope of escaping these checks. Yeah. Yeah, of course, it's so unpleasant uh, always in practical game because ah, you just yeah. give one natural check and after all, it uh, practically it, it went downhill. Yeah, yeah. After that, it's already very, very tough. Yeah, because the, once the king starts to come to like there somewhere, d3, c3, it's it's very, very tough practically. Yeah, I mean, and also now suddenly the c6 pawn is vulnerable. So he, he felt the need to give one more check, which also had white. Yeah, yeah. And also, like we, we mentioned, this idea that white can always pick up g6 with check, as happened in the game. Yeah, ex exactly. I mean, that's, uh, that's well, too much. a hugely important win for Wesley. Jan is in a must win situation. He needs to bounce back to tie the mini match, yeah, not to let Wesley go ahead. Yeah, because in, if direct encounter will be won by, by Wesley, then okay, still the second mini match is also there, but uh, it, it will be tougher and tougher. And yeah. what else do we have? Okay, basically Nakamura showed a little bit of weakness. I feel, yeah, like uh, he he let his foot from the from the gas. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, maybe after this draw, actually, Fedosia will feel like, okay, come on, uh, Hikaru was a little bit uncharacteristically cautious. Let me make good use of my white pieces. I mean, if Fedosia wins, then actually we we could get a very tricky situation in Group B. Yes, yes. With, with all uh, Hikaru, Fedosev and, and Magnus. Uh, they, are all, they will all be tying, yeah? Exactly. So basically the next game between Nakamura and uh, Fedosev will be also super important. Maybe he felt like two draws will be quite a good result for him because he already beat Magnus yesterday. Yeah, but on that's the other risky. Hand, I mean, in in Fisher early. Random, I mean, because we, we talked about this, yeah, that uh, the, there is no safety net with black pieces. There is yeah? no safety net, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So basically, let's try to take it slow. Doesn't feel to that doesn't seem yeah, to yeah. work. Yeah. Now that's true. I mean, no safety net, of course, also means that he can win a game with black. Yeah. But uh, but I agree. In general, it was uh, surprisingly cautious. Of course. Basically, as as we can more or less assume, probably the players will continue at six thirty the the next game. And, uh, okay, if we, for example, have a little time, we could just quickly go through this game that what happened between Hikaru and Fedoseyev. Why, why did this end up in such a simple draw? Knight b6, yeah. bishop b4, f6, knight f3, e5. Those were exactly our words that, okay, Hikaru is trading the dark square bishops, but with the pawn on e5, black will always have counterplay. Yeah, yeah, it cannot really be. Takes, takes, knight c5, following the plan. Yeah, it's absolutely justified. Queen e7, knight g3, g6. Kind of an interesting g6 move. Yeah, it's this knight f5 was disturbing. Yeah, or, or, I mean, like something like bishop g6 also looks very natural. Yeah, but yeah, uh, bishop g6 would have been, you know, the, the thematic move for me. Yeah, that, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, but but for some reason, yeah, bishop g6 he, he did not like. Yeah. Maybe, maybe H4. this maybe this f4 f5 idea was already hanging. F4 f5 or, or also h4 or h5 can be. An yeah, issue. yeah. In in any case, yeah, it seemed like 
No, but Especially you see, knowing solid. what happened, what Fedor CFD actually worked perfectly. So no, it was very, very solid. Yeah, it looked like. Yeah, f4, knight f7, and just coming with the knight to d6. Yeah. Ah, and queen f2, knight a4. I, knight I a4 also is... very systematic. Yeah. Yeah. Eliminating this powerful knight, and then, okay, then, yeah. then suddenly has very harmonious pieces. Very harmonious. Yeah, takes, takes, and basically, yeah, that's it when probably Hikaru has given up his hopes. Yeah, this uh, knight a4 was a cold shower. Yeah. D2, takes, takes, f5, already black eyes for some knight d6, knight e4. The knight is far away from the e5 square. This knight is so much more closer to the e4 square. And yeah, this knight g3 is Hikaru even needed to be careful here, yeah? A little bit looks like, yeah. But yeah, here, queen f3, the idea is to prevent knight d6 because the queen takes d5. Exactly. And if you can't sacrifice it, probably white is in time, yeah. Ah, and then now white actually, I mean, black uh, took the... the this was also a, quite a cautious decision, yeah, because... Yeah. Probably it was possible to play in a more ambitious way also as black here, yeah? Exactly. I mean, this is a very tricky position. Uh, maybe black could have. We don't know the clock situation. Yeah, in yeah, any we don't case, know. I'm pretty sure that Hikaru was kind of relieved here that... Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, by feeling, it should be possible to be more ambitious. Yeah. And okay, now after a long castle, long castle, the status quo is there. You know exactly. This is already classical normal chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can navigate. It, it's, it's a bit uh, beginning to look like... Uh, and this is a rookie one Berlin, yeah, but with from the other side, yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like exactly. Uh, and then the players agreed to draw. So basically, yes. now we understand, yeah, that uh, simply strategically speaking, after knight a4, black was able to trade these knights, and and all the chances for Hikaru fighting for advantage vanished, yeah. So it, it basically made sense. And let's take a look quickly at Magnus's game. Uh, so e4, f6. Knight yeah, knight... d5. Uh, yeah, activating the queen, yeah? Yeah, immediately going for... And fc, e5. Giving up the a7 pawn, but as, as you already very nicely highlighted in the first minutes of our broadcast, black can simply sacrifice this pawn because after knight b6, rook a8 is coming. Yeah, and the something like <laughs> knight a5 will, uh, will not be a very long-term solution, yeah? Yeah, yeah, this is some, um, okay. You, Actually, you... I'm threatening knight takes b7 maybe, but uh, it's hard oh, to wow, believe that it really, works. Yeah? I, I'm yes. not sure, I'm not sure, but... Uh, because uh, there will be bishop c6. There will be bishop c6, exactly. But, yeah, uh, there will be bishop c6. So just to highlight that... Yeah, I mean, knight it, yeah. Takes bishop a6, will be met by bishop c6. So this is not exactly a step. But also knight. in general, yeah, it doesn't really feel like uh, it's enough, yeah? Exactly, I mean, it's too risky to play like this. Yeah. Too risky. Yeah. All right, so basically after e d5, queen d5, d4, knight b6, bishop e2, knight g6. Yeah, Magnus gets the Magnus type of position, yeah? But also next move, very, very nice. Wow, d5, knight f4, a knockout blow. Yes. On move Sim seven. Simply picking up the, the bishop pair, yeah? But yeah. this bishop and, and pair And basically is... in this position, the, the two bishops are just uh, decisive. Yeah, it's completely open, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Okay, this this was a stunner. Yeah, so look d5 runs into knight with fork. Winning material. Yeah. Wow. So, queen so F2, quickly, he... I mean, uh, I, I somehow could already see that Magnus is uh, unstoppable in this type of positions, but you have to d5, knight f4, it's just... Yeah, that's a very nice trick, yeah. Yeah, wonderful trick, yeah. Yeah, queen f2 takes, takes, and... Yeah, black goes on. And to also, take. he solves his problem very nicely here. Yeah, with Long Castle. I mean, activating the last exactly. Piece. And White's King is in a dire straits. Yeah, that yeah, there yeah. is no safety at all. Knight on h1. I mean, it's very unfortunate for Matthias that it was. I mean, the the position fell apart completely. Yeah. Also, Bishop g6 is very strong intermediate move. Yeah. Yeah, hitting the the weaknesses. Yeah, yeah Bishop c2. Yeah, this and is this basically. Was... Where we entered, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Knight GC, Knight A4, and it looked uh, white is doomed. Bishop C6 yeah. takes, takes. Bishop G6. Also, Magnus has incredibly good techniques. So. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just slowly, step by step. I mean, the two bishops are dominating the two knights. And uh, King E to B6. Knight D3. Yeah. 
that's it basically yeah, one way traffic yeah? and at this moment one one really feels that this is already zero one yeah there is no way of and matthias tried to trap the rook wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, funny, funny idea but funny idea but c4 breaks yeah and yeah. then takes takes that's it all right well i mean basically we managed to see three games i don't want to start the fourth one now because i'm i'm feeling that we might be having live action yeah you mean huh? yeah the, the games actually? are about to start i think or, no, or still, some more minutes still no players on the still on the no channel. players okay still no players then to make it fair i mean please uh, please thought is then inform us whenever there is uh, movement to to make it fair then let's take a look also at abdul satulov's game because okay abdul satulov is on fire so far the most impressive player of the event yeah definitely f4 d5 f4 d5 that, that we predicted basically the gambit the nils gambit yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah knight bc knight b6 g4 no 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 oh no i mean i i take full responsibility i should <laughs> yeah, never yeah. mentioned you know this idea of g4 it it even for hikaru didn't really work against the uh, blue bomb mm, no 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 this this is not on the other hand it's kind of nice yeah g4 your yeah, bishop, bishop on g3 looks nice but the problem is uh yeah the center yeah yeah e6 d3 g5 yeah very very nice looking yeah we are getting the info that the players are getting ready and after f5 e5 uh, he played d4 which is actually quite interesting yeah d4 and then some incredible because i just uh, looked at uh, looked over to this game at one point i want to see this uh, position and then we this e4 yeah <laughs> e4 knight is three yeah knight is behind enemy lines yeah and it's a bit similar to magnus yeah that you pick up the bishop and the bishop pair is very very strong yeah 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 this is ah but also he has two moves further and another very nice move yeah from black a5, a5. but but yeah Good. this is this is abdu satulov yeah if he gets the initiative if he gets something to play with he's just so incredibly strong yeah he, he will never hesitate takes takes look d5 and yeah basically we have seen that yeah uh, basically we saw this that long term uh, long terms black is black is just better uh, actually, yeah. i actually i wouldn't be completely sure if white is able to castle here or not. <laughs> if white is allowed yeah yes yes this is uh this is a trick yeah but, that's true uh, <laughs> i also didn't yeah. uh, wasn't sure about the, the rules takes takes and then black castles as well and yeah basically this was the yeah white as we saw yeah that and from this moment looks. on, black has a very, very easy to play position. Yeah. yeah, and then this queen g8 was also very nice. Yeah, takes, takes, bishop f2, a3, b4, h5, takes, bishop d7. Yeah. H4, no, g4. The, well, the black's bishop is simply so much better than white's. Huh? Yeah, and, and the pawn structure, yeah. Yeah, pawn structure also. Pawn structure. The, the only trick is that I have to restart the program to get the new positions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's the same position, but still I have to restart and I'm getting nervous. Maybe the players will start the game. So with big apology, but I will just stop yes. this. Game. So takes, takes. But okay, here it's clear. Yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, here it's clear. No, nothing to talk about. Black is exchange up. Uh, the pawn on A2 is falling. I will also be be uh be back in two minutes yeah all right so okay congratulations to abdu satulov for winning the first game of the mini match uh Gret arson is still in a lot of pain and a lot of trouble he needs to to score to to get some confidence otherwise this these guys are just so brutally strong uh vastly so has beaten uh, jan Japomniashi, making a big step forward so basically it's now uh all eyes on jan he needs to bounce back to to keep his uh hopes alive magnus has won a very smooth game right in the start he managed to to hit with knight f4 and 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 get the initiative and went on to convert and fedosi have made a rather easy draw so let me close the program and then start again to make sure we are getting the positions correctly day two match match three game two yeah there we have it all right so now we see that
Also, the share screen is working. All right. Okay. And I'm, I'm relieved. Everything works. Uh, the players are coming. The players are, have taken their seats. And the first move, E4. Jan Japomniashi goes for E4 in a must-win game, occupying the center right from the start. Let me also start the life engine so that evolution bar is working. Yes, okay. So everything, wow, we're going to see a Scandinavian. E4, D5, ED, Rook, D5. Okay, we, we have to wait for Niels to come back. I mean, who else, if not Niels, is the big expert of the Scandinavian, the Swedish number one? I mean, ED5, Rook, D5, Bishop, C4. What does it tell us? That basically Black will definitely play long castles because he, he can't play short castle anymore. Razor sharp opening. Razor sharp opening, but somehow I really feel that knowing that actually Black will be able to castle long, it looks like some good development for Black. I mean, these first moves are so important and, and no one does it better than Wesley. I have to tell you, this is the, the impression I'm getting. Uh, now I, I see because I completely missed out on the first uh, Fisher Random World Championship and Wesley was so impressive. I have seen the result. I have seen a couple of uh, moments of uh, of that event, but not, not all the games with so much attention. And what strikes me is that Wesley somehow always gets a nice position right from the start with both colors. Niels. Yes. Just, just in time. Help me out. We are getting Scandinavian. Uh, Scandinavian, D5. yeah, D5. And, wow. and I mean, to, to my shock, I realized that actually Black will have long castles and everything makes perfect sense for Black. Ah, uh, long castle will come, yeah? Yeah, actually Black is taking over right from the start. Bishop C4, Duke D6. I'm very scared for White. Very scared. So uh -huh, he plays F3. F3 played. Okay, knight b6 is a tempo, then long castle is coming. Yeah, that's true. I mean, bishop g3 will be some tempo also, but uh, what will you do with your king with white? Yeah, yeah this is... Uh, I mean, and, and where do we put this bishop? I mean, if bishop b3, the knight is... Yeah, the knight long. is completely stuck. No, bishop c4 was not a great tempo to get, yeah? No, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely confused, but, but look at this. I mean, Wesley plays knight g6 instantly. Knight g6 to have e5 after e5, bishop g3, yeah, bishop I guess, g3, yeah? e5, yeah. That's his point. Yeah. I mean, this looks like a disaster for white. <laughs> Total disaster. Actually, the openings are not working at all for Jan. No. I, I, I don't know, I mean, what is happening. I mean, he's not preparing carefully enough or he just doesn't pay so much attention to the first moves, but actually he should. He plays too fast, yeah? This we discussed already. That's a yes. big... Uh... Big yeah, issue. he plays just too fast. And uh, now he's again up on the clock with almost two minutes, but it doesn't help. I mean, Black has solved his problems. If Black jumps out with the knight and then makes this famous long castle business, basically the, the look from b8 will get to d8, uh, putting pressure immediately. But also, like, uh, if you can't go to b3 with the bishop, where do you go? I mean... Yeah, very, very awkward. I mean, basically, one feels like you, you would love to play d4, but it runs into long castles. It runs into long castle. Or Just like to highlight, yeah, what, what we are talking about. Long castle and almost game over. Yeah, complete disaster for white. I mean, in, wow. in just six moves, black is winning the game. That's... Uh... No, winning, I'm not, it's, it's early, but... No, I mean, okay. <laughs> I yeah, mean, that's, but that's true. Yeah, if you ask me to make him up, move... you, you won't be able to castle anymore. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's complete disaster. I mean, I'm, I'm playing with look up and then knight b6 is coming with a tempo. Knight from h1 can't develop knight from... I mean, it's completely... Of course, white cannot afford to open up the position now, but if he has to dig... dig but how to... I mean, how to play... Yeah, I was actually thinking about this move. He played a3, but it looks so sad. Yeah, it's it's a nice move. It's it's the best move probably in the position. And, Could uh, be, but uh... yeah, and and you remember we talked about the first game also that actually Jan played so many good moves. Yeah, he was putting so much fight, yeah, but yeah, actually yeah. he started from a terrible position. After yeah. after move four or five, it was like plus minus. And looks like the same story now. Yeah, same story. Yeah. So his idea knight b6 bishop a2 that you still cannot activate the queen as black, but. But what do you play after? Ah, he, okay, ah, he, long so, castles, of long course, castle, yeah. he wants knight f2, I guess. And then knight e4. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, because this is the only, I mean, if Black would be able to push F5 or F6, Bishop F7, then it would be almost game over. But yeah, this, this Bishop is putting some pressure on the Queen. Maybe this idea we saw yesterday from, from Jan, I think, to play H5 and Queen H7, activate that way ah, is there. From that angle, yeah. That could, is... could be, yeah, but... That, he plays slightly surprising sense. with bishop c6, yeah? I mean, it's a very solid way. He wants bishop d5 and then he's slightly better, but... Maybe not the sharpest move. On the other hand, uh, yeah, basically Wesley needs only a draw in this game. So it, it also makes sense from his perspective if he feels like, okay, I got a great opening, but I, I don't want to win. I just want to make sure that I will get a stable knight's advantage and not, nothing can happen. Yeah, knight b6 and then bishop d5 and then eventually going to go f6. Yeah, so exactly, or f5. Yeah, and actually it's very important and very nice that he did not force the bishop back to a2, so white can't play knight b6 due to knight b6. Yes. Although, uh, even uh, with the bishop on a2, if you play knight b3, then you allow f5 or f6. Uh, yeah. Also yeah, not no, great. It's, uh, it's a very sad position. I mean, basically, it's so sad that I, I, I feel that we have to move. Yeah, <laughs> we have to move to another game. Yeah, yeah. because, okay, if, yesterday we talked about that black was in a lot of danger in the first moves. Yeah, it, it really felt like in the very first position in the first game. But now, okay, Jan is in, in total trouble. Mm, let me take a look at Fedosea because uh, Hikaru, yeah. if I mean, he needs to. That's also pretty interesting, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, the the knight from H one already landed on CC. Let's take. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's funny. E four. I mean, E four was played twice so far. What we have witnessed, but D five wasn't played by Hikaru. D five actually very strong, yeah. Very. I mean, it feels very strong. It's very strong immediately. Wow. Yeah. What happened? So E four, E six. F for d5, knight g3, knight b6, knight b3. Ah, and then Hikaru went for this uh, very direct takes, takes f5 business. Yeah, which is rather double-edged, yeah? Rather double-edged, yeah. If it's a good idea, it's it's wonderful. If it backfires, then you have you a lot full of... of weaknesses. Ah, yes. g5, fg5, and bishop h5. Mm-hmm. But I'm still not sure that uh, strategically. Yeah, so basically, it means that Black will never be able to castle short. Uh, it will be for both sides probably about castling long. And, yeah, uh, I'm and not then sure. the maybe weakness... White still can consider it. But... Well, yeah, first White... of all, you have to play Bishop yeah. uh, Bishop E2. Yeah, what Bishop else? E2 looks like a very natural move. I can't really see anything else. Yeah. Well, uh, the evolution bar actually claimed that white is better, but after bishop e2 claims that black is more or less fine, so maybe there was another move. I maybe there, but it's <laughs> this. I then I have no idea what. what yeah, that move I also be. have absolutely zero clue. So, yeah, I mean, I guess he will take take on g5. Take on g5 or take on e2 first. Yeah, which move order? I'm I mean, probably... he actually opted for taking on e2. He take you took an e2, okay. But now I feel that because this this opening was also so original, the players are playing too fast. A bit too fast, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to to my taste, yeah, all all these kind of decisions that you don't know exactly how to evaluate was taken a little bit too lightly. Yeah, that's true. Hikaru. So okay, this is some technical glitch because okay, it's clear that White takes back on e2. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Instantly, Queen takes. A G5 is probably necessary. Yeah, and now is the back big question. Yeah. yeah, now is the big question. For black, actually, moves are maybe easier than for white, but... Okay, you... the very first move, I'm thinking... Yeah, bishop G3 is... is the most natural, but, but knight, then G6. knight G6. Yeah? Knight G6 is, will dominate the bishop a bit. Yeah, yeah if, if imagine black gets E5 in, then, then this bishop on G3, knight on E2 will be very stupid. Actually, this move. Hmm. Yeah. No. I mean, Bishop I'm G3. Thinking... I don't like. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about this move, Knight BD4. When it can be a possibility to put some pressure ah, on. Actually, Bishop G3 played. So takes takes. Bishop G3 on the board, and after Knight G6, then Knight BD4 would be your suggestion. Yeah, that was right? my suggestion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very clever. 
Pawn on e e6 is a bit vulnerable, yeah? And if you play queen f6, well, it's a step in... It's a bit passive. Knight b5 was my main uh, main plan. Wow, so aggressive, yeah, because you don't give time to castle. Double well, I'm, attack. Also, I'm also simply attacking two pawns, yeah? Double <laughs> attack, yeah. Wow, yeah, this is... This is serious. This could be quite quite good for white, right? This looks yeah. So bishop g3, knight g6 on the board, and knight bd4 feels like the critical. Bishop c5 runs into knight e6. He plays yeah, knight e d4. Similar idea. Very similar idea. Maybe even stronger because knight on b3 is more useful than knight on e2. <laughs> yeah, this to me is not not so obvious, but also you you might be right. <laughs> no, I mean uh, it wasn't obvious to me at all. Like, exactly. Yeah. But but That's after what it is, the is. knight moved from e2 to d4, actually it makes sense because d2 was a bit vulnerable spot. Yeah. But uh, like you can play, of course, rook e8 with the intention of long castle, but. Rook e8, yeah. That is it enough. Knight and b5. Then what about knight b5? Yeah, Still I was your knight b5. I was hoping for some. To be honest, actually, I was hoping for Long Castle. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, but uh, suddenly many things are falling apart. Ah, no, knight takes a7, king b8, queen takes b6. Queen b6, yeah? exactly. Queen takes yeah, b6. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and that's a bit sad, yeah? Just to highlight, yeah, the dangers. Ay. Wow, knight ed4. I mean, very well spotted, Niels, that the knight will jump to d4. Yeah. Uh, and I have to say that in in my mind, uh, Fedosev is a very dangerous Fisher and on chess player. So, yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. People shouldn't be underestimating him. I mean, he's a threat to Magnus. He's threat to Hikaru. I mean, it's uh, it's not given at all that uh, this group will be just be decided between Hikaru and. Uh, and oh, Magnus. definitely not. That's why these games are so so important. Yeah. yeah okay. One important. thing that I was now curious about was the move uh, f4. Yeah, maybe actually black has to try something like this. Yeah, locking yeah, like, out the bishop. Because knight takes e6 is not so impressive. Let's say queen f6 or queen f5. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, one, one In any case, at the point that after knight takes d8, you take the bishop and the knight is trapped on d8. Yeah? Exactly. Uh... Okay, there is... But look f1, gh2. Yeah, rook f1, e h2. Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just no, very, very nice. Just keep on harassing. I mean, otherwise, but actually, also you could, could put the queen on f6 if you wanted to be, yeah, yeah, safe, yeah, yeah, of course. So. It, it's sometimes just an accident when I'm putting the, the queen, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure without sure. any real intentions. But f4 is mm, positionally maybe not so desirable, on yeah, the maybe hand. you just retreat the bishop, yeah, exactly. Uh, but then at least, uh, I mean, black is not going to lose anything, yeah, immediately. Not immediately, but yeah, then actually <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe regroup with knight f3, then rook e1, and play long castle and get a very nice positional advantage. Uh, sure, sure. White, this looks to be a bit, uh, a bit yeah. better. I mean, just to highlight what we are thinking about here, yeah, like rook e8, rook e1, and yes. uh, for example, let's make a move like queen f6, we, we castle, black also castles, and then maybe white starts rook e4, rook d1. I yeah, mean, yeah, nice, uh, nice, uh, slight edge, let's say. Uh, very looks... nice, very nice edge. In, in fact, I mean, long terms, it can even be almost winning, yeah, because of, of this vulnerable pawn on e5. Yeah, you need basically a knight to attack the rook on e4, but they are very far. Exactly. I mean, just, uh, of course, we, we're not going to analyze this position. It's just to highlight that there are all kinds of strategical dangers as well. If Hikaru wants to, to push f5, f4... Yeah, you really don't issues. want to play it. Play f4 eh, if you don't have to, but I'm yeah. simply not really seeing other other moves. Yeah, yeah, and and to me that uh, Hikaru is spending so much time clearly indicates that he's in some kind of a pain. Yeah, it uh, because he he's not famous for spending a lot of time for nothing. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, but it looks it, unpleasant. I mean, we simply don't see any moves, right? <laughs> yeah, any real good moves. Yeah, okay. Queen f6 would be another move. Queen f6, knight b5. Yeah, this is knight b5. Yeah. And then f4, then already this knight. Well, at least I can check. consider taking on a7 with check, yeah. Yeah. Forcing king d7 and and then there will be no more castles whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And bishop f2, I mean b6 is hanging and yeah. No, no, very, very risky and very scary. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So what but I'm sure that he will come with a move that we have not spotted. I have this <laughs> feeling now very strongly. 
well, basically, we have already also looked at all the so-called most natural moves, and <laughs> and we didn't like any of it. Yes. And uh, yeah, of course, Hikaru is an incredible fighter. He always finds some resources, but his position is tough, and he's falling behind on the clock. Yes. I mean, move eleven, and uh, he's done to to fifteen minutes. Yeah, he doesn't want to play a four, but on the other hand. Like if there are no other moves, you, you simply have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now he's uh, he's thinking. Let's use the momentum to yeah. check out with look. with Magnus. I mean, Magnus won the first game with the black pieces, so he just needs a nice strategical battle, and it seems like he has everything under control. Yeah, he has some small space advantage. Yeah. Yeah, and the knight on g6 is stupid. A bit stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's How's really comfortable. Are you going to? Yeah, what the, what do we do with the the king? With yeah? the king, yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, I guess the short castle is not out of the question. But also staying for a while in the center maybe can can be done. Ah, so actually, blue bomb is one move away from queen e seven and then castling. Yeah, but are you sure that you really want it? Yeah, with this f four g four already there. Yes, knight h uh, five. It's, it's scary, but on the other hand, he's in a must win situation. Yeah, so any ah, double yeah, like scenario this, yeah? mm -hmm. could could be basically. Interesting for him, at least. Ah, wow, look at this. Hikaru finally goes for f4. We have to jump right in there. Yeah, we have to is... go for it. No, he went through e8, actually. Ah, he went through e8 first. So getting ready for long castles, but knight b5 immediately. Knight b5? Yeah, so we already discussed that, unfortunately, black is unable to, to castle due to knight xc7. Yes. So he opted for f4 now, and then knight xc7 check. King d8, bishop f2. The knight has to move again because the knight on b6 is under attack. Knight d7. And basically his point is that the knight on a7 is somewhat trapped. Yeah. Well, but can you do your, your knight d4 move? Your favorite knight d4? <laughs> knight d4, yeah, I can, but... Uh... Uh, you mean that... No, but knight c6 is hardly a threat, yeah? You know, well, I mean, okay, if you play c6, I might consider knight takes c6. Yeah, sure, Probably sure. not, but uh, maybe. Actually, I also rookie opened one. up for some uh, b4 option. A b4, yeah. But of course, I only gonna go b4 if you do something, otherwise, I don't. If I do something strange, yeah. Yes. I mean, a normal move would be something like bishop, uh, bishop c5, I think. Yeah. Ah, rookie one was simply played. Okay, very nice little move because getting ready for long castles. Yes. Yeah, Hikaru goes rook a8, so he's kind of hinting at this knight. But yeah, of he's, course, uh... of course, Fedosev is absolutely right. I mean, there is just no reason to panic. The knight on a7 is double defended with the bishop on f2 and queen on g1. If black plays b6, knight c6 comes. Sure, sure. So but it's long, no long term, of... no? A bit unpleasant to have this knight. Yeah, I mean, there is just no way of trapping this knight. And then also black's king is stuck in the center. But what do you do? You really want to then, castle? Then I castle. Okay. Ah, you will castle, yeah. Then I castle. You are not afraid of this a file, probably. I mean, no okay. Reason. The knight on b six stops queen a five. Yeah, and the move c five is a bit too much, yeah. Or... Yeah, then I'm coming back with the knight to b five with happiness. But I take on a two then. Then okay, I give you this pawn. Okay, let's. <laughs> you are happy. Huh? <laughs> I'm yeah, very probably. happy with the b five square. Yeah, rook a two. Let me play king b one. Yeah. Rook goes back to a6, yeah? Yeah, probably. No, actually, after king b1, maybe I start with c4. c4, yeah? You, you no, but bishop, bishop, bishop b6 check also is there. It's, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, but I'm not so sure. Also, I didn't have to take immediately, maybe. c4 was also... Yeah, it was not... I mean, basically, it's a nice illustration that, yeah, why uh, Vladimir is thinking. Yeah, yeah that, uh, exactly. The situation is not as simple, and then this is what Hikaru is having in mind. Um, yeah, exactly. Like long castle, actually, normally would be a bit nervous, yeah, before playing. Yeah, he opts for rook e4. But it also feels a bit it feels loose here. Yeah. So uh, this I mean, he... he really wants to go knight if I mean rook e4 and then set him with knight c6 check. <laughs> yeah, probably, but it's uh, one move threat, yeah. Also, I have to ask, I'm not sure that it works, but what about rook takes a7 followed by b6? Wow. Okay, let's take a look. Takes, takes, b6. I'm down a lot of material, but... And you just want to walk the king over? Yeah, yeah? Or, or queen d5, queen b7 also is possible. 
Mm-hmm. I'm not sure which which of the two. Are. Wow. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's a surprise, but uh, a, a surprise. legitimate question. Because if I win the bishop for a pawn, I will be quite fine materially, yeah? and my pieces yeah. are then not so bad. Exactly. I mean, you get all these disbalances and everything that. I mean, if you have a dubious position, as we consider Hikaru's position dubious, any kind of mess could be in his favor. Yes. This, I think, looks quite uh, quite decent for black, yeah, practically. This is, this is also very much Hikaru's style, right? Yes. I mean, uh, uncompromising, and, and also it's all about fighting for initiative. He's uh, behind on the clock. He's, yeah. He, he, his position is strategically quite vulnerable. Definitely. No, this I'm I'm quite uh, quite tempted. And, and besides this, look A4 looks like a joke, but it might be a very big threat. Yeah, um, at some point maybe you have to go to the other side, yeah. King E7, King F7, but it's not what you want. Yeah, definitely. Uh yeah, I mean it's very tempting, yeah, to remove the knight and trap the bishop. And then just play. Wow, but I mean, it's it, it can't be. Yeah, look, okay, some bishop. You don't, you, you, you don't believe. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea, but somehow I feel that there should be something for it's white. Too much. But uh, I I see your point. It's some. It's tricky. Que queen d4 or something like this. Yeah, queen d4. I mean, Queen G2 is easily answered by Long Castle. By Long Castle, exactly. Yeah, ju just to highlight that, yeah, this is not a worry because we, we just castle and say <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, the, the question is different. Yeah, the question is what happens uh, to more, uh, let's say, strategic moves. Yeah, Yeah, King C8, yeah? If you... King C8, let's say, yeah. The Queen A4. You insist. Or Queen C4, maybe. Well, Queen C4, King B7. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, I take an e6, but... Ah, uh, you want to go for this? I don't know, it's another pawn, and uh, mm -hmm. then already I have three. I will have three pawns. But... but, I mean, queen a4 is also very smart because you keep an eye on the knight. Yes, yes, it also stops. Uh... Then, then I, mean, I have to play queen d5, basically. But I allow queen d5, yeah? after queen c4, yeah, it's exactly. not possible. So it's, that was my reasoning, but here maybe rook d4 is simply very, very strong, yeah? Yeah, here probably rook d4. I mean, rook okay, d4, we, we shouldn't... Uh... It's a bit too long variation, yeah. yeah. yeah get <laughs> get uh, too too far away. If Hikaru takes on a7, we're gonna be dealing with it. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah but he's done to 11 and a half minutes. It's clear that he he might be doing something uh, out of the ordinary because ju just the position doesn't look good, and it's, it's not a position where you can afford to make two natural moves. Uh, you you no no you have to be losing. very very concrete here. Yeah. yeah. How do you what? So what are the options? This C five looks like way too much. A rook a four and that's it. Yeah? yeah, basically, yeah. Now C five doesn't. It's only when the knight had to retreat. And yeah? what so C five on the board? He played C five. Yeah. Exactly at the moment that when 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 I confirmed that no 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 C five never but it's on the board. But rook is so a rook a four. Let's say he wants. What does he want? You're looking for some knight b6. Can you do it? Knight b6. But it's so loose, yeah? It's very loose, but let's see. So rook a5, knight c4, yeah? Some, some... Yeah, rook a5, knight c4. I'm knight c6. I'm knight c6. But knight is trapped on c6, yeah? <laughs> yeah? King c7. Yeah, now if I take on a8, my knight will be trapped uh, on the next move. Some incredible. Oh, yeah, takes, takes. Some incredible mess, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, the I mean of course uh, whenever I see a move like C5, I just want to get the knight back to B5. And, you want to play knight B5, yeah? And then but... claim that I'm just okay, take my pawn, I'm strategically clearly better. Yes, yes, I agree. Knight B5 is very tempting. Knight b5, I mean, okay, you have this C4 idea, but then bishop b6 check looks yeah, but uh, you already stopped it, yeah, with rook on e4. Okay, but the queen hits uh, the the knight. Why? Why he did he play rook a4? Eh? Yeah, he played rook a4 and quite quickly. Feels uh, a bit. I mean, it's like uh, I I would feel that this is exactly the the move that uh, that Hikaru wants to face. Yeah? That my opponent wanted. Yeah, me to me to play. 
I would definitely decline this offer. Yes. I mean, I no, also because feel, playing many times, by the way, I'm getting bluffed like this. Yeah, Knight B6 on the board that I, I simply just uh, don't want to go along the lines my opponent wants, and they are bluffing it. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. To... But this is it really? Yeah, what is this? Is it really a bluff? <laughs> it doesn't look like. Razor sharp. Can we play? No, we can't. Which one? I almost wanted to take knight xc5. But yeah, we... I also thought, but uh, he will take with the bishop, yeah? He exactly. will not take the rook. Exactly. Just, of course, black is not taking here, then we are very happy, but yeah. black first takes on c5 and then cashes in. Wow, okay, but uh, the, the position is, of course, <laughs> incredibly entertaining. No, this is, uh, this is great stuff. Uh... Yes, yeah, so, the, so the feeling is that we should give this exchange yeah, to to get some pawn. Yeah, exchange but, we would be happily giving, but... But the question, yeah, is how, how do we manage to do it? I mean, like rook a5, knight c4, rook takes c5 is much less tempting version, yeah, because black is very active then. Yeah, this knight on c5 and the, the queen on g1 I'm not liking, yeah, in... I, I feel that suddenly this queen g5, knight c4 combo might... Uh, Cause us some trouble. Well, actually, why is evolution bar really claiming that white is uh, clearly better? It must be some some crazy. I mean, we were so happy with white throughout this game, but exactly at this moment, I feel it's complete chaos. Rook a five play. Okay, so let me let me try it anyway. Knight c four, rook takes uh, rook takes c five. Rook Just takes c five. Yeah, no Just fear. Okay, bishop, I have to take. Yeah, bishop takes, bishop takes. Bishop takes. So queen d4 is a major threat. Wow, but hang on, breaking news. Fedosea blitzes out the move rook b5. What is this? Uh, the idea rook takes a7 and bishop takes c5. Yeah? Wow, but... Uh, that should not work. I don't know. I mean, but I mean, why on earth did he so quickly play rook a4 after c5? I, I yeah, just don't that's... understand this. He was five minutes up on the clock. It's such an important game. Yeah, and, and he's not in a must-win situation. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised. Okay, Although we should we should say that ID is quite uh, quite an interesting one. Yeah? yeah, maybe he simply thinks that it's a it's a crushing idea. Yeah. But you are mated on the back right? Let's say I play uh... hmm. How do I do this? Bishop takes c5? Yeah, no, but, takes no but the queen will be very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought knight takes, yeah? No, I want it with the rook. Uh, rook yeah, rook takes is simpler. Yeah, that's probably yeah, I, I win a tempo, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is good enough. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I mean, okay, just forget about this evaluation bar, guys. This, this position is... This, and he goes king c8. That's a the king c8 actually was... I wanted to suggest, but I couldn't see what to do after queen d4. A queen d4? A queen d4. I call rook a4, maybe. Just protecting. <laughs> Just protecting the knight, yeah? Threatening Running queen d5. Rook takes b7. I mean, where, where are we going? Oh, yeah, but um, queen d5, let's say. Ah, you Then you simply take on a h7 or something like this, yeah? No, then rook e1 checkmate is coming. No, no, you don't trade on d5. Ah, yes, of course. No, <laughs> but no, I, still, yeah. it's black is peace up and black is yeah. with initiative, yeah? <laughs> but but by the way, just out of very funny question, after queen d5 takes, takes, look, takes h7. Look, e1, this is not checkmate or I can castle long? No, you I cannot can't. castle when you're in check. You yeah, cannot castle no, of when course, you're in yeah. Check. I just wanted to try, it's illegal, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ju just to make sure that we know these rules already. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, king c8... <laughs> Hikaru using his momentum. At queen d4, if this rook a4 is the point, it's um, it's incredible, no? Because it looks so strange. Rook b4 plays. Rook b4. I mean, but this rook started its journey from e1. I mean, this rook e4, rook a4, rook a5, rook b5, rook b4. Nah, it's a bit, uh, <laughs> it's a bit too It's much. hard to believe in this dance. Yes, yes. Definitely hard to believe. Bishop I mean, takes it, it e5 feels now. like some hurricane. No, I mean, now the hurricane is turning the... the but, I I don't feel that it's it does the the desired uh, damage. Also, uh, the threat bishop takes a seven is no real threat, yeah, because the rook is now hanging. Ah, uh, the threat is to take rook takes c four. Like let's say I play queen d five, you take yeah. rook takes c four. Yeah? Exactly, yeah, just just to take. 
All right, yeah. So okay, we we are still kind right, of uh, under the impression of the computer. Yeah, if if you ask me, I have no idea who is better and why. But it feels like these pieces. Yeah, to me, it feels very promising for them. Like a bishop takes c five, rook takes c four does not work for black at all. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm I'm not sure. Wow, knight takes d two. Yeah, this wow, is a yeah. this, this wow. is a strike. Wow. Not allowing the long castles anymore. This no, here you can castle, but uh, you will lose material, yeah? I mean, yeah, basically, yeah. But, uh, I mean, you 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 can't castle long because of knight bc and then bishop takes d5. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, this this is huge. I mean, wow. This whole sequence of king c8, knight takes d2, brilliant stuff by Hikaru. Knight takes d2 is brilliant. Yeah. And king takes d2. <laughs> oof, <laughs> oof. <laughs> I brilliant. mean, okay, suddenly this king is so vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F, F3 check maybe is the... F3 check. I mean, everything. Yeah, yeah, okay, everything. I mean, also some. Okay, Rook D8 check. Also, Rook D8, very King unpleasant. E1. I'm not sure. Yeah? Then King E1. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to F1. You you might run like yeah. Okay, F3 is, is but F3 yeah F3 looks opening up everything. Yeah, because now you cannot go King E1. Queen E5 check wins on the spot. So. Wow. What, what a turn of events. I mean, it was Hikaru's king who was uh, was, in, was in a big danger. And but all of a sudden... Like, again, yeah, a bit unnecessary to go for these complications as white when you have such a nice position. Exactly, yeah. This is what we, we talked about, yeah, that Hikaru is the one who, who needs to create the mess. Yes, but with white, you should just decline the offer. It's simply, exactly, like just retreat the knight, keep back the pawn and keep your strategic edge, yeah? Exactly, and also time advantage, everything, I mean... Yeah. No, no, this this, this rook a4, rook a5, rook b5, rook b4. Okay, if it would have worked, it would have been brilliant, but... Yeah, but even if it would have worked, it would have been unnecessary, no? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just keep it simple. Yeah. I mean, keep it simple once you have gotten your very good position. Yeah? Exactly. And yeah, uh, this... and basically, Hikaru makes the perfect use of, of the rule that if you have peace up, you can actually sacrifice it back. Yes, yes. Okay, I took on d2 with the king. Yeah, yeah, he took with the king. So now we expect. Okay, f f3. If you go. Yeah, but what do, can you do actually? Well, f3 check was your favorite move. Yeah, on yeah. the board. Yeah, f3 check. I mean, queen e3. You take with check on g2. Yeah? It also looks like a disaster. Yeah, I mean, do I have to run towards b5? But yeah, but <laughs> it's made. Yeah, it's made. How? I mean, just to highlight this kind of things, yeah, that's okay. King c3, I mean, I'm very worried. No, I had this is very understandable, yeah. I mean, bishop g7 check, bishop d4, bishop d4, yeah. Th this is how I wanted to put up some resistance, but this is not so clear, right? Not so clear, no, no not at all. But Let's hang see. on, so after fc, it means that, for example, queen e3 would be a move. You you might have some rook d8 check. Oof, rook d8 wins on the spot after queen e3. King e1? I mean, then we take and b4 rook is hanging. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we the check. eternal problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a huge problem. Yeah, just to highlight that. Just when it seems like we, we survive, then we lose the rook with check. Yes. Wow. Okay, but then we are in, in a lot of trouble. I simply don't see how you... I mean, king c3 immediately looks insanely dangerous, yeah? Yeah, with a queen on g1. But what what can you do? Eh? Maybe and, you have and to king fight. e1. You said queen e5 wins on the spot. Yes. Yeah, because they're the same issue. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, because if if king moves, then it's checkmate, and queen e3 runs into takes takes, and the rook is falling with a check. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Then then okay. Basically, Vladimir will have to run into some uh, some mate. Yeah, just with king c3, close the eyes and go. But no, no. Yeah, King C3 looks like the only move that doesn't lose on the spot. It's the only move, yeah. Clock situations are evened out. No, but so many. He's played. Uh, he played Queen E3, yeah? He played Queen E3, but okay, now really Rook D8 check. Looks to be brutal. Ah, Rook D8, Rook D4. Rook D4, yeah? 
Yeah, well, I mean, it looks lost, but I mean, every, everything else is designable on the spot. Then maybe it's better than designed. Bishop takes c5, you take on g5. Yeah, that's the point. Well, okay. I mean, okay, I'm still alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yeah. So basically, actually, rook d8, rook d4 puts some resistance. Because king c3 will now be quite safe. Yeah, let's say. Yeah, Relati yeah. Relatively speaking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so queen e3 on the board. Dramatic, highly dramatic. Highly Actually, dramatic. We, we lost uh, all our attention with this game. And the, I feel that it's worth it because it's it's spectacular. No, no, it's, yeah, definitely. I'm just uh, very quickly uh, want to have an update in... Uh, is Jan having chances? Maybe he has chances to bounce Here back. he has definitely chances, no? Yeah, he has chances. So after this disastrous opening, actually, he managed to, to fight back. But yeah. all our eyes will be of it with Fedosey and Nakamura. Yeah, yeah, because it's a crazy game, completely crazy. Yeah, yeah this, is, uh, this is just <laughs> absolutely crazy. A rook d8, rook d4. I mean, six minutes for Hikaru, move 23. Eight not, moves to be played. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot for this crazy position. Yeah, queen takes g2, king c3 looks already... It's a mess. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, like nice counterplay, huh? probably. It, it's a fight, yeah. We, we want something a bit more straightforward, let's say. Yeah, and then that after rook d8 check, we have rook d4. I think this is quite a big, uh, this is big very step important, forward. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe you can just take and you are better here. Yeah, takes. You you maybe just take. I take on G2, yeah? King C3 and... King C3 and then some rook A6, rook, rook C6. A6, yeah. yeah. Actually, probably I play king... Uh, queen. Can I play queen F2 instead? Just try to survive into the ending. I was hoping use... that I might have queen G5 check. Okay, I go back. Queen E3. Ah, just like this. Yeah? I mean, I really want to train this. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and th this is on the board. This Luke is on D the board, yeah. Rook d4. Bishop takes c5. Was played. Ah, he traded, yeah. He trades everything simply. But hang on. Yeah, the, the, the queen on g5, he sacrificed. No, no. He, uh, he took an e3 first, I guess. Oh. I think he took an e3 first. Happen? Queen takes let e3, me, simply. Let me first update the board. Uh -huh. Yeah, rook d4, queen takes... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. I was like... I, I was calculating it never worked for me. Yeah, It's not like, wow, for Hikaru it works. <laughs> yeah, takes, takes. Takes, takes. F takes g2. And uh, basically, okay, if there won't be any forced win for black, then, then I feel that it should end in a draw. Yeah, it looks very drawish. Huh? Yeah. I mean, black is... Better probably, but okay. If if you keep this g2 pawn, yeah, we connect it with some knight h4. It's and then the look for me seven is in time to get active immediately as well. Yeah, I mean a2 is hanging, and uh... but even if you give a2, let's say, can you play king e3 yeah, king or e3, king e4? Yeah, just making sure that after knight h4, he will be able to dominate the the knight with the king. Yeah, even to f2 maybe, and then king g3. Yeah, yeah, yeah and and okay, the knight is. Super, super good. The structure is damaged. Yeah, white can fall back with the knight also to d3. Very drawish, yeah? Very, okay, let's make a move. Yeah, rook takes a2, we collect. King f2. King f2. So ah, you should you... Knight, knight h4, yeah, or knight f4, let's say. You give me a chance to play knight f4. Yeah, knight that's f4. not great. That was I mean, bit... okay, maybe knight d3 is just, just fine. I mean, maybe knight just perfectly fine. I'm looking for some tricks, but I can't find. Yeah, it's this enough. might be solid. Yeah, king is replayed. Some, but the rook a5, there is always b4. Eh? Well, but I mean, okay, rook a5, can I also just move the knight back or not? I mean, I hope some rook f5, let's say. Uh, ah, like this, cutting rook f5, knight, knight yeah. h4, and try to really. Yeah, yeah, the correct. Yeah, I mean, just to, to highlight, yeah, that if, if after rook a5, 
White moves the knight, then then this rook f5, cutting the king, then knight h4. I mean, who knows? Yeah, who knows? But also, my b4 is not so great, yeah, because rook takes a2, c2 is hanging, so <laughs> definitely not the solution. Hmm. Okay, then, especially in time trouble, where do we stand? It's move 28. Yeah, how do you how do we do it? Well, also you, you can also go to d3 if you want. I don't know if it's better or worse. Yeah, I mean, how much it helps me? Yeah, because okay, you go rook f5 anyway. Yeah, rook. I mean, I can rook g1, knight h4, and knight f4. And looks knight very risky, f4, but yeah. uh, risky, but uh, you have I, this defense. Yeah, not sure. You don't have anything direct, yeah. At least I can't see it. Yeah, probably we survive, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, should looks look survivable, but yeah, should be, yeah. Of, of course, yeah. Hikaru is feeling that this is the, the key moment. I mean, if he wants to, to create some chances or I mean, or if you want threat. actually that's the idea, you can do it much simpler. Play b6, rook f7, yeah. Ah, this is, <laughs> this is the same idea, yeah. Ah, but knight e4, and there is a fork, so it's not. There is quite a fork, the same. yeah. Yeah, yeah, not quite the same. Not quite the same. Just to highlight that, this would be unfortunate. Yes. Okay, down to two forty-five. Rook takes a two played. It's the yes. professional move after all, yeah. Just it's solid. I mean, take taking the pawn, you know exactly that. But it's also can... kind of accepting that most probably he will not yes. win. Yeah. Like, exactly. I mean, okay. After all, Ikar is in a comfortable situation. Yeah, he is leading the group. Yeah. And uh, there was also way too much adventure in this game. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that in the first 50 moves, if somebody would have told him, you know, the game ends in a draw, Hikaru would have immediately agreed to it. Yeah, yeah, because he was actually in quite big trouble, yeah? Exactly. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Actually, I, I think that Jan is making some incredible progress with this Luke H8 check. Yeah, looks looks like he's just winning, yeah? Yeah, because King D7 runs into Luke H7 and then if... if yeah, only more... Two pawns. Yeah. Wow, I mean, actually, it would be one of the first one ones in the tournament so far. Yeah, as as stunning as it sounds. Yeah, that okay. The brilliant players everywhere, mini matches, and we haven't seen a one one tie yet. Yeah, that's true. Um, although uh, fair to say, Nakamura will also most probably. He's be also final. most probably. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So okay, here Jan is now converting. Yeah, yeah, com completely winning, I guess. And after that opening, yeah, that's uh, that's quite a big. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I already forgot, but that's true. Yeah, he was. In yeah, that was this very total disaster. Trouble, yeah? yeah, this Scandinavian power, Scandinavian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And okay, of course, Luke takes a to King F two. I mean, uh, also Fedosev can <laughs> lean back on his chair. That okay, everything is under control. Yeah, Knight F four, Knight D three is very, very tight. And actually, here the trick is. <laughs> that if this game ends in a tie, it's 1-1. One, one. So the mini match ends in a draw. Both players get one point each. But actually, they will simply start a new mini match. <laughs> they will simply play another one immediately. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I really feel like after this uh, this game, they, they would prefer to get a new opponent. Yeah. Because they, they had certainly enough of each other. Yeah, it's, it yeah, was, it's, uh, it's a strange uh, pairing. System. Yeah, there was just too much tension, right? I mean, okay, you yeah, simply yeah, yeah. didn't know what's going to happen. And then finally it fizzles out. You think like, okay, the job is done. Give me another opponent. And no, 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 no. New mini match is coming. Yeah, but also they are, yeah, they are, when they are not playing for like, let's say all four points yeah, in the next mini match, they are playing for sort of half. Yeah, like, which is also very strange. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, very this special. looks this looks very very drawish. Yeah, basically. Okay, it's already a draw, basically. Huh? That that we can move from here. Basically, we just yeah. conclude that in the Jan's game. Okay, let's wait the next couple of moves because it might be over immediately. Yeah, most H4. probably. Yeah. Simply, black cannot play rook before because actually white can even trade. White can trade, yeah. And then put the king on b1, and his pawns are queening, and and thanks to this trick, then then it's an elemental win for white. Rook f4. Setting up the trick, yeah? 
Exactly, King E3 rook before I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, rook F4 probably we just push H5. H5 takes H6, yeah. Yeah, and we keep on pushing. But uh, but uh, I'm I'm pretty sure there are many other ways. Probably. Uh... For example, have after rook F4, we can even give a check. Yeah, you can give a check, yeah. I can give a check, yeah. King, yeah, King B5. Ah, King uh, B5. Yeah. But okay, King B5, then at least I'm... Okay, yeah, it's... I mean, I, it goes I, I, on. it's the same, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it, it goes on. Okay, okay. I understand your point. Look at four on the board. Yeah, what can you... So H5 takes H6. You have to play Rook H3 and then G5. Yeah, feeling-wise, I would say it should be a win. I mean, you are even threatening. I'm threatening G6, G6 G7, yeah. I guess if you give a lot of checks, you simply go towards the king side, yeah, and yeah. you will give the rook. Yeah, I mean, okay, and then basically king a3, we can just push. Yeah, and um, yeah, exactly. And well, here now I, you will start. Yeah, now checks. I have to give a couple of checks. This was my my plan. Yeah. It's... Yeah, this is yeah, this isn't so clear. Actually, I only need to give one check. Yeah. Yeah. Rook H2 and king, check and then already King E3 already. I play Rook G2. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. I okay. Mean, he plays Rook F4. Is... Yeah. He has to try it. Yeah. Rook F4 is on the board. I mean, King E3, yeah? Rook B4 check and Rook A1 and Rook B1. Yes, I mean, be... of course, we, we don't want to go passive, but of course, we can do this. Yeah, should be possible at least. I mean, let's say B2, Rook B1, you are very far, yeah? King C4, H5 or G5, H5, let's say, H6, King C2, now even taking immediately, yeah? Yeah. And G5. All right, yeah, anything. Uh, you yeah, are anything, so many yeah, temp, yeah? Yeah, but of course, when you are completely winning and you have yeah, to you make don't a, want to give you a rook, yeah? <laughs> make <laughs> a decision, okay. it's uh, still a little bit unpleasant, yeah. Ah, yeah. but you have 12 minutes, yeah, so... Yeah. And yeah, Magnus has won his game. And by this, uh, he won the mini-match. Uh, that's it. 2-0 for Magnus Carson against Matthias Bluebaum. And... Uh, actually, also Abdul Satulov is completely winning against. Completely Bertansson. winning, yeah. Yeah, so you can actually just trade everything, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, two points up. Also, Black has to win, yeah, to save the match. So, no, no chance at all. Yeah. So, okay. The the biggest intrigue is right now in in this end game. Yeah, Rook A check played. A Rook A check immediately, yeah. Yeah, King B five. Okay, King E three, Rook B four, and we can transpose. Yeah, is the same position. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of very tempting, yeah? Yeah. Okay, it's just... Uh, just over, yeah? But strange move order to do it. But you provoke King B5, yeah? yeah. It's um, yeah. I mean, yeah, feeling of, of uh, strength, yeah? That your opponent, yeah, King is on the board. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I mean, <laughs> hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, rook before will have to be tied anyway. Yeah, but yeah, no point. Yeah, rook a1 blitzed out. King c5, clever. I mean, he, he doesn't want to go after the rook. He wants to bring the king, but it just... But king d6, h6, king e6, uh, h7, I mean... It's too slow, yeah. Yeah. But it's okay, it's true. It's It's a better try, yeah? Well, if it if it would make any difference, it would be better. But yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, King e six, h seven, actually. Yeah. Yeah, h seven. Yeah. King f seven. Uh, yeah. Rook yeah. b eight, rook b one, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, King f seven, and then h eight. Okay. Yeah. H eight. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Wesley designs. I mean, what a big buns from from Jan Yapomyashi. He needed to win this. And uh, the new match is tied 1-1. They still keep the status quo. Nobody is safe in, uh, in this pair. And Abdul Satulov keeps on uh, rolling. Yeah, yeah. Very, very uh, convincing performance. Very hard to believe he cannot hold this. Yeah, 
yeah, no, every, everything is working in his yeah. favor. But I mean, it's it's a very tricky situation, yeah, because if actually nothing is decided by uh, by uh, Jan and and Wesley today, then they both kind of will have to fight for their lives. And if they both manage to beat. Uh, uh, Abdul Satulov, then there can be some seaway tie as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a very special kind of situation. <clears throat> I know, but yeah. three-way tie, it's probably I'm exaggerating. It's probably impossible, but who who knows? You never you never know. We have to wait. We have to wait and see. Yeah, at, at this moment, of course, yeah, Abdul Satulov winning yesterday, all his matches is about to win the first mini match today as well. In a slightly surprising uh, way, but uh, yeah, look at this. He just goes H five. He goes H five. Yeah. He doesn't After want to F2, play rook ending. Yeah, he wants to promote. Yeah, F two, F two, G seven, F one, and he wants to play for mate. Uh, okay, why not? Why not? Yeah, he, he is young. He believes in himself. Yeah, he is not afraid. Yeah, he's a, he's a fearless warrior. That, that's why he's also so successful. Yeah, I mean, if you are winning world rapid uh, championships and and uh, helping your country winning gold yeah. in the chess Olympia, then it, it means you have exceptional. Of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, he, he has these winning genes. Yeah, that I mean, he ah yeah exactly he believes exactly. that he he deserves because he's good enough. Yeah, it's yeah, I yeah, think yeah. this is all connected. That is, of course, a very pleasant feeling. And also, we, we know exactly that Uzbekistan is also supporting their players so much. Yeah, they give this feeling that you are special. Yeah, and, and I think this and also helps, helps yeah. tremendously. Definitely helps. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it. Uh, Greta has some of these signs. And then we have only one game to one game follow. Continues. But okay, this is very drawish. Very drawish, but... But uh, only black can play for something, right? Yeah. Okay, so actually White opted for King G5 because if he falls back with the King to E3, then okay, this typical kind of Magnus stuff, Rook H4, then uh, you you just keep. Of course, it's it's dead low, but you can play. Also. Yeah, yeah, you you try. Yeah, okay, yeah, King, so King, King G5 was played but... H4, but yeah. now also White's King is a bit awkward. A bit. I mean, I I would have maybe he wants to go Rook G4. He calculated all this. But rook g4 also is very strange. Yeah? Very strange. No, but I mean king g5 is strange already. Yeah. It's yes. Yeah. What is? Why did you do like this? Uh, this is. And he's done to three minutes thirty. The the players already got their five minutes extra. Why did he go for this? Yeah, he could just have, uh... but of course he didn't want to stay passive, although it was. But, but really yeah, passive. I mean, especially thanks to this DC pawn, actually the king was was hiding so nicely. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, and also yeah. counter player finally on the yeah. queen side there. Yeah, yeah the, the reason why I mentioned Duke G4, I, I hate the move Duke G4, but simply I already hate the move King G5. I was trying to make sense that did he really calculate Duke G4 till the end? But I I, I don't like it. He, it's it's played. Rook G4 played, yeah? No, played um, by this point, you have to do it, yeah, at some point. So might yeah, as well do it immediately. Yeah. But, but it's scary. You take on B2, yeah? Yeah, we take on B2. You have to take Rook H4. Yes. You play and then we activate the king somehow. Or yeah, play B5. Rook B2 played. Rook H4. And now all eyes on Hikaru. Will he able to... Maybe B5 something? immediately, yeah? B5, okay. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, he pushes B5, why not? I mean, these are some awkward pieces. Yeah, rook H8, of course, yeah, the rook has to come from behind. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, but it's also very limited, yeah. Yeah, of course, if white starts pushing his H pawn, then then everything how do you clarifies. How, how are we trying to... King E5, yeah, or what? Trying to... Set up some tricks, yeah, like h4 rook g2, but I'm not sure what I'm really gaining. Okay, I mean, if we force the king to the h file, that's only the beginning, and then king d4, 
four. But rook b8 will come, no? When I leave the b file. Yeah. Of of course, yeah. We also see the evaluation bar says that it's though it's it's more like human lead for yeah, king e5 on the board, h4 blitzed out. Yeah, but this evaluation bar is not so important in such rook endings, yeah, because it's yeah, way too it's, difficult. It's more to... on emotions, yeah, human emotions. Where where do you put your king, for example? H6, H6. H6, yeah. I, I'm going active with my pawn. I want to promote it. <laughs> you want to promote? <laughs> no, I mean, okay, I, king h5, this, I'm I anyway not in time yeah, to yeah, go yeah, back, yeah? I understand. And now the point king d4, I give, uh, let's say, rook b8 immediately, huh? Yeah, 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 of course, then it's... So I have to push b4, and then you go rook b8. Rook b8? Yeah, and if I play rook g4, then my king is stuck. I can't play rook yes, g4. Yes. That's, uh, that's a great pity. But also, I, I mean, I'm just going h5. Yeah? I'm, my yeah. pawn is quite no, strong. It's... Yeah, so probably Fedosi have very correctly assessed that this king g5, rook g4 looks strange, but, but it's good enough. It's active, yeah. Well, I wouldn't call it active. But yeah, <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's uh, yeah. strange to me, but uh, I mean, active is black's king on e5. Yeah, true, true. For, for also... my taste, yeah, but uh, but, of but course, it's easy to play pawn. for white. Yeah, you just push the pawn. I mean, yes, the defensive idea is quite simple. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's the trick, and then you open up the rook and yeah, and then look at this. Fedosev is looking around. Uh, this is the typical. Uh, human reaction when you know that everything is under control. Yeah. I mean, you don't do this if you feel the slightest danger. Yeah. Then then you are so much fully focused on, on the game with all your nerves. Exactly. For played. But when you already look around what is happening, then you know that you, you have the luxury to do that. But overconfidence is also a dangerous thing in such position. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and B4 and now Rook B8, this is also the, the position we had in mind that Black is kind of stuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, rook b8 played. And some king uh, f6 king or something. And, yeah, yes. and some, uh, some psychological games. Uh... <laughs> no, but you give check and come back, yeah? Yeah, that's very professional. I mean, you can also probably just wait with rook b. That doesn't matter, yeah, yeah, actually. I have many options, yeah. But I mean, rook f8 is, uh, is the clincher, yeah? Because king e7, I mean, you're not exactly better on e7 than on e5, yeah, with the king. Yeah. That's true. All right. Actually, I'm very happy this match ends 1-1 because I feel that like this, the tension is growing in this mini-match for, for the second one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, nobody will feel himself under some tremendous pressure. Yeah, the, every both of them are ready just to play chess and we have seen what kind <laughs> of game it was. But also, they can't both play for, let's say, draw, yeah? Yeah, yeah, but 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 also in Fisher Random, how do you? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's it's true. impossible. Yeah, that's true. I mean, maybe this is exactly what backfired for Westy, yeah, that he didn't know exactly what if if he needed to win from that position with Black, uh, he might have played much more aggressively and more successfully. Could be, could be. It's it's sometimes the problem that you already have such a great position that you don't know what what to play for, yeah, and then you start to hesitate to, to be hesitant. Your opponent senses this moment that, ah, okay, my opponent is not exactly sure, shows some sign of weakness, and then you bounce yeah. back. Yeah. What is Hikaru doing now? He's uh, trying to trick him a bit, yeah, but... I mean, okay, why play the move King H7, yeah? It's... Uh, yeah, I mean, that was I mean, very odd. Very follows odd. in your footsteps, yeah? You said that you just... I just to wanted to play, yeah? I just want to push. Exactly, yeah. Who is playing for, for what? Yeah, Rook D7, check King G8. King g6 will come, yeah? King g6 will come. And now h7 or what? Well, let's highlight that rook takes b4, runs into rook d8, checkmate. Yes. Alert. That's true. It's uh, never never late to blunder e something. King, king f8 also very solid, yeah? Yeah, king, king f8, h7. Why not bring the king, yeah, closer? Just play. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's actually because also Black's king is further away. Eh? Makes a lot of sense. So, for example, okay. King H six, Rook takes B four, King G six, D three. Yeah, then Rook E four. Then Rook E four, and we, we take. The but you have to try King G six probably. Eh? Yes, of course. Yeah, I have to play King G six. But <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, very. very. <laughs> so what are you really? I mean, can can we even go some Luki and then start chasing this pawn? Yeah, maybe. But okay, then why would you do it? Five. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there is still some intrigue, and Fedosi have done to twenty seconds. King f eight on the board. King f eight. Yeah. He, he looks nervous now. Yeah. He's yeah, of course, because okay, this King h seven h six. No, no, no. You should have not pushed. Just yeah, stay yeah. put. Because you can, you could also just give a check, yeah, which was even simpler. Yeah, look at a check was just. Uh, I mean, it almost felt like King H7 was a happy choice, yeah. Like, okay, let yeah. me push, push this H pawn, but that's true. Okay, of course the position is dead low. Yeah, clearly, but uh, why would you? Uh, the game should yeah. already have been over. Eh? Yeah, exactly. King F8. Hikaru goes back king f6. A king f6, yeah. Wow, deep. what is this king f6? King g8? <laughs> but what is it? I mean, it's a repetition, yeah? <laughs> it's a repetition, okay, but I mean, uh, there is no reason for black to repeat, no? Yeah, yeah. But okay, it's of course, yeah, just... Uh... I mean, king h6, look before king g6 was still some of your... But he will do it next move, don't worry. He, he didn't take any yet. Yeah, finally Hikaru takes. So Fantasy F still has to be careful because Luke takes B4, King G6 was your tricky move. Yes, or King G5, I'm not sure. I mean, okay, one, one pawn versus one pawn. I mean, okay, it, uh, it should be just a complete lot. D4. Yeah, even you can play rookie. Yeah, one one point is d4, but also rook e4 and put the rook on e3 to defend. Yes, the side, that, yeah. that's the that's the other mechanism. Yeah, rook e4 and then rook e3. But I also like d4 just to fix this pawn, and then yeah, we're yeah. gonna go king e8. It's uh, it's very drawish, yeah. Let's say. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, black will play king f6, king e8, rook h7, but I mean, okay, no, this, yeah, d4 yeah, yeah. on the board, rook a7. I mean, king f6, king e8, rook a7. King d8. <laughs> I mean, where is this? Yeah, rook b6. Yeah, okay, settling d5. He will probably get the rook to d6. Uh, to d6, yeah. And then have this hand. mechanism also that you, you can't touch me. Yeah. Please there don't touch me. I'm I going to go rook d6, double, triple defense, and okay, come on. Even you can block later, yeah? Then rook d8. Check. Exactly, yeah. I mean, rook a8, rook d8, or rook d8, seven, rook d7. Yeah, rook b6, rook d6. King f5. Okay, but uh, no, it doesn't matter. That's the point of rook d6 defense. Okay, rook b5 yeah. is good enough. Now, of course, d5 is very tempting, yeah? Uh, d5, yeah, d5, d6. Yeah, d5 was very tempting, but of course, you 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 just want to keep on uh, playing the same, rook b6. But uh, actually, I saw on, on Fedos, have a hand movement that he was not that happy that he also has d5, yeah, because he ah, wants yeah, to yeah. stick to the plan. Like d5, e5, yeah, d6, king e6. <laughs> yeah, and then who knows, then d7, yeah? Rook takes? And uh, rook takes e5, e5 right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay, now rook d6. There you go. Now Fedosiev is going for my setup. Okay, it's yeah. dead low anyway, no matter what you do. Yes. Rook d6. And I think now Hikaru is kind of in a state of shock. What is this rook d6? I mean, he he's playing, have, yeah? He, he could have repeated with rook b5. Yeah. Okay, rook h7. Rook d7. Yeah, and, and once the king issue is solved from wide, then that's it. Yeah, that should be it, yeah. There is no more intrigue. Wow, what an epic fight. Yeah, this really? last part, not so exciting, but uh, earlier yeah, the, in the, the game the first 20 moves huh? were just sensational stuff. Yes. Yeah, the looks are traded. The last pawns are also traded. And I think everyone is relieved. 
That's it. With with a big smile on on Fedosia's face. Yeah, yeah. They trade everything. That's it. Handshake. Okay. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. I think also this is the moment when we will have a little longer break. I mean, we because they have, have to get new to positions. Yeah. It. Yeah, we, I mean, but uh, also to understand the results. So, Jan Yapomyashi bounces his back against Vesti, so it was tied 1 1. Abdus Satulov keeps on uh, marching and crushing everyone, winning 2 0 against Gretarsson. Magnus Carlsen bouncing back with a very convincing 2 0 victory against Matthias Blubaum. And Fed Vladimir Fedosev, Hikaru Nakamura match ended it with 1 1. An epic fight. Wow. So, Sotiris, I think we'll mention, yes, that we, we have a longer break. I think we will use the break to, to get some snacks, something to, to recharge the energy. Sure, because sure. We are only halfway through today's actions. That's true. It's a very, uh, it's quite long days, but also very exciting. Yeah, yeah very excellent. And actually, this mini match is that it's after two games, we have a new result. It, it adds to the dramas, right? No, definitely. Def I mean, the second game is like... Uh... And particularly important, yeah. Let's say. And and look at this. Look at this. The players are still there. Uh, Fedosev and Nakamura discussing the game because they are analyzing and eh? they are interested in what happened. Eh? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was so fascinating. You cannot stop chess players. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even they know that the the next minimum. But this is exactly what I talked about. Yeah, that they, they really feel like now the pressure is gone. They have succeeded with something. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 minutes later, they will be sitting with a new position and we'll have to fight uh, right from the start again against each other. Psychologically, a very tricky spot. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we will have a break, but I mean, I'm, I'm such a big chess fan and I'm loving all these post-mortems, you know, I'm, I'm so happy seeing the players discuss. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's clear that they, they are discussing this position with... Uh, uh, with all the pieces with, hanging and so yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Right? When the king started to run king d2, king c3 and so on, yeah? Exactly. Games are actually in 23 minutes. Uh, position will be there in, in, in 10 minutes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so 8 o'clock they start, yeah? So, so great, yeah. Then uh, we will have... Yeah, they start at, at the hour, yeah, at, at 8 o'clock. And... Uh, yeah, we, we, keep, we keep an eye. I mean, it's just uh, such a footage... I mean, I mean, I'm so happy to see this. I can't go on break while I'm seeing the players emotionally discussing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, also maybe we should uh, yeah, show the position which they yeah, are discussing. Yeah, let's, let's okay, we are guessing, but most probably they will not discuss the rook ending. Eh? They will... <laughs> yeah, the, the rook ending, definitely not. I mean, for example, just to 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 highlight one of these positions, c5, rook a4 was a dubious move, but but it added to the drama. Yeah. And, uh, well, basically, without engines, you can talk about this position for hours, right? No, weeks, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably even weeks, yeah. And, um, yeah. And, and the, the players get... No, especially this knight takes d2, yeah? I mean, very, very beautiful move. Huh? Yeah, I mean, this rook dance, then, then the knight comes and... And then you must have c5. A... King c8 was a stunning move. Yeah. King c8 was nice, yeah. King C8 was, was a stunner, and then the rook before knight takes D2. And I think finally mm -hmm. the players, yeah, the, the players understood they need to take rest because it's it's uh, only halfway through the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we will also use the momentum to to get a breather and, and be back in uh, eight minutes or something like this. with, with Exactly, the when action. they have the new position and so on, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, then, then see you. Stay tuned. We will be back soon. We will be back soon. Hello everyone, I'm Grandmaster Pragyananda. Do you want to use my games to improve your chess? Now you can do. We have handpicked 50 puzzles from my games played in Champions Chess Tour this season. I went Bishop C5, D4 and Queen 4 Yeah, another crucial win for the qualification to topic. You can download it for free just by going to chess24.com slash puzzle pack. Enjoy solving. Time to take control of your journey towards chess mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Move Trainer uses the science of spaced repetition to identify your strengths 
and eliminate your weaknesses. There's no need to set up a board, remember which page you're on, or keep track of all the moves you miss. Move Trainer empowers you to go from the opening to the end game with confidence. It's a seamless, effective, and fun way to study chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world, with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive chessable courses, including over 100 free courses. Get expert insights from International Master John Bartholomew, Grandmaster Sam Shankland, International Master Christoph Sulecki, Grandmaster Simon Williams, World Champion Magnus Carlsen, and hundreds of other instructors. Get started now and join our growing community of over 100,000 chess enthusiasts at chessable.com. Chessable, take control of your journey towards chess mastery. This is John. John loves to study chess. This is David. David loves to study chess as well, but efficiently. John spends more time setting up the board and figuring out what's on the page of his book than he gets to study. David likes to take it easy and use his time wisely. David has finished his exercise for today. John should try the same. gains that confidence, uh, plays a few uh, good events, stops looking inwards into his own insecurities. I like the no expectation part, so like that's something that has gotten better because sure, it's like not my full-time job. It's definitely good for chess in India and now there is Olympiad also, so there'll be more people following and mm -hmm. taking up chess as professional sport. Yeah. And it's surprisingly concrete still, no? Like yeah. E takes d4, good move. This D takes d4, this D takes d5. This line was essential and forced, but uh, also not uh, rocket science to my bow. Now anyone can learn and improve their chess skills with the world champion, Magnus Carlsen. The Magnus Trainer app is packed with fun mini-games and interactive training content. Playable anytime, anywhere. Get the Magnus Trainer, available in the App Store and Google Play.
Played to Berlin, which I sort of expected, but I didn't really know what to do against, because in reality, very few people do. When we are playing a, an even game against someone of similar strength to us, usually we need to give something in order to obtain the initiative. Just how shrewd and cunning Ali Reza can be, even with. Uh, very little time. I want to show you a game just to prove that I play these lines. I played against former world number two and a bit of a superstar, Gata Kamsky. Hi, I'm John Chess, inventor of chess and also your new stepdad. And we're very disappointed in you, son and or daughter, because you suck at chess. And so that is why you have to now sign up for AIM Chess. Aim Chess is a digital chess trainer that creates personalized lessons based on positions from your own games and turns your blunders into wonders. Link your Chess24 account or other online chess accounts today and learn the official Aim Chess Gambit, which is where you take your opponent's king and then you just f***ing eat it. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna say that. In-depth analysis, tactics trainer, blunderer, preventerer, whatever the f*** this is, and a new personalized feed full of curated chess puzzles and memes. All of this and more available only at Aim Chess. Hello? Courtney, did you know that the average Aim Chess user- Oh my god, stop calling me about f***ing Aim Chess! <laughs> you heard it here first. Join Aim Chess today and become the world's greatest chess man in the world. Or chess woman? Hi, I'm Magnus Carlsen. Wait, no, I'm Magnus Carlsen and I own AIM Chess. But now you are a Magnus Carlsen instead because you beat me at chess because of AIM Chess. That's right, you dumb piece of Aim Chess. They asked me to cut that last bit, but I won't. Get six months premium free by typing your credit card details, name, and full home address in the comments down below. Aim Chess. They put the based in turn-based strategy. Why the f*** do you keep paying me for these? Aim Chess. It stands for Aim... Chess. Oh shit, I'm out of time. Uh, uh, the f***ing, uh, uh, the sign of rage. As a kid, I spent hours every day reading about chess. About openings, chess history, and games played between world champions, grandmasters, all of them. My apps make learning much easier. Everything I know, you can find in my apps. Magnus Trainer, Tactics Frenzy, and Play Magnus. You can learn the basic rules of chess, train with our 400 lessons, and even play against my digital self. Download and try my apps for free. What? For one split second, the position completely turned. Oh, well, I don't see a move, but Freddy does see a move, because Bishop takes b3. Who is the gentleman or lady under that mummy mask? What a game. Welcome back everyone. We have the live feed there. The players are super excited. The, the new drawing of lots is taking place right now. The kings are not yet determined. 
Rook F1, Oof. King G1, Rook H1 already. This is obligatory. Yes. Wow. Okay. So that's it. That's the new position. That's the weirdest one so far, yeah? Yes. Yes. Let, let, let us digest it first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I need some time also with, with the system because the system is not automatically uh, updating the position. Ah, right. Right. So what is your first feeling, uh, Niels, uh, seeing this king on g1, rook h1, rook f1? Yes, I told you, like, uh, when the rooks are close to the king, it makes it more strange, in my opinion. Yeah, with all these castles and so on. I mean, you said that last time it was a very long castle, but this time it will be even longer, yeah? Even longer, exactly, be because king from g1 long. and rook from f1 moving all the way to, to c1 and d1. Exactly. So wow. that's, that's very, very, uh, very odd, yeah? And and I think also the news that you you shared with us uh, it's it's gold yeah that the players only have fifty minutes time to discuss with their seconds the position and between the two games they already don't have a chance to to consult anyone. Exactly, I think it's for uh, security and anti cheating reasons, so you cannot keep them isolated during the entire game. Yeah? But yes, basically it means that they have fifteen minutes to discuss how to play the position with both colors. Yeah. So to be honest, I think they are getting more from playing the game and seeing the others. Than exactly, from their yeah. Seconds, the, yeah. The seconds are confusing the players, yeah. Because yeah, okay, you try to help, yeah. I mean, no, definitely. I think the seconds will focus only on the first game, yeah. Yeah, That's certainly, more... yeah. But there is also so much tension, right? And you have to discuss with the players. It's it's also one thing what the second feels like if the player feels I want to play differently. It's such sure, an sure. individual feeling, know that what kind of first move. You can identify yourself with better. But it could be something like player has two different ways, let's say, to approach, and he asks his uh, second, like, which of these two do you think? And... Oof, oh my God. If, <laughs> if in 50 minutes this kind of discussion starts between chess players, you know, I'm not sure. Even <laughs> yeah, if after yeah, sure. two hours you will get a definite answer, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But still, I mean... No, sometimes also it's very nice for the player to have an opinion and get it confirmed by the second, no matter what the second thinks in reality. Yeah, yeah that's that's true. Yeah, basically this is sometimes the, the main job of the seconds, yeah, to, to stay silent, you know, not to ju just let let the player, you know, feel comfortable and, and think that the second knows what he what he's talking about. Yeah, I mean... Just all these impressions, these psychological moments are so, so important. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I, I did try. I did not get the new positions yet. We have to wait. But okay, we already know that the king is on g1, rook on h1, rook f1. The, the queen was on a1 or? I don't remember. I think not, but I'm not sure. Yeah, because the, yeah. And also the knights in the center are always a little bit strange. Yeah, very strange. This is like, it's very nice when they are there on A1 and B1 because you can always go towards the center and you're not blocking anything. Yeah? <laughs> exactly. You know exactly that, okay, you're going to play Knight BC, Knight GC, most probably with, with some Knights on C1, D1, where they are moving. No, yeah, not I mean, to you get... go knight, knight to the two central files, it's very strange. Yeah, they are getting hit everywhere and so on. Yeah, yeah I, I will be refreshing, refreshing, hoping that yeah, because I already feel like I want to take a look. Yes. Uh, we have, yeah? We have, oh, yeah. So I'm just setting up everything and then I share it and we will be having it. There we go. And I just have to select. Okay, so we select uh, again Jan against Wesley. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so knight e1, knight c1, bishop a1. Okay, I mean, uh, the, 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 the rooks and the kings are uh, tricky. Yeah, yeah, and this bishop on d1, as you mentioned uh, yeah. yesterday, uh, this also always a tricky thing. Very special one. All right, okay, now we can discuss. Uh, you you want to be white? I want to be white. Okay, should you give me the chance, of course? I give you the chance, of course. Come on, Nils, yeah. you know me. <laughs> so we see the pawn, there is one undefended pawn, but it's not going to be relevant. The, the d2, hard. d7. Yeah, very hard to uh, to utilize. Yeah. So in some uh, some position, a little bit similar, we saw Magnus playing the move before, yeah. But yeah, but then there was this argument that the bishop was on h8, and you wanted to get the long diagonal as quickly as possible. Yes, yes, yes. If if it's still, of course, yeah. B4. I mean, B4, C4. Those are the two moves that yeah. come to I mind. I mean, for example, the question I have, yeah, that for example, after C4, is B5 a concern? 
Yeah, you mean to activate like this? Yeah, we saw this in in another game. Yeah, we have seen it, and I I remember seeing some video footage from San Luis some two years ago. Uh, Topalov, Kasparov were discussing something like C for B five immediately. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it, it stuck in my head. You know, I'm I haven't really been thinking about preparing for Fisher random, but I still have it in my mind. I see, I see. Yeah, it's it's a good point. Yeah, maybe it's uh, favorable for black. I mean, at least put some unpleasant questions, yeah, for why? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe yes. maybe we don't want to touch this. Okay, so what else? Yeah, no, then then B B4 makes a lot of sense. B4, just the, the orangutan. I mean, of course, the B4, Magnus plays B4 in, in the champion's chest too quite often. Now, <laughs> yeah, but here it's a bit different. Now with yeah. the bishop on A1, queen B1, it's perfectly justified, yeah. Yes, definitely. And okay, for example, if we just uh, play copycat, B4, B5. It's always sort of the first question, yeah, in Fisher Random, like, what if we just copy? Exactly. I guess uh, something like uh, knight B3. Knight B3, okay, super knight... positional. Yeah, exactly, I'm going position. Ah, hang on, I'm, ah, I have to watch out for some knight C5. For knight no, C5 I... can be an issue, yeah. yeah. But okay, okay knight I'm going to play E6, I have a plan. Mm-hmm. I, I don't say that it's a good plan, but I have a plan. Sure. Okay, let me try knight uh, f3. Just knight again, f3. Very simp simplistic chess. Simplistic. Actually, can I take and go bishop f6? Boom. First of all, yeah, I. you meant to capture with e, yeah? Yeah, probably. Okay, basically, probably. I just want to highlight the strategical idea. Yeah, to... Uh, I mean, here, if I trade, I have uh, absolutely not. And probably I'm even slightly... Yeah, and uh, then the point was that always knight c5 I can still answer with knight b6. You, you can play knight b6, that's true. Yeah, I and mean, if it, I, it, yeah, it's not so great. At, at least we had to mention it because it's a very interesting dynamic way of uh, changing the balance. Yeah, yeah. I guess if I play, let's say d4, it's not, it's not clear what this position is, but uh, yeah, because okay, I have also this c4 square. You have a very yeah, nice square on c4. Square, yeah. But also, I have a, a potentially quite strong light, light squared bishop. Yeah? Yes, exactly. It's, like it's this probably double-edged. Very double-edged stuff. Okay, knight yeah. f3 also is, uh, uh, of course, not obligatory, but... Uh, yeah, no, not, nothing natural. is obligatory. I mean, okay, but we already got a feel for, for example, for b4, b5 positions. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go back and, uh, I mean, just to, to see, for example, what yeah, happens maybe if you play e4? e4 also, yeah, that was my next question. Mm -hmm. e4? So maybe b6? f5, you are not such a big fan, yeah? It's ah, a bit too no, weakening, f5, yeah? not such a big, because e f5 and then some c4, d4 might come too quickly. Come too quickly, yeah? Okay, b6, let's say first, yeah? Yeah, b6, attacking. But maybe now c4, yeah? c4 is clever, because I wanted actually to go d5 next. Exactly, exactly. So c4? Ah, so maybe I have to play b5. You can play b5 ah, to stop this, yeah? Yeah, to stop this. But I was not sure if I'm going to go d5, I prefer pawn on b5 or on b6. But maybe this is a smaller issue than, yes. than actually getting in d5 in, yeah? Exactly, because, for example, c3 would be natural. c3, but c3 is sad for the bishop it's on a1. It's sad with the bishop on a1, yeah. It's, but uh, what else, yeah? You and can you imagine, you are the second, then the clock is ticking, and okay, so we discussed b4 wasn't great, c4, it's not <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and, and okay, you have to suggest something. No, but the, also on, let's say, d3, you just play d5, yeah? Play yeah, d3. this is d5, it, it reminds me of this reti. Yes, exactly. Pretty nice version looks like for black. Huh? Okay, quite nice. Yeah, the knight comes to b6. Uh, I'm very flexible. I mean, Actually, I will... for b5, I'm quite happy with. Yeah. Creating some counterplay. All right. So is it a Tsukzwang position? No, not okay. B4 was working <laughs> not uh, working fine, but... Uh, All right. Uh, okay. So I'm I'm so far happy with black. Ah, so far happy with black. Okay. Let's say I start one knight of three. What is this? Mm -hmm. Very flexible. Flexible. Okay, B5. Yeah, B5 is the eternal issue. Yeah? Because I feel like here now Black is very happy that Black is not playing for advantage and he's ready to just play very sensible chess. Yes. Yes. And then with White, you want to do something. That's why you have problem. Yeah. If, if you would just agree with, with nothing, then you would be quite happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, it really feels like this B4, B5 are the two most. Most natural moves. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm expecting B4 in in quite some games. 
honestly. Mm-hmm. And uh, the games are about to begin, or do we we don't see the players yet. No players yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely just. I mean, give the players as much time as possible. <laughs> exactly. Because... It's because that's actually the most interesting part. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Knight F C B five also feels yeah. quite normal. Yeah. So C four B five. If we take it. Let's on move one, yeah. So C four B five, and Take go it. for adventures. Yeah, C B queen B five. Go for some adventures, exactly. Like, uh, but what are those adventures? I mean, now I feel like a very nice G C queen C D with bishop A six B C B five. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and and basically, I will have this E six knight F six nicely controlling everything, getting C five in. And I'm simply not getting any useful tempo yeah, for against the queen. Yeah, usually if you give up the sand, you want to occupy the, the sand to get dynamics. But here there are no dynamics. Yeah, I, I feel like C4, B5 is, is good for black. Already quite decent, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah not... No, I mean, both of, B4 is the most natural move, I think. Yeah, B4 definitely is the most natural, yeah. So B4, pr- probably we have to go B5. Probably B5. I don't know, A4, some gambit play, but... You you know me after if I will just play. He will play a six, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. Aha, my friend, you want me to provoke me with the B takes a four? No, 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 no. Yeah, and now, yeah, now what? Is I my... mean, okay, it it won't be decisive. Maybe I can even just take it. You can take it, of course. I wanted to play c four, but uh... yeah, c four. And then, okay, we might get some very unclear double h position c four. Yeah, yeah, like this. I have no idea what is this. And then I mean, B5, bishop takes a six. Yeah, B five is not really uh, either knight C D three. Probably knight C or bishop takes a four immediately is my other move. Yeah, then ah knight B six. Knight B six B takes C five exactly. That was okay, my trick. Yes, yeah. this this we have to do a highlight, and I even don't have to click because the G two pawn is protected. Exactly, you, there is nothing here. Yeah? Okay, so I have to design. All right, great. So I managed <laughs> to lose in a record uh, number of moves, right? In, yeah, you lost how a, many it, it did, did I manage to get to move four? Mm. Uh huh. Okay. So yeah, basically on, on move five, I had to design. Yeah. Great, bravo. <laughs> okay, <happens. laughs> yeah. But otherwise, uh, D seven is hanging. Yeah, not so. Weird. Yeah, yeah. No, no. The the whole point of my operation was that I wanted to use yes, tempo yes, with yes. knight B six. Yes, otherwise, yes. I I will play differently. Of course, yeah. First of all, I will not take this. You will play a six. I, I mean, for sure, you will play yeah. a six. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason. You know, my my instincts tell me, no, no, don't take. But if I take, I might lose in five moves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, I can play again, maybe. But you will play d six next. Let's say I play knight b three or something. You play d six. Yeah, d yeah, six. And again, you have pretty nice version. Yeah. Yeah, and then e six, and okay, I will just. Uh, yeah, here even e five is a move. Yeah. Ah, it's too aggressive for too me. Too aggressive. E6, eh? E6, yeah, E6, bishop E6, F6. Not, no, not to weaken anything. Uh, and just sit on squares. Yeah, yeah. All so, right, well, I'm I'm already very interested to see how the players will try to fight for for something here. It's it's not, not obvious at all. Yeah, not so easy how to... Should I be. have to say that so far this is the most balanced position that I have seen. Possibly, yeah. It's at least very hard to see how white is uh, how white is putting pressure. Yes, S- simply the fact that this bishop on a8 and and queen b8 are perfectly placed. The the knight on e8 also gives quite some harmony because usually when the knight on is on on h8 or on a8, then we feel like we have to move it as quickly as possible. Yeah. Now the knight on e8 can actually sit on quite nicely. Is, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, then, okay, what about some berserk mode, h4, h5? Is that a move? h4. It's not my style, but we have to talk about it. We have to talk about it, yeah. It feels... Uh, okay, let's say I play b5 again. Okay, because I wanted to highlight that if black plays h5, I will be very happy. Then I, I get some g5 square. I feel like b yeah, this probably is not so nice for black, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this and okay, you play b5, I'm gonna go h5 now. Probably I have to play h6, yeah, yes, h6, you have to play, and then okay, maybe now I, I will just play with bc, rook h3. I mean, all this, 
Yeah, but e6 bishop f6 and yeah, uh, e6 bishop f. But still, I mean, because yep, the pawn on yep. g7 will be fixed, you how you will castle? Well, probably I will simply castle anyway. Yeah? I'm not. Oh, okay, let's let's play. Let's see a b3. Let's see. Let's say e6. e6. Yeah. Okay, rook h3 and bishop f6. Bishop f6. Yeah. Yeah, and then probably if I want to keep tension, then I have to play d4. You have to play d4, maybe. Huh? Yes, I mean, not not to let black trade too easily. And okay, this position already, I'm at least uh, excited. Anything can happen for sure, but... Exactly. I mean, I, I feel that this is maybe closer to, to something of a Fisher random spirit. It could be, yeah. Like knight, I would maybe knight e7, knight coming to f5, but it, yeah, for white also playable. Yeah, yeah, of course. Some... Even C3 followed by C3, E4. C3, yeah. I mean, uh, taking by E4. control of the E4 square if, if you are able to go E4. And the players are coming. The players are coming, yeah? So very soon they will. Okay, so let's get back to the starting position. H4, guys. Watch out for H4. It might be the, the most poisonous move. I started to think H4, that another logical reply. Not sure. I don't think you will like it. But what about f5? Yeah, that's a reply. Oh my god! Oh my god! H4 f5. Okay, give it to me. H5. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, know. I mean, okay. just to... I'm I'm getting super excited. H4, e5. Maybe F5. I will play then. H5. Yeah, e e5. Maybe e5 h6. Yeah, g6. Uh... You know, I'm I'm so excited because it's not my usual style, so I never get positions like this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, maybe, but okay. Now b3, then I will break something in the center. But bishop f6. Uh... Bishop f6. Okay, I have to go for some c4. But I'm quite far ahead in development, no? With like you are far, uh, yeah. I but mean... maybe you don't care. I mean, c4, even c5 is quite solid, probably. Yeah. Eventually, also that can I play some f4, but it's too yeah, much. Yeah, but also maybe. your king. Yeah, your, I don't yeah, know. I, I, I think it's a bit. It, to me, it feels like a little bit too much. Yeah. You think it's too much? Yeah. It's it's three moves. It's a lot of moves in the opening. <laughs> but on the other hand, for example, if I will trade this bishop, then this pawn on h6 will be an eternal headache for you. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's not without logic, but. Yeah. Okay. The the games are on. Fedosey have started with a4. We almost got it right. Yeah, yeah, a4 was also interesting, actually. <laughs> I was about to... Yeah, stopping b5. Yeah, the, that's... Yeah. Uh, but Magnus played c4. Very interesting. Magnus played c4. Jan Yapomyashi has played c4. And Abdus Atalov has played c4. It was a very logical move, apart from the fact that b5 exists. So what do they have in mind after b5? Wow, but okay. I'm sorry. After... I mean, a4, d5, this is stealing the show. I mean... I'm I'm certain <laughs> not, 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 yeah? not a player who usually supports any kind of A4 nonsense, but this is Fisher random. It's it's completely different. <laughs> A4 D5 A4 B4. D5 B4. Yeah. Ah, hang on. Yeah, he, that's D5, that's right. finally finally we get the, the answer. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 see the the point of everything. Ah, and the knight on C8 is kind of knight on C8 is stuck, but still. Can I play even? Even a5, maybe. I mean, we gave up the d5 square. It's a it's... Huge, huge square, huh? Yeah? Wow, and Abdus Satudov, uh, Gretarsson, look at this, c4, c5, b4. But both games, yeah? Also Magnus against Blibaum. Yeah. But that's, that was basically the point, yeah? That's why we wanted to play uh, b5 with black, yeah? We wanted to get the same. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't believe in this c4, c5, b4, c, b4 from black side, but yeah? who knows? Yeah, so, ah, it's it's the same. But yeah, they both uh, played it, Ma yeah. Magnus's game is one step ahead. Queen takes b4. Yeah, so... And b6. Maybe it's yeah. not so bad after all. Yeah, some still, some Queen's Indian type of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wow, but okay, I feel that, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be very interesting. To see how Magnus reacts. Uh, yeah, also how Magnus reacts. Then, okay, take a look at uh, Fedosev against Nakamura. But they are always getting the most normal positions, yeah? After, yeah. let's say, five moves, yeah? <laughs> Somehow they always mm -hmm. manage. Yeah, so basically, however, White will have to move the rook to d1 and then play short castle. Probably, uh, but... I mean, to, to get normal position. Or does White want to go knight bc and then rook c... But c5 is coming. c5 is coming. Actually, Hikaru's queen c8 move is very smart. 
Very good move. I thought in general they are very harmonious. Maybe white has to play b5. Yeah, b5 on the board because I have to stop c5. Yeah, you have to stop it from c5 played anyway, and then okay, they will get the similar structure than, than the Magnus' game. Bc6, bishop c6, queen a2. Very, very fast. conservative strategical battle. They are playing also very fast. Yeah, very fast. All right. So, okay. Here, at least, we see that the position more or less stabilized. A bit, uh, yeah. I want to get to, to Yanya Pomyashi. Yeah, that's the most uh, intriguing so far. Yeah, yeah and then look at this. Yeah, because C4, B5, we completely, we were so euphoric about B5, we missed C5. Or at least I personally missed, and then probably I pushed you too much, and you. <laughs> no, no, but uh, I simply didn't trust because it takes too much time. But maybe. Yeah, but look at this now. After e5, b4, d6, bishop, b3. I'm actually quite excited for white because this bishop is a monster. The bishop is incredibly strong. That's true. Yeah, putting pressure. I mean, I feel like it's the first position when West is really under some huge pressure in the opening. Okay, but. There is some sort of, let's say, knight f6, bishop d5, worst case, but that's a bit passive. Okay, maybe you have to do it. Knight Let f6, me try it. clever, clever, nice move. Can we play d4 here? d4, not? e4, d5, yeah, you want to... Yeah, at, at, I mean, at least, uh, yeah, let's let's talk about... d4, okay, let's say I play e4. For e4, so we kind of have to play d5. Otherwise, black plays d5, yeah? Yeah, otherwise it. No, but knight takes d5. Queen takes e4. Yeah, I'm looking for some discovered attack, but probably there is nothing impressive. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, bishop f6, but not, not sure how much I trust it. That is a good move. I don't know, bishop takes d5, yes, and we get this position with... Yeah, what is this strategical position? Yeah? Could could be quite good for white. Uh... Yeah, the knights are somehow good. The knights are looking quite good. Also, you get some additional tempi on the bishops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it will be so easier for me to, to castle nicely. Yeah, this looks yeah, quite it's, bad. It's a risky position, yeah. Yeah. Okay, in any case, yeah, it's a very tough question now for Wesley how to deal with this. You also have knight e7, bishop d5, but then the bishop on d8 is uh, is stuck, yeah? Yeah, I mean, but one bad piece probably I will have to accept as black. And one question, can white even consider moves like f4 next? Yeah, not impossible. Huh? Maybe, I mean, knowing also Jan's uh, uh, loving uh, to play the king's gun. I, I mean, mean, there is takes, takes bishop g5, yeah, but... This d2 pawn you are not even looking at, yeah? No, I was looking at finally delivering some checkmating ideas. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That makes I, sense. I don't know. I don't know how it will, but yeah. Okay, it's it's up to Wesley and Wesley taking his time. He's already has invested five minutes right at the very beginning. Uh, five minutes, yeah? Yeah, five minutes. You can play a5 also to just include it, but after a3 there is no big point as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's uh, of course if you know that your opponent has to play AC, then maybe you you want to include because then later knight e seven maybe some knight c six can you can put yeah, some I, pressure. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it uh, can't harm black for sure. Yeah, Feels and like a five yeah. AC on the board. Yeah, yeah, very well spotted. So probably probably you take. Yeah. Okay, Jan basically just wants to to keep his structure because he's already happy with his structure. Yeah. Very interesting. All right. So this is a very wild position. Uh, Wesley is taking his time. Yeah, maybe there is also some queen a7 moves maybe. Uh, like can be an option. Trying to target the c5 pawn. Yeah. I mean, I'm always curious what this structure is after d4, e4. But Yeah. Actually, I had the, this in mind. After queen a7, I'm going to go d4. Yeah, yeah, yeah d4, e4, e4, d5. Yeah. But d5 now, then at least I'm taking the pawn, yeah? Yeah, no, I, maybe I'm gonna... Can I go knight a2? What about knight a2? Maybe I play... I don't know if I can. Can I play a4 and d5? Yes. What but is this? But some f3 and you will... I mean, I'm gonna break yeah. with f3. 
he will open up everything yeah and knight comes to c3 okay. yeah that's not so great yeah this queen is now not great on a7 also yeah very, very difficult to say yeah very hard yeah. In in any case, yeah, it's a very intriguing, exciting position. Yeah, because... I mean, white white has a lot of potential, definitely. White, yeah, exactly. I mean, one really feels that the black is the one who needs to be super careful in the next couple of months. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Uh, but yeah, we already have a lot of development in uh, the Fedosev Nakamura game, and uh, on one hand, uh, Hikaru strategically nicely traded the light square bishops. So c5 takes takes queen a2 bishop b7. Well, very, uh, <laughs> very straightforward play, a systematic play. Yeah. yeah, bishop a6, takes, takes, knight e5 jumped. Yeah, because there is a vulnerable spot on d7 on c6, the light squares. And Hikaru goes back, queen c8. Oh, but if you have to retreat like this? Yeah, but maybe not so. I mean, after all, you have a very solid position as yes, black, yeah? Yeah, very solid. But uh, the, the problem is that both the bishop and the knight belongs to f6. Yeah, maybe slowly, you knight f6, knight d7, trade bit by bit. What to say? Maybe f4, yeah, at some point will come. I mean, maybe there is no need to. Uh, yeah, rook c1, of course, is the professional move. Yeah, to, to get short castle in knight d4 and then c4, fight. Yeah, play it positionally. Yeah. I was, of course, thinking f4, rook f3, and then short castle. Yeah, something like this. Uh, more, Much more aggressive, but probably not so uh, trustworthy. Yeah, there is there is some pressure. Yeah, looks like some looks like Black has to make a couple of good moves at least. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah F six played. Wow, I mean uh, usually F and then Rook F seven. Ah, now rook short castle is a uh, Rook F seven and short castle. Yeah, that's nice. That's super smart. Yes, that's a nice touch. And also kicking the knight away so that the C six square won't be vulnerable. Yeah. But the bishop on the eight is for the time being a bit passive. Yes, maybe it, maybe it, it doesn't matter so cost, much. Yeah. Maybe it's not a, such a big problem. Uh, you, uh, eventually, it will come into the game. But but maybe this this long term weakness on e six. That's a can, bigger question. Yeah. Can be uh, yeah. For example, okay, we we just yeah. These three would would have been my next. I saw that first castles castles and then. Uh, okay, so let's make castle from black side. We also castle with white. And then that's the point. Yeah, if white gets c4 in and somehow breaks this d5 pawn, then the e6 pawn will be very vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, like c4 and even c5 later if you take yeah, it. Yeah, this, this diagonal scares that me. That rook c7 will put some stop it yeah, at least. Yeah, but I feel like maybe I will even be because because suddenly... Your even c4 anyway, yeah? Maybe c4 or first knight bd4. Yeah. I mean, it's suddenly looking quite promising. Castle, castle played. It's unpleasant a bit, yeah? It's Definitely. unpleasant, yeah. How we how are we solving this? Are they both castled, yeah, in the game already? Yeah, they both castled. So next move knight bd4. Maybe I can start by playing but it's very ugly, yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to suggest e5, but yeah, it's a principal ugly. move. Principal, but you moved because I will really need to stop knight bd4. I thought. Yeah, e5. Uh, it's clever, but hang on. Can I play knight bd2? Yeah, queen b7. I something. Uh -huh, because okay, I thought that okay, you might want to. Yeah, get queen the... e6. Some. I was afraid, of course. Of yeah, some yeah. But if I don't play knight bd2, you might play the place the queen on e6. Yeah. And yeah, actually, now that actually, actually queen e6. To... Yeah. Not so strange, not so maybe so bad after all. To go to e6? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because queen b7, actually, I'm I'm worried of some bishop b2, bishop a3, c4, something. Yeah, something slow. Yeah, queen e6 is much more harmonious if it works. Uh, if it works, yeah. Like e4, I have knight c7. I think I'm covering everything, yeah? Yeah, and then the knight protects the queen. It's protect the queen. So I'm threatening, actually, d takes e4. Yeah, e5 played. If I play, ah, if I played, yeah. If I played, yeah. Okay, c4 is possible, I guess. Yeah, c4 is certainly one of the main moves. But maybe he wants the same. Yeah, like takes, I thought takes, that takes six, queen e6. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Honestly, I thought that divorce has passed then. 
Yeah, and the then problem maybe is knight b7. Yeah, to to get the other knight free the way. Yeah, the problem is that the queen on a2 is hanging. Yeah, I want to play c5 and take with the knight. That would be quite nice for for white, I guess. Yeah, but... that would be very strong. But now it doesn't work. And also these pawns e5 f6, they are dominating white's bishop a bit. Yeah, white plays bishop b2. Yeah, he he wants bishop a3. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, queen e6. So bishop a3, probably rook c7, followed by maybe bishop e7. Ah, white goes a5. Okay. Fatosi, a very positional. Somewhat uh, minimalistic approach, let's say. <laughs> That's not stupid. Yeah, but actually I'm liking his yeah? uh, handling of, of white's, uh, from the white side, his positions. White will have a very slight uh, structural advantage, yeah? Slight pull, yeah. But Luke like, C7. very good pieces, very solid position. But on the other hand, also, I feel like Hikaru is now kind of happy. He's happy, I think. I, I also think that he's happy because, okay, the, this look F7 and suddenly all this F6, look F7 make, made a lot of sense. Yeah. Knight BD2, okay, now watch out for E4. He wants well, queen f7, or what is the solid way to react to e4? Yeah, queen f7 was also my first thought. But okay, then some bishop a3, yeah, and then some slow. That other rook also has to enter the game, yeah? Yeah, knight b3 too. Yeah, I mean, they are playing quite quickly. They are playing quickly, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a strategic position. Queen f7 right also, now. by the way, uh, hinting at rook a7 maybe sometime. Huh? Like Bishop yeah, okay, I anyway want to put my queen on B3. I anyway want to put, yes, it doesn't make such a big yeah, difference. I, I don't don't worry that much about this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at, Let's uh, take for a example, look at Jan, Jan versus Wesley. There, there had been so much development and it looks to me like White is having a dream position. No, clearly better, yeah? yeah very, so, very nice. So what happened here? Bishop B3, A5, A3. Bishop f6, we talked about it that yeah, both pieces belong to f6. This is always very unpleasant. Yeah. E3, knight e7, and f4. This is, was your plan, yeah? It, it was kind of also my, my dream scenario, yeah. And e4, now takes, takes. Oh, e4 is a big concession, yeah. After this, black yeah, admits that is he's dead. The worse. d4 square is weak. Yeah. Takes, takes, knight f6, knight c2, rook c8, knight cd4. A B four. A takes B four. Probably he will recapture. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing that Black at some point will want to play Bishop D five. Have to play Bishop D five yeah, to ease up on the pressure. Yeah. So, for example, A B four, then Bishop D five. Yeah, but the B five pawn is very weak, also. How do I? Uh, how do I attack it? I mean, even takes on d5 and queen a5. Eh? Yeah. Not easy to defend the pawn. But I mean, I feel that, okay, this doesn't scare me that much, but I mean, I have some rook c4. Or maybe I should just castle. You should maybe castle, yeah? And I cannot castle. That's a big issue. Yeah, you can't cancel yet. Yeah, bishop d5 on the board. Takes bishop d5, yeah. Yeah, takes takes bishop d5 and now yeah, the question. Some queen a2, of course, possible always. Uh. Yes. But I mean, I always have the, the c4, or so maybe this is a mirage, yeah, that after knight c3, the b5 pawn is falling. Yeah? It's simply very weak, yeah, that's what I yeah. think. But... I mean, queen a2 looks like the, the move. And then maybe even get the knight to see. Ah, okay. Jan opted for bishop d4. Ah, uh, he took he, immediately. Eh? I mean, queen a2 followed by knight c3 made a lot of sense. Very simple way of playing. Eh? Just yeah. utilizing this super strong knight on d4. Yeah, it was, was interesting. Okay, he takes on d5, so he has a very clear, direct idea. Yeah, but... Not so... Actually, how do we take... I mean, do we take with knight ed5 or knight fd5? Knight I thought ED5. knight e, but... Yeah. Yeah, it, it was also the move that we automatically played. Exactly, yeah. 
Just suddenly you mentioned the knight being so strong on d4, and I thought, can I maybe play some knight c6 later on? Uh, yeah, like this, yeah. But there would be a second knight. <laughs> That's exactly. the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Also, slower, slower play is, I guess, possible. But yeah, of course, Jan doesn't go for slower play. Yeah? He goes for even sharper. Yeah, play. he goes for knight f5. Actually, he he tries to be very energetic. Yes. I mean, is he hinting at some g4 ideas? Possibly, yeah. Trying to make good use of his. Maybe blood. you should even play h5. Yeah, not impossible. Yeah, exactly. H5 and then g6. H5, g6. Yeah, h5 looks very tempting. H5. And then to, to get g6, I'm actually not liking the, the direction Jan went for because he had much a much more logical advantage. to play for the b5 pawn, yeah? And, uh, yeah, I mean, he had a stable, uh, there was just no reason for him to go for all this uh, double exactly, exactly. Also, this outpost is sort of on the queen side, yeah? This d4 outpost. So it makes more sense to get the maximum out of it by staying on d4. But he probably feels he has a nice attack. Yeah, probably. I mean, of course, we, we also know that he's famous for... For attacking, yeah. For, for finding very creative ideas. I, I only don't know if, if it was necessary. I don't see it, but also I simply don't see it. Yeah, he goes g6 and castles. Yeah. Okay, for the moment, h5 has not yet been played. Has not yet been played. But it's so natural, yeah? It's so natural, yeah, because we want g6. I mean, after g6, you will have 97 check. But uh, ah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. But I mean, do we have played ninety seven? I have no idea. So okay, let me play a move h five, and you still have to make a move. Anyway. But what also? What are you? How are you like continuing the attack? Yeah, because probably it's time for you to move the rook and castle. Yeah, yeah. There is no attack. Yeah, and then okay, I have time maybe even for queen b seven or something like this. Yeah. Ah no no no. Sorry, the pawn is hanging. Okay sorry sorry. No no no. Okay, mm -hmm. in any way, very interesting position. Let's yeah. quickly move also to Magnus. Because, yeah, Magnus has won uh, his first mini-match, but uh, the, no, nothing is, is over yet. Yeah, the new mini-match just started against Matthias Bluebaum. And, and I one... think that this is a very special day for, for Bluebaum. Yeah, we also have to talk about Matthias. I mean, when do you get a chance to play uh, two mini matches against the, the world champion Magnus Carson? I mean, yeah, exactly. For no them. matter how it ends, I mean, you will benefit tremendously and you will learn a lot. Definitely, definitely. But here he's not, he's doing quite well, yeah? He's doing quite well, exactly. I mean, this knight f5 hinting at the bishop. Knight h4, yeah, some possibilities. But yes, also, so yes, white is so far from castling. Well, the same applies for black. Not so much. I mean, there is a knight on e1, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. An additional right. problem. Yes. Like with black, some rook c8, and you are ready. Huh? Yeah, I, I still somehow have this feeling that these two mini matches on the same day, and even like uh, Blue Bomb lost 2 0, and uh, Magnus might feel like, okay, the job has, has been done. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And That's in fact, dangerous. nothing is done. Yeah, it's, it's a new mini match. And in <laughs> fact, the, the player who lost is probably much more determined to bounce back than the one who already won. Yeah, it's uh, kind no, it's of, of course, a human if you nature. lose 2 0, yeah, if you lose 2 0, you still have completely good chances in the second mini match. Exactly. It basically doesn't matter at all. Yeah. What, but if you uh, lost two zero in a four game match, I mean, uh, you would think that it's hopeless. It's already over. Yeah. Yeah. And then definitely. There is nothing to lose for for Matthias, and uh, as you see, the disposition feels quite harmonious for Black. Yes. I mean, maybe it's fine for White, but uh, nothing uh, special. Yeah. Nothing great. Yeah. Okay. All let's. Right. Uh, I'm seeing H4, some... H4, wow. Yeah? H4, this is a stunning sacrifice, yeah? Because, okay, we, we can just take it. No, but you take and play D5. That's the point. Yeah. I know, but... but... <laughs> yeah, but uh, exactly. What's so going on later? Yeah, that's a big question. <laughs> big, but, I mean, question. we had to highlight it, yeah, because... Sure, sure, sure. You, you remember that I was claiming after Knight F5 that Black wants to go Knight H4? And then yeah. suddenly Magnus plays the stunning H4. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. This is this is quite amazing. Yeah, we, we it's have a funny to admire thing. This. But we should mention also the possibility to play the move B5. 
kicking the queen and exactly taking on the next move. Yeah? yeah, where is this queen going? I guess you go to d1. Yeah, what else? I mean, queen d1 and then knight takes h4. Yeah, hard to say. Bishop e4, maybe followed by some. But can no, it really? But this is already some speculative sacrifice. I mean, can it really be enough? Huh? Yeah, that's a big question. Ah, there is also after knight takes h4, there is also some possibility d5. Yeah, that that the was the move that yeah. attracted my attention. That's probably much sharper. Yeah, I mean d5 and yeah, knight and good luck figuring it out. But yeah, good luck. For... No, this looks very dangerous. Yeah, but this yeah because now everything is nice. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, okay, knight takes fc check. We can simply recapture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and blue bomb goes for knight takes h4. Knight takes h4 immediately. Very ah, ah, because rook h4 b5. Rook h4 b5. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But okay, let's try d5 anyway. Sorry, when? I mean immediately now. I mean same like with b5, uh, queen d1 included. Yeah, oh, but your queen is not on d1. Yeah, but does it matter? So what you do after knight h4? I thought ah you mean d5 you yeah d5 let's say I tried d5. I mean can't I take the bishop? I but how? Immediately ah you take immediately. I take immediately. Okay bishop uh, d takes. But then you take on h4 or what? Yeah but then you simply go back yeah. Then I go back yeah. Or actually you don't go back you take on d5 yeah because the bishop yeah, I mean, is not I mean, hanging. Whatever yeah something will happen. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Magnus yeah. actually goes bishop e4. Yeah. So now the first thing that comes to mind, of course, knight takes d4, but I guess it doesn't work, yeah? Because I'm well, actually... We have to show it. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually threatening mating one, yeah. I mean, this we have to show it because it's checkmate. Yeah. Unbelievable checkmate. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, after knight d4, so okay, bishop takes d4, yeah, would be... Yeah, and then uh, I'm simply running out of pieces. And yeah. then the knight on h4 is... Yeah. <laughs> Just a funny idea, but uh, yeah, no, of course, we had to. I mean, <laughs> yeah, checkmate yeah. in two moves, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's necessary to have a look at. I'm curious about the possibility d5, yeah, because if it works, it's really a move that one would like to play yeah? after bishop e4, d5. So basically, you forced me to take cd, yes. CD and, and then queen d6. Queen takes d6. And now we have to think hard. Also, some move knight e5 somewhere, but I'm not sure if it really helps me. Yeah, very complicated. Wow, actually, breaking yeah. news. Young breaking Yaku news, Yaku yeah. Has beaten Vastly So in just a few moves. In just a few moves, what happened here? So knight ed5, yeah. knight f5, and then Vastly went for this uncharacteristic rook c2. I mean, the that's, house is that, burning. Yeah, that's that's very odd, yeah? I mean, how do you end up going for rook c2? Very knight ed3. Threatening some knight x e4 business. Probably, huh? Yeah, and, and yeah. after queen c8, okay, it was connected with some blunder knight x d6. Queen e6 and queen a8 checkmate. He simply missed queen a8 checkmate, yeah. Wow, I mean, it basically shows that how important it was for Jan to bounce back in the previous game. And uh, and yeah, the Wesley has not recovered Or he thought yet. he could castle, yeah? Maybe he thought he could castle. Ah, because he's discussing. Yeah, they are discussing, yeah. And you remember, I was asking you... Ah, you were actually you... asking me, yeah? I mean, you should have asked Wesley instead. <laughs> yeah, because I was asking that, can we... Ca yeah, and, and of course, Wesley will never blunder Queen A8, but he wanted to castle now. He want but okay, in normal chess, you cannot castle when you're in check, yeah? I know you can. No, you can't, but I mean, uh, this, this is Fisher random. No, this is a terrible blow for, for Wesley, of course. What is this? But why why does he believe that it's allowed? That's very strange. Wow. No, I, I mean, definitely, if you are not sure, then probably you should get up uh, before and ask the arbiter that actually, sorry, can oh. I just clarify these things? Yeah, because, okay, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he just uh, thrown away the game like, the, okay, White was anyway putting pressure. White so was he, putting pressure, but okay, very, very The, the game was him. just uh, so-called developing. That's uh, very odd.
Wow. This is this is shocking. That's shocking. Of course, also, yeah, I mean, but, but okay, yeah. As as you said, why was it even a question to me as well? Yeah, that if you get checked, then you got checked. You. It's only when that. the rook is attacked, yeah, that you cannot castle. I mean, yeah. or that, that you can castle. Sorry, sorry, that you can castle. I mean. Now that's very strange. Also, uh, it's just a bit strange. Like we are imagining, like the the reigning world champion doesn't know the rule. That's also a bit strange. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so special. Yeah, it's very special. This castling in Fisher Random. Eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you you felt like okay, I'm ready to castle, and okay, so I I castle. No, so what's the would, big issue? If he would be able to castle, he would be winning simply. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why he went he went along these lines. Yeah. That okay, yeah. knight g three. Queen yeah, 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 yeah. It looks dangerous, but but if after knight d6, queen e6 works, then it's uh, maybe a good idea. Yeah, yeah. It looks like white is uh, run uh, jumping around for no reason with the knights. Uh, no, shocking, wow. shocking. Okay, this is this is the shocking uh, moment of the day. Yeah, definitely. What else is in store for us? I mean, every day we have something that we have never seen before. Yeah. I mean, it just shows that, yeah, Fisher Random is... Wow, what? Did Hikaru... No, I mean, he did not blunder the Rook takes C8, but he's in trouble. He's in deep trouble, yeah? He's in deep... I mean, at least he's pawn done. But they're very good pawn also, yeah? Yeah, if, if there is no immediate tactical reason, then, then of course it's very bad. And because of this F6 pawn, it's uh, not easy to activate. Okay, still some Queen G6, Queen F5, maybe... Yeah, yeah, Queen G, but Queen G6, first of all, what do you play with? Do you play Queen G3 or do you play King H1? Queen G3, uh, King yeah? King H1, I play Queen F5. Yeah, yeah, Queen G3 looks much more natural. natural yeah? yeah, but then I have some Queen D3. Okay, just queen hang D3, on. E4. How, how did we reach this position? Yeah. A5, Rook C7, takes, takes. Knight yeah, B2, this... we, we see that Fedosev actually plays very systematically. Yeah, quite nice. Queen B3, Knight C8, Bishop A3. Shop e7 takes takes c4. Certainly having a nice initiative. Takes takes. It's a dream Sicilian finally. Yeah. Knight d6, queen b4 takes takes. Uh, now he went for some. Uh, yeah, and, and now this tactical skill me starts. e4 d5. And the rook d6 uh, run into rook takes c8. Yeah, I don't know if it was it was basically prepared or why he didn't want to move the rook back to e8. Yeah, is it so bad? I mean, is there anything better than rook takes e4, which looks not so bad for black? Yeah, yeah, it, it looks unpleasant, but okay, but could yeah. be that he believes he has nice compensation actually. Yeah, maybe maybe actually at four c. Yeah, okay, rook d6, rook takes e8, <clears throat> takes takes takes, takes takes and check. Yeah, this is the key move. <clears throat> now, if white plays king h1, then black has queen f5, probably. Probably, yeah. Hitting the... Okay, one could argue then we still have Yeah, king maybe king g2. g2 now, yeah? Yeah, maybe we have king g2. In any case, uh, Fedosev quite quickly played the move queen... Pardon me. Uh, queen g3 immediately, and after queen d3 went, uh, opted for e4. But this is reminding a little bit about these Grimfeld positions here, yeah? where you are giving up the center, but you push your A pawn. Okay. Here, maybe you push the B pawn instead. And now you push the B pawn with a nice queen on D3. Yeah, and very hard for white to create lots of... But okay, pressure. hang on. I'm setting some queen G4 business. I mean, this F6 pawn is your problem. Yeah, with the pawn on F7, it would probably be great compensation. Yeah, but... yeah with, with pawn on G6, F7, probably you would have no problem at all. And here, this is actually going on. Why does he believe that this is okay? No, I, I don't think that he... He, uh, he doesn't believe, believe yeah? <laughs> it was no, out it, of necessity. I mean, something, something really went wrong. I mean, he was under pressure and uh, he, he definitely missed something. Yeah. Most probably you're right. But I mean, I still can't get out of my head West Wesley's situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's he, terrible. He wants to castle, and and I'm looking at the position, and okay, this is really heartbreaking for someone who who thought that he can castle, and it's it's game over. Yeah, and okay, I mean, as Nepo came back in the last match, it could really cost him the advancement. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there there is it's so a much. Very tension. very important game. Yeah. Yeah, and okay, we haven't uh, checked on Abdusatulov yet. 
I mean, uh, look at this. Look that at also, this. yeah. I mean, looks now that he's getting completely busted. Yeah, he went for some attack and uh, didn't seem to work. Seemingly does not. Work. But okay, still, it's so messy. Knight D F four. No, but and... what I mean. Like black has castled, black is pawn up, all pieces are well placed. Ah, and white has not castled. No, what is I understand if this h1 rook was on, you know, e1 or d1, we would be talking about a mess. But here, yeah, so I have to play knight df4. Yeah, here we are talking about a mess where black is basically a rook up. Yeah, yeah, which means that maybe you can even afford to go for this craziness with f5 or yeah. Or you just play knight f, but I mean, knight... are loose pieces there. Knight f5, let's try knight f, just try the solid way first. Is it solid? I mean, knight e6? Yeah, maybe not so solid. Knight takes e6, queen rook takes c2. e6, or rook c2 immediately. I mean, queen e6, bishop f5? Yeah, I thought actually that I would take and uh, queen takes e4, bishop d5, something like this, yeah? Ah. Give an go, exchange. Go for attack. Go for attack, yeah. But... but... Okay, of course, I have no clue whether it works or not. Yeah? Queen no, e I, I only thought like again, it's it's at least this mess is in white's favor. At least there is some uh, some hope for white here. Yeah, yeah, yeah because okay, it it looks hopeless. Otherwise, that's true. That this is unnecessary, most probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, but this is exactly what we talked about in the Magnus Carlsen Matthias Blue Bomb. Yeah, that uh, Abdusatov has just crushed Gretas on two zero in the previous. Uh, Mini match, and then you you might just feel like okay, I'm dominating. Yeah, knight df4 is played. I'm dominating, and and actually a new match starts, and then uh, you you can get fooled by yeah f5 knight g7 on the board. F5 knight g7 on the board, yeah. Already on the board. Yeah. But this is a complete. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you mean bluff? Yeah, or at least uh, he's playing quite fast, and it's quite clear that he doesn't trust it. Yeah. I mean, there is also this rook c2. Rook c2 is also very tempting. Let's take a look at rook c2. What do you think is his idea? I mean, queen f3 looks like complete nothing, yeah? But okay, probably he has to go for it. Queen f3, yeah? I mean, what else? I mean, okay, I play, let's say, knight f6. Yeah, rook c2 on the board. Yeah, it, it looks completely and and uh, what we talked about, yeah, that if uh, Gretarsson wins one game, yeah, it, then it can be very interesting for him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and and also there is a lot of pressure, yeah, because if uh, Abdusatov loses this mini match, then actually we have been talking about him being in a wonderful position. It's it's suddenly not that clear. Suddenly not clear at all, huh? And losing with white, especially, yeah, it's always extra hurtful. Yeah, well, okay, if, if he bounces back, but even if he bounces back, he, he can just tie the match. That's true, that's true. Yeah. But it's not given that he can win, because these, these kind of things, yeah, when the underdog suddenly wins a game after losing quite a lot, uh, suddenly he starts to believe and... Uh, the yeah, dynamic shining, change completely. He goes knight, knight f2. That was also a bit odd. It was possible simply to take the bishop, right? Yeah, but he's down to three, actually less than three minutes. Yeah. We will see. There is a lot of tension. So what is his... But he's <laughs> like he also has huge attack, no? I mean, then extra material. And... Okay, probably we have to take on F2. Yeah, Rook takes F2. Rook takes F2. So, so now... you take on F2 or... I guess I take an F2. Okay, King takes. King takes. And now I take the Bishop, I guess. Or you even include Knight E4 check. Yeah, good question. But I mean, I, it doesn't... Uh, F takes G4, you mean uh, some Rook F1 maybe, yeah? I mean, then maybe I can try to cast. Okay, let's say knight e4 check then. Then, yeah. Okay, king e2, yeah. Make you happy. F takes g4. You even have rook d8 in them and so on. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's oh, rook... take this bishop. But it doesn't run away. Yeah? All these things will be there also on my next move. You you think, yeah? So if I take... Oh, okay, <laughs> I don't know. This was, I was hoping. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you're right. Six. What about the small little move now, like bishop b7? Oh, grand <laughs> Merciless. Looks quite dangerous, yeah? Yeah, no, this this bishop b7 just crushes. Crushes your dreams, yeah? All, all hopes, yeah. All right, let's get back to the position. All eyes on Gretarsson. 
this yeah. is the moment this is his moment to strike yeah exactly i mean if he doesn't like now then then i don't think that he he will recover yeah that's true actually your your idea of 94 rook d8 intermediate move was also very tempting yeah? i think his problem is only that he has too many tempting options yeah everything wins that's always <laughs> unpleasant yeah it's so much better just to have one just to have one win yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we are really spoiled yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then the, he's he's under time. And look at this. Apparently, knight e4, checking e to fg4 is exactly the only way that it's not good. Knight takes f5. I, 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 knight takes f5. Uh, no, no, no. He played rook d8. Actually, he played my rook d8. And now knight takes f5. Comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Such a tragedy, yeah? Oh, my God. No. I mean, just my blunder, yeah? Yeah. Just my plan. I mean, no, F takes G4, but okay, I, without maybe this bishop E7, it was not so easy. Yeah, yeah without bishop, yeah, but this is. But the bishop E7, on the other hand, won immediately. This is horrible. Really. I mean, okay, it looks like you are dominating, you are winning, you are crushing, and then yeah, this is suddenly it's yeah. contra strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's sad. I mean, F takes G4, it looked completely overwhelming. Yeah. And then now white is just completely winning. Black has no time to take the queen because of 97 check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, e takes f5 has to be played. It's played. And then queen b3 check. But suddenly white is the one, yeah, who is attacking. Yeah, and white did not sacrifice anything for a no, mating I... attack. Well, okay, yeah, the problem is also king f8, you go knight e6 check, yeah? Knight e6 check, yeah. And it's even going to be... To be made. Wow, and everything that we just uh, mentioned uh, two Simply. minutes ago, yeah, is is vanishing. No, terrible, terrible. Bishop d5. This you can probably simply take. Yeah, yeah. It it will be so difficult to to recover from this. Yeah, bishop d5, uh, knight yeah, d5, yeah. queen a6 check. What now, king f3? No, knight d2 check is now. Yeah, no, probably you just fall back with the king to e1. To e1, yeah, because queen a5, I always... You will already have knight c3 check. Yeah, yeah, or bishop c3 or something. Yeah, whatever, yeah. No, knight c3 is better, yeah. Knight c3 is peace up. Yeah, just king e1. I mean, okay, I have already blundered enough today that uh, I, I lost in one of the games in five moves. Yeah, <laughs> with this spin along the b file, I was recommending rook d8, why not to include, why not to play stylish, and then... Uh, <laughs> okay, it happens, yeah. Oh my God! No, it just I, I feel that it's it's very bad news for the tournament because yeah, it makes it less uh, less exciting in some sense. Yeah, I mean uh, suddenly there were uh, really intrigues with Abdul Satulov, but also with Gretarsson. Yeah, that suddenly if he wins the match against the against Abdul Satulov, okay, it was about just one game yet, but still he could actually start to show his potential. Yeah, now he will. I mean, it will be so tough for him to come back from this. Yeah. 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 Knight, uh, knight, CC check. Yeah. White I mean, is king... already piece up. Yeah, and uh, even you can just bishop f3 and take the knight on e4. Worst case, yeah. Yeah. Still I mean, okay. Eight. Where is this king moving at all? To h8. Yeah. For example, yeah, to g7. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, rook... you simply bishop, simply bishop f3 and take on take the knight yeah. next move. Yeah, you're completely safe. No, that's such a pity. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. But not easy. I mean, uh, of course, not easy to win, even when you have winning position against such a position. Yeah, always finding resources, always some tricks. Yeah. Exactly. Always one more trick. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what. Yeah, and it was clear that knight df4 is coming. Yeah, I was like completely shocked why the computer thinks that it's so completely winning for black. Yeah, but because, it's, because it's humanly much... you could feel that this is not over. Yeah, but it's much to do with this fact that uh, white did not castle. Yeah, exactly. actually, white king was uh, was super uh, vulnerable and playing also with rook down. Yeah, so okay, basically that's it. I mean, yeah, we, that's we, it. This he will win quite easily. Huh? Yeah, we, we can move. I mean, uh, I mean, even Bishop Black takes f5 if he has no time, and he even goes Bishop f5. It's yeah, even Bishop move. takes f5. Uh... Yeah, basically, resignation can come any moment. Okay, I would, uh, I would probably have gone Bishop f3. <laughs> Why not? He it's very much in his style. Yeah, yeah, no, knight takes e4 check. I mean, okay, yeah, he, he sees up. that he's peace up and he has the mating attack. Yeah, yeah. 
Ja, yeah, yeah. heartbreaking. Heartbreaking for uh, Gretarsson. Ja, yeah, heartbreaking for Gretarsson, for, for the Icelandic fans. I mean... Uh, also I, this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know, you know, that I played one time this match against uh, Mickey Adams in uh, Mishkots in Hungary and I lost the first three games and, you know, I felt so embarrassed uh, that, I mean, okay, the spectators are there, you know, we had the theater was full house, 800 yeah, yeah, sure, people, sure, sure. they came to see me and I'm, I'm getting demolished and then I won the fourth game and there was such a standing applause. Like I felt like I became a world champion. Yeah, that's that's when I realized <laughs> that playing at home, if things go your way, then it's it's fantastic. I managed to bounce back and find that the match was tied 4-4. Uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. it's uh, completely insane. It's just because of this whole public, this these extra emotions. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, it's very unfortunate that he that he missed this last trick. Yeah, this this night except five, which I have also missed. Is it okay, miss? of course, we, it, it was a winning position. We're just uh, talking about why not even to include it. Uh, of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Thing, yeah. But okay, let's move to, to Magnus now. Yeah. To see what's going on. because He's I mean, still a pawn down, yeah? He's still a pawn down, exactly. So he has some compensation. He's, uh, he's definitely trying everything, but... Okay, first of all, let's see. Yeah? Because Bishop uh, is hanging on F6, so oh, he takes on A1. D takes C6, you can simply recapture D takes C6. That's the and point. And the knight yeah? on D2 is hanging, yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's the point. So yeah, just, just to highlight this, yeah, this is quite important. DC is met by DC, and all of a sudden the knight is hanging. Yes. And and now really black only needs one, one short Yeah, castle. one move to castle. Uh... Yeah, so Magnus opted for rook takes A1. <clears throat> I think very similar things apply to, to Matthias Blubaum as well, because yeah, of so course, far of course. he has zero points, but I also felt like his, his matches were quite close. And uh, yeah. if if he managed to to one uh, one game, then uh, he suddenly might become much more dangerous. Yeah, of course, yesterday this game, this incredible time trouble with uh, Nakamura. Was, with Nakamura also I against Fedosev, he had chances to bounce back and everything. He had some I mean, chances, yeah. Yeah, well, Matthias is putting up... Uh, ah, yeah, he had this completely winning game against Fedosev as well. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I don't know exactly because we missed out on, on critical action, how winning it was, but yeah, he was the one... He was definitely the, the one at least playing, yeah? yeah. Yeah. So for him, it would also make a huge difference if he scores some point. Exactly. Yeah, now he goes knight c6 to e5. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Provoking f4 and then knight g4. It yeah, that would be play. terrible for white. Yeah. Then the structure no, with white, normally you would want to, to play d6, of course. That's the ambitious yeah, move. d6 but... played. But uh, mm, now the rook on h5 is offside, yeah? Yeah, f5 is very tempting. f5 yeah? is very tempting. I don't know if you can maybe castle first also. I'm not even sure if I want to castle. Yeah, maybe not. some f5, king f7. Maybe, maybe. Hard to say. Yeah, it's... No, it's but white will play rook b1, rook b7 if allowed, yeah? Okay, uh, rook c8, touching the knight. Yeah. Rook c8, okay, knight db3, I guess. Has to be... Yeah, rook c6, rook d1. Yeah, you have to hang on to your pawn. But why... Uh... I mean, with lucky, you should castle at some point. Yeah, why do you make all these moves? Okay, he he's done to a minute. Yeah, that's and why you make he's the most. Done to a minute, and there is no increment. It's only move 20, 22. No, I understand, but why? Then you should make the the safe move. Yeah, like the natural move, not the complicated one. Yeah, castles. Okay, he wants to have probably knight c four, and then eliminating this d six pawn. Yeah, that's true. Now this wow. rook on h5. If the rook on h5 was in the game, it would be quite unclear, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it it would not even be clear who is putting. Exactly. Pressure, like yeah? Let's say you could play now rook d4 or rook a4 or something. Yes. Yeah? Like. Uh... Yeah, but actually, these two knights are really dominating this rook. They are dominating the rook. Yeah. So knight c4 is actually a threat. Yeah. Yeah, knight c4 is some kind of a threat. Uh, kind of a threat. Eight more moves to to play till time control. Yeah, Magnus also doesn't have that much time, but he has more. Yeah, he still has two minutes. How do we activate this rook? We, or we simply don't? Huh? There is also some rook d4 to stop knight c4, but... Ah, yeah, he goes finally, f4. Ah. 
Yeah, Magnus goes for f4, knight c4, knight takes d7, some four sequence of moves. Rook d8. Some rook c5 he wants. Rook c5, so. I'm guessing, but, yeah. But rook takes d6. Okay, what to do? He will be a pawn down, yeah? Yeah, at least he opens up his rook. Yes. Yeah, knight d5, you can simply take rook c takes d6. Uh, you can take actually with any rook. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if nothing knight special, leads, then doesn't really make the knight d knight e5 is in fact played, but but this it's played, no? But okay, you simply take, yeah. It looks very tempting for black. Or then you just take on d6 and then knight c6. Takes uh -huh. takes knight c6. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Knight c6 now gives some. And then finally the rook comes, rook a5. Finally, finally, black and white managed to activate the rook, yeah? Wow. Rook c8, rook c8, you dare to take the pawn or? Probably you do, yeah? Wow, down I... to 25 seconds. I was thinking also maybe rook c5 is a move. I mean, this is not highly dramatic because there is no time. What move number is it? I don't know. Knight takes c3, he, he just grabs the pawn. Now you have to decide how to... Ah, but now they got extra time, yeah? Now they got extra time, yeah. So now the time control is over, but already it seems like probably white survives this. Probably white survives, yeah. Yeah, two knights. I mean, okay, there are just already too much drawing potential in the position. Yeah, this a pawn is very strong against the knight always. Huh? Yeah, I mean, okay, something like knight c4, a4. This knight still has to start moving. I don't feel that there are realistic chances. To no, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, the, the pawn keeps on marching, knight b5, a6. Um, and then potentially white can even sacrifice all his knights for all the Exactly, pawns. for all black's pawns yeah. and that's it. Yeah. yeah, black even plays e5, he breaks the structure. He, plays he wants quite to win a tempo. Plays quite fast in in relation to just getting much more time, yeah. Yeah, maybe he did not uh, really adjust yet. Not yet. To the fact. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, feels very droish, of course. What about Fedosev? Yeah, let's take a look at Fedosev. Uh, yeah, we also have some very interesting interview by Jan explaining the incident with Wesley and when suddenly, I think when, when everything has settled, then we will have that interview. Then we will see it, yeah. Yeah, Queen B4. So Hikaru is trying everything to, to create some complications. He's simply attacking the rook forever, yeah? That's his point. Yeah, what well, what happened here? So Queen D3, E4, F5, breaking the structure. Rook E1, Rook F8, King G to Queen D4. H4. H4. Ah, and this is where he starts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and then Vladimir goes King F1. Basically, it's a, it's a draw. Yeah, you simply cannot keep the E4 pawn defended, yeah? That's the problem. Yeah, that's it. Draw agreed, 3 for okay. repetition. Great Big save for Naka. Big save. Big save. Yeah, very important save. Yeah, it, it was very critical. Yes. It was very critical. And uh, actually, this, this game is still in progress. But but, still, he's still fighting, yeah, Gretason, but Yeah, but uh, no, unfortunately, yeah. Not really, yeah. Running out of checks and, okay, his king on h6 is getting checkmated. Yeah. So that's it. Abdul Satov wins this game. And uh, then all eyes on uh, Carson Bluebaum. Yeah, which looks droish, but looks droish, even very droish. But a bit confusing position, yeah, like with all these four knights and one pawn. Yeah, knight c5. <laughs> Magnus keeps on blitzing. Yeah, but. But his moves are very natural, yeah. No, you nice. just push the pawn, yeah. Like, exactly. what else can you do? You you don't want to allow black to to set up a blockade. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, black can set up a blockade by playing knight c six yeah, and trade one. Yeah, knight. but okay, that's already that's very close to a draw. Some kind of a blockade that we don't mind. Yeah. 
for example, takes, takes, and then, okay, king is coming, but... Yeah, you, you will have quite a lot of time to create counterplay, huh? For instance, knight, yeah, knight e4, just attacking the pawn. Yeah, I mean, okay, finally... The, the pawn is too far advanced. Yeah, so... Okay, v v which means that, uh, actually, Magnus probably survives this scare. Very important for him, of course. Very important. He plays knight c6, yeah? Yeah, knight c6 takes, takes a6. King f8. Should you force the knight to a7, or that probably doesn't matter, yeah? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah, very important for Magnus, because uh, simply this this Fedosev Nakamura match is also so close, and and you 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 don't really know who will collect the maximum points there. And then with all this qualification, the two first two qualification spots in the air, if he loses some points to Blue Bomb, it it might hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he definitely doesn't want to play one one. Even. See. Yeah, and it's all connected with this uh, terrible blunder yesterday. Yeah, otherwise, everything would be different. Everything would everything be would control. be different. Of course, if he's if he beat Manaka, he would already be uh, clearly advancing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Blue Bomb is thinking, but basically, it looks very groish. Yeah. yeah. Also, the body language. Yeah, somehow yeah, one, yeah. one can really feel that. He doesn't believe that. But they usually, yeah, they will play it out. Yeah, for sure. I mean, after all, when do you have a chance with the black of course, of to, course. to torture Magnus? Yeah. But he's not feeling that much tortured now, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he's quite relieved. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's more relieved than tortured. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, now it will be two against one, but with the, with the king uh, far away. Very easy draw. Yeah, knight takes f7, also stylish. I mean, just in case, eliminate the center pawn, it's exactly. much more dangerous. Exactly. Maybe he will pick up all the pawns. Doesn't matter. Yeah, now Magnus starts to be ambitious. Yeah, but you bring the king. <laughs> you put the king. Yeah, in front. yeah of course. Yeah, <laughs> just, just it's kind of pleasant that you know that you can't lose anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you. I mean, I think he will simply play king b seven. Yeah, and you will spend four moves taking the pawns, and Black's king will enter. Okay, ninety seven, super professional. Yeah, you know, uh, ninety seven. That's even more professional. Yeah. Yeah, with one minute on the clock. Okay, knight takes h7, knight f5 check, and then the knight is sacrificed on gc draw. Yeah. And I think uh, Matthias can get uh, quite some confidence out of this game. Yeah, he did not Definitely, he to... didn't lose, and also he was very close. He must have felt that he was very close. Yeah? Exactly. And also Magnus was showing some weakness, yeah, that he, he got carried away with all this h4 beauty, beauty and everything. Yeah, it was too much probably. Yeah, yeah it was too much. Yeah. It looked so... nice, but... So it, it was draw, then maybe now this is the moment because Sotiris uh, mentioned us that we have this uh, very interesting interview. Yeah, yeah, uh, good by, moment. Uh, Jan Yapomnyashi explaining all the accident. Yeah, what happened in yeah, the game? I guess, I guess he, he really relies on the move like short castle after queen a check so because you like both protect your king from the check and your castle. But I mean, as far as I know, in, in any in, in any just rules, like since, since I was like five or something, yeah, you can't castle area on the check, yeah. So that's, I mean, hopefully it applies to the future random because I mean, otherwise it's, I mean, the evaluation changes from like probably winning to losing, and vice versa. Yeah, but yeah, this I think this has little, you know, no sense if you can castle on the check. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Jan has just explained what happened. Uh, it's it's quite shocking, of course. Uh, but I, I feel that it's very important that the people get the chance to know the full story because 
Otherwise, people might be wondering that, okay, how could Wesley, a uh, caliber of Wesley, the, the reigning Fisher Random World Champion, blunder checkmate, basically with Queen A check. Simply, he believed that he can castle. Yeah, and, the, and in this moment, bringing the rook from H8 to F8 would be a game changer. That's why he did not fear the move Queen A check. Uh, but of course, the rules do not permit this. Check is a check. You don't have the right to castle if you are checked. So... Very unfortunate loss by, by Wesley. And knowing how intriguing and how complicated the situation is, uh, this is quite an important moment for the tournament. Yeah, it's super tough for him. I mean, the only perhaps uh, <laughs> good thing for him is that it was with black, at least. If it happened with white and then you have to play with black, it would be even worse. Yeah, that would be a total disaster because just as in the previous uh, uh, mini match, <laughs> Jan lost the first game with the black pieces and he knew that he needs to bounce back at all costs. Now Wesley is exactly in the same shoes. He, he knows that he needs to win because if he wins, then, then both their mini matches end in 1-1 one, one tie. Then everything is uh, to play for tomorrow. Otherwise, he will be under tremendous pressure. Yeah, definitely. Wow. I mean, okay. So Hikaru also survived this Kerrigan's Fedor save. So uh, now he will have the white pieces. To try yeah, to... th that's a very tense match also. Three draws, despite it being feature random. Yeah, Exactly. It's, it's quite and, rare. And actually, Fedosev twice managed to, to get something with the white pieces against Hikaru. Definitely, yeah. yeah and, and then, and and then Hikaru, Hikaru got... of course, showing his incredible skills of uh, creating uh, complications out of nothing. And counterplay, yeah, yeah, definitely. But also, we should say, Hikaru got absolutely nothing with white. Yeah? If anything, he was a bit worse. Yeah, but okay, that was the, the very first game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this, this whole bishop b4 operation, trading the bishop, uh, ah, it finally didn't it. benefit anything because of this knight a4. We analyzed that, that game. Yeah. Uh, now, also interesting that when do we start? I mean, when, when the next game we progress, the players probably have like 50 minutes break yeah, after the, the last game to finish. Sure. So just to get a confirmation, yeah, probably in like 10, more or less 10 minutes, I, I think we, we will stay uh, live. Sure. Wow. I mean, what, what does it mean? Okay, we already talked about that. Yeah, Vesti is now in the must-win situation to bounce back. Basically uh, for the... Uh, I mean, basically not only for the match, but also to, to advance, yeah, almost. Yeah, basically, I mean, if, if he ends up losing, uh, th there are still scenarios, yeah, that if... Uh, for example, Abdul Satorov uh, beats uh, Jan and he beats uh, Abdul Satorov then. But okay, those are two, two speculations, too many speculations. Uh, certainly as a player, you want to have things in your own hands. Yeah, and, uh, yeah definitely. definitely. In, I mean, in order there is to no... do that, he needs to win and then everything is kind of uh, square equal with, with Jan. It's still completely open, yeah. Yeah, and on the other hand, also we know that uh, Jan is a very emotional player. If if he gets the flow, if he starts winning, then he gets more and more confident. And I think this is also one of the things that that drives uh, Vesti now crazy. That he knows exactly that with each victory, Jan is getting better and better. Yeah, yeah, sure. But also, we should say that he played pretty well in a point in the last game. I mean, we were a little bit speculating that Knight F5 was a bit too optimistic, but it's also in his style, yeah. Yeah. And all the first uh, part, first 10 moves of the game, 15 moves, he played uh, very convincingly. Yeah? He had a pretty nice edge. Well, in general, I, I really believe that uh, Fisher Random suits Jan perfectly well. But uh, he had a couple of not so impressive <laughs> performances exactly, yesterday, let's say. Exactly, but he needs yeah? to survive the first couple of moves. Yeah, If he gets the flow, because uh, he, he can make moves. Yeah, He, he doesn't... Uh, care about you know do i have some bad piece or, or not yeah he he's ready to take decisions and everything but he needs to to get a good playable position yeah and sure. uh, and here in this game he managed yeah this uh, c5 e5 b4 d6 bishop bc was the moment when we felt like this is gonna be a tough game for wesley yeah definitely definitely you already hear you pointed out that nepo is very happy with his position yeah, yeah exactly i mean okay knowing him that he's crushing in the king's gambit all the time yeah then yeah, uh, yeah exactly this is a power king's gambit yeah. this is this is incredible yeah, so it, it was of course very nice seeing him in his element because yeah so far he was really quite shaky and uh yeah this was a great victory maybe a game changer who who knows but of course Vesley is so strong in, in Fisher Random. We have been seeing that so far he was always having everything under control. 
uh, in his games in the openings. Especially with White. Yeah, I mean, very often he's just clearly better after five, six moves, yeah? Exactly. So now, now the big question is that so far he, he didn't really feel the pressure, yeah? He could just play quietly. Now he knows that it's a must-win game, how he will handle the, the nerves, everything plays a big role. Yeah, that's true. That's, of course, completely different. Uh, still, he's experienced. I, I believe that he will uh, put a lot of pressure. He will not collapse. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting some incredible fight. And, uh, well, the tournament is also heating up. I mean... I believe that also the players will get more and more used to the situation. It's Of course, all the time they are playing some new positions, so one cannot really uh, benefit from the previous games. But still, your mindset is, is getting used to this uh, Fisher random mode. It definitely helps. Even if it's a new position, like just this flexibility of mind is uh, hugely helpful. They will play better by each day, I think. Yeah, that's that's the feeling. Yeah, also, but but sometimes you know when when you suddenly feel like ah, now it's worse, everything worse, and and you start uh, playing too too euphorically. That's also some kind of a danger. Um, Matthias Bruban played, for example, a wonderful game in the in the previous one. Let let's even just take a quick look at his openings because yeah, he, opening. he did something that okay, we didn't agree with the move one, but after that, he played <laughs> quite well. Yeah. Yeah, because he he just went into some system positions. Yeah, that yeah he, he felt like okay, yeah, Magnus very systematically trying to trade the active bishop, bishop f6, and then somewhere Magnus probably got uh, too too ambitious. Yeah, a bit carried away, huh? Yeah, he probably should have traded the lights. I I don't know exactly what happened. It's very difficult to. To, to criticize yeah, because he anything. got stuck. Yeah, he, his main problem was that he got stuck with his knight on e1, so he couldn't castle. Exactly. Yeah, and and okay, here all these h4 things. It it was a very interesting idea, but knight takes h4, and the fact that after rook h4, that is this b5 move. Yeah, it uh, it created all the mess. Yeah. Yeah. Will will be very interesting to hear. For example, uh, Magnus's reaction after after today's uh, runs that. What went on uh, his mind? Because clearly he had some swords, but but then he he didn't know what to do. Yeah, he changed his mind and the bishop e4 knight g6. It turned out that it's a speculative pawn sacrifice, but black is very solid. Rook h5, rook d8, knight fc, knight c7, mm, and uh, it it was Magnus who had to fight for a draw later yeah, on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, he's basically just a pawn down. Yeah, so. Yeah, and, and I think if if Bibam had one or two more minutes around move uh, twenty five, things could have gone differently. Yeah, there was this uh, this end game. Yeah, with D six, uh, White is creating chances. Yeah, he he knows that he has to fix this D seven weakness. And uh, okay, finally castles happened, and then this F four sequence uh, with Knight C four, Knight D seven. We, we, I remember that computer did not approve everything. Here after knight e5, apparently there was some clever move. I, I don't know exactly what. Because the move played in the game was so logical, but actually it fizzled out into a four draw. It fizzled out very quickly into a draw. Yeah, yeah suddenly the rook from h5, the, the rook that was out of the game, joined the party and yeah. Afterwards... Yeah, once the rook joined, it was comp it was fine for white, basically. Yeah, and, uh, and simply the a-pawn was strong enough to claim. Sure. Equality. All right. I, I actually I have to restart the program to to make sure that we get the new games. Mm -hmm. Let me do that because probably the games can start any moment. Yeah. And we have the games. Couple of minutes, probably. Young. Okay. There we have it. Ah, no. No, no. <laughs> These are still normal chess positions. <laughs> All right. Then we have to wait. And then we have to wait. Okay. Now everything is correct. Everything is ready, yeah?
everything is that yeah i mean so i yeah, already not... can't even uh, recognize the normal pos- i mean <laughs> you forgot how it looks yeah <laughs> yeah i already don't know what's going on yeah uh, all right now it's correct now it's correct players are not yet not yet there huh? yeah give give them time because okay of course for of example course. okay wesley had quite some time now to to sort things out i think this is kind of important that if you make such a blunder uh then then you have at least half an hour to to calm down because Imagine you would have to play in five minutes. It's just impossible. Yeah, but in some sense also, he has more time to think about it, which he doesn't want to do. Eh? Yeah, but... But that but... probably goes more for like longer time period. Yeah, like if he had a couple of hours, he would be quite upset probably. Yeah, Very hard yeah definitely. Say. And we already have action. And see we have action, yeah. I've played in Vesli Su against Jan Nyapomnyashi. So that's really the way to start, yeah? B5C5 is too strong. For yeah, B5C5 is... I mean, we fell into this trap. Uh, Vesley yeah. was not alone. But it's very rare that we are playing two steps with one pawn, yeah? In the first two moves. Yeah, it's uh, kind of... But okay, also in normal chess, there are some situations where it happens, yeah? Like D4C5, we play D5 and we are happy. Yeah, and then look at this. Matthias Bluebaum says, you know what, Magnus, I actually pretty much liked what you did. Yeah. And he and Magnus goes... Aye, aye, aye. aye. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Typical Magnus. So he wants, he claims after B3, he plays probably B6, yeah? And, uh... Wow. And in this kind of structure... Wow, this and okay, we are having point. actually this this position that fe- was featured in the previous uh, Magnus against Bluebaum game. C4, uh-huh. C5, uh-huh. B4, CB queen before B6. That looked very, very normal, yeah? I mean, it's a very solid way and uh, it's understandable that Jan knowing that actually, okay, he only needs a draw, he wants to be as solid as possible. Yeah, maybe he saw this game of Bluebaum and he thought it looked very nice and comfortable, yeah? Yeah, it's kind of flexible, yeah. But also Gretason it... played it, yeah? And he was also completely fine. Yeah, Gretason was also fine, yeah. That's it's, true, uh... that's true. But hang on, some breaking news. Hikaru Nakamura, Vladimir <laughs> Fedosev. Yeah, this is the bishop already... ended up on A5 immediately. What is this? Computer is saying that black is clearly better, yeah? Already clearly better. Just move what three. So it? what happened? F4, overambitious. Overambitious. Hikaru. Overambitious. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. Weakening oh, also in normal chess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this f4 c5, yeah, b3, bishop a5, bishop a5 the pawn. was probably very strong, yeah. Knight f3, there is queen takes f4, and that's the problem, exactly. And you remember, you you mentioned that probably it's not important, but we should highlight that the d2 and d7 pawns exactly, are the... exactly. Yeah? I remember you, you stands the moment, yeah, and this actually, no, but here it's very unpleasant to defend d2. Now, C3 was not his wish, yeah, when he started the game. Yeah, because, okay, now the bishop is completely stuck. Yeah, this Black opted terrible. for B5, and now Hikaru plays B4. Now he's trying to equalize. But he's not going to man because he has pawn on F4, no? It's a big weakness. Exactly, it's a big weakness. The diagonal, plus if he will ever... I mean, the knight is... Or something is landing on E4. But that's a bit surprising, bishop B6 immediately without taking, in my opinion. What if I take and play d4? I'm missing some tricks, probably. I mean, it's certainly a very ambitious move. Yeah, but I mean, just yeah. cbcb bishop b6 look good enough. Yeah. 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 Okay, but what what do you do if I uh, if I try that? D4. Yeah. Very ambitious. Yeah, I want to play uh, <laughs> e4 next. Ah, I thought that you wanted to play d4. With white. Yeah. 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 No, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, uh, why can't I do this as white? Yeah, takes, takes, d4 will be played, I guess. Probably we will see it, yeah. Bishop b6, e4, maybe you yes, see it start to jump with the knights and it's over extended the whole thing. Yeah, maybe overextended, yeah. For example, bishop b6. Ah, and Hikaru goes e3, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, liking probably. this to try to be as flexible as possible. Yeah, but uh, I mean, this bishop on a1 is may- maybe c4 is some intention, yeah, on the next move. Also, maybe get this bishop to f3. Yeah. 
I mean, this bishop on e8 looks like a monster. So what do we do? I'm not... It's not so terrible for white. Yeah, if we get bishop f3 and... Yeah, knight cd6. Uh -huh. <laughs> Still hunting for the d2 pawn, yeah? <laughs> knight c4, yeah? Knight c4. But bishop... Uh, bishop f3, you play knight c4 anyway. Uh -huh. I mean, it started as a joke, yeah, that the pawn on d2 can't be a weakness. And no, then... Okay, it's something that you should always keep in mind, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But knight c4, there will be some knight takes e3. Very unpleasant threats, yeah. So many tactics, yeah. So many, but mainly for black. I mean, maybe white needs to include knight bc tempo just... Just to stop the all, all Just things, to get yeah. this extra tempo protecting the d2 pawn. Then okay, probably you go back with probably the bishop. bishop b6, yeah. Yeah, then okay, I go bishop f3. I mean, I just like to knight c4. Yeah. Now please be careful. <laughs> and and be careful with the bishop on a1. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I mean you have to be careful both strategically and uh, tactically. Yeah. yeah no, I mean knight takes is... knight takes d2 is probably quite quite. A this day. is horrible. This is definitely horrible. Now bishop a5 was a great move. Great move. Bishop a5, yeah. This this bishop on d8 is such a special piece, yeah. Yes. Yes. Because you you just your your brain is not used to this motif. Yes. Not at all. But speaking of bishops, uh, this Greta's on bishop now is uh, <laughs> one of the saddest I saw in a long time. Oh my god. Oof. <laughs> I mean, basically, at in in two of the games, White is in some kind of a trouble. Big trouble. No, here there should be big, big trouble. Uh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, how I mean, poor Gretarsson after this previous game. Yeah, it's very tough to play. It, on it's all connected. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, yeah. if he would have played, uh, I mean, he would have won that previous game. Then he would have played a completely different um, opening. He would have never played e4 probably. Yeah. Okay. Hard to say on first move, but yes. I mean, you remember we we discussed that e4 b5 actually felt fine for black. Yes, but C3, we even want the D5, yeah, but maybe yeah, but he thought... I mean, also C5, yeah. This... Oh, C5 looks also You, you very, just very... Can't, can't block your bishop like this. Yes, yes. And D4, D4 bishop, bishop B6, B6, I mean, probably you had to try B3 here, but... If it works. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. not, to, not to block like this, yeah? Yeah, no, this looks... Tx takes knight bc bishop b6 bishop c2 knight f6 knight even, e, even e5 yeah no, don't know if there is any need for it but it looks pretty pretty strong pretty tempting well. yeah very tempting no it's it's clear advantage yeah. i don't know queen but queen f4 then you go rookie one and castle on the next move yeah so maybe maybe not so impressive yeah but i mean also that yeah it... yeah also that because e5 you can never play with white yeah even yeah, knight g four or even knight d six. Yeah, e five bishop takes f three. Looks exactly. Also, this knight is ah, coming to c four. Uh... This also, is kind shouldn't of forget. Lost, yeah. Shouldn't forget that perpetual is great for black. But it's not Adusatlov style. Yeah, no. that's true. That's true. You are. Yeah. No, I mean, he, he he just wants to crush already. I mean, he yeah, he wants blood. to crush everybody. Yeah. Okay. I feel that we have to move from this. It it even. No, this is too sad. Just to look yeah, yeah. at this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, too painful. Yes. And and what about Wesley in a must-win situation? Yeah, and, and Black relies on this very solid, flexible setup. Yeah, I quite like it. It's very like this uh, as a Queen's Indian player, you should be really happy. Yeah? Exactly. This is very Queen's Indian-esque. E6, Bishop A4, Queen C7. And yeah, Wesley is just uh, too. I mean, this is a little bit unrecognizable. The, normally, yes. he he likes Knight to control things, and now he's trying some blitzkrieg. I'm I'm not believing in this. Yeah, this is a bit premature. Yeah, knight e5, knight f6. Usually, this always backfires. Yeah, that you you have to build with fundament your position because otherwise you will be countered. Yes. Queen c2, knight e4. Yeah, I mean, idea, the idea is that you can even play bishop f6 on the next movie. Like, let's say queen e3, you play bishop f6. Yeah, and there is this pin. There is a very annoying pin. Okay, knight cd3, can we still do? 
Ah, because you defend like that. <laughs> but if D6, it's protecting, yeah. But if D6, uh, you don't want to go to D7, right? No. <laughs> but... No, not at all, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then the C4 pawn is falling. The C4 is falling, but also black is very solid. Not only is the pawn falling, but also yeah. no, this bishop on eight ninety four combo is just Excellent very powerful. Combination. Excellent combination. Wow, Wesley actually in a lot of trouble. Yeah, and it all started with the uh, with a fairy tale. Yeah, because he managed to win with white, and then he had this golden opportunity in, in game two in the first mini match with the Scandinavian. Ah, yeah, yeah, he was just much, getting much the better, upper yeah. hand after like three moves with the black pieces. Complete control, huh? yeah. And and ever since missing that chance, now uh, Jan is taking over. Yeah, there is so much psychology in all these matches. Yeah, 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 much more than if they just played, uh, let's say, run Robin. Exactly. If run Robin, different. then okay, you lose some game. Okay, not nothing really happens. Yeah, you lose some, you win some. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, good. life yeah, goes in, on. Yeah. In these mini matches, the the psychological and and the one who is coming, he is getting more and more confident and getting the upper hand, and then the player who is going downhill, it's uh, yeah, very tough. Very very tough. All right. So Jan in in control. In what complete... do we see? How is Hikaru handling his situation? Yeah, this is another weird one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to to phalanx somehow. Yeah, I mean some Exactly. Like the it's uh, he has a lot of pawns in the center, but it's not enough. Yeah, yeah. The, the only problem that he can't really kick this knight from c4. Yeah, and this in combination with the bishop on a1, let's say. Yes. If the bishop was on c1, you could defend d3, play d3, and have some reasonable chances. But but this one, yeah. I mean, he's not playing bishop f3. He had a couple of opportunities to play it, but I guess it's simply too sad, yeah? Yeah, probably he wants to keep some some hopes for counterplay, but... Like, I mean, the, the problem is that he even can't really activate the bishop like this because it runs into knight a3. Yeah, then knight a3, yeah, you win the bishop. Of course, it's even a question if we if we want to give, I mean, give up our knight. But, but probably it's... because you can just <laughs> put the next one there. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's uh, this whole match, uh, the, the first match, also the second match is turning out to be a very tough affair for Hikaru. Yeah. And Fedosev also gaining more and more confidence. Yeah, he plays very well now. Last couple yeah, of games, yeah, he plays very great. well. Exactly. I mean, we might be in for a thrilling uh, day three for the qualification. Definitely. I mean, Definitely. If if anyone thought that uh, it's it's certain that uh, Nakamura and Carson will qualify, no, not at mm. all certain. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Fedosev is very much in the mix, and uh, Group A is completely wide open with. Uh, with Abdul Satulov dominating and then uh, Wesley and... Uh, it's and open Yaku. for the second place, let's say. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What is now going on? Well, also very sad position. Hikaru taking his time. Gives us a chance to, to catch up with Magnus against Bluebaum. And, and look at this. Evolution Bar is very happy with the white pieces. But looks nice, yeah? The pawn on c7 is vulnerable. Like it remains a little bit about last game Fedosey of Naka, but in that game Naka had played the move d4, which gives makes such a big difference. Yeah, it's so much better to have the pawn still on d2. Yeah, the bishop on a1 is is open. Yeah, and d3, e4 is one possibility. And yeah, this also so. reminds me very much of uh, the the game between Magnus and uh, Matthias from the the previous round. Yeah, it's. Uh, Actually, Matthias relying on the uh, very same construction with, uh, with the white pieces. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The, this Queen's Indian style of uh, ready to castle, yeah, with, with short castle. But, yeah, but it's a great version, yeah? Like this knight on d6 is ugly, the bishop on d8 is ugly. Yeah, everything is ugly. Everything is ugly. But no big weaknesses, we should say, yeah? so it's not... Exactly, and it's only move nine. It, yeah. it makes me C6 feel that we have to also, check uh, out that what happened here. So C4, E5, B3, uh, Blue Bomb sticks to his uh, setups. Uh, B5, C, B5, Queen, B5, E3. I mean, seemingly he's doing nothing. 
<laughs> he's doing the same as last game, yeah. But then exactly. he was black. I mean, seemingly he he's just. Black. I mean, he he traded the C pawn for a B pawn. It looks like it should be fine for black. But the, this A5 tempo, yeah. Maybe this hunts uh, black bishop F3 takes takes. Now this is a tempo. Nice little developing tempo. Okay, maybe bishop F6 would have been safer here. Bishop F6 looks much safer. Yeah. I mean, but but clearly Magnus is also trying to find. He's also uh, yeah. He has this. Uh... Yeah. He wants to be a bit ambitious as well. Yeah? I mean, he wants to fight, yeah. So he doesn't Definitely. want just to to neutralize everything. Queen c2, very... yeah. Queen b7 and now knight e2, and uh, now white gets perfect harmony. Yeah, that was also a bit. It feels a bit like he's changing his mind on every move, Magnus. C6, yeah. queen d3. A queen d3, yeah. But why? Right. Yeah, but. Let's say I go knight b5. You said the problem that my knight is attacked. But where is this knight really moving from b5, yeah? No, I'm not moving it. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in moving my other pieces, to be honest. Yeah? <laughs> like bishop e7, maybe yeah, I will. Bishop e7, yeah. Yeah, I will move. castle at some point. Yeah. You slow, slowly want to crawl out. Yeah, yeah. Because long term, okay, I have maybe. Better structure, yeah? But it's very far in the future. These three pawns. Yeah, now it's a question that should I just play strategically, yeah? That, okay, just castles, yeah? Or or because now we have all these nice pieces, is, is this h4, look h3 idea possible? H4, look h3, yeah, interesting. I mean, uh, somehow it feels, especially now that the knight moved towards b5. But some, I don't know, yeah, there is this d5 and the knight can come to e4 maybe. But d5 is also, before you have castle, very risky, yeah? Yeah, because, okay, knight e5 is Yeah, coming. knight e5 and I will struggle to defend all my pawns. Or the pawn on c6 specifically. Yeah, and and if you are not in time to get d5, knight e4, then rook hc, rook g3 will be annoying. It will be annoying. But still, yes, I'm not... You don't buy it. Not 100%, but it's inter it's definitely interesting. Yeah, first of all, okay, Magnus also haven't decided yet where he puts the... Yeah, knight. he doesn't... Can you go to e4, actually? Is that a possibility? Knight but knight then knight g3, yeah? Then knight g3. And again, I would really like to play d5, but I'm simply not in time, I guess. Because of the pawn on c6, somehow. Yeah. We simply queen c2, probably, yeah? It it feels, feels it feels loose. it feels like you need your rook on c eight or you need to have castle. Yeah, yeah, somehow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So actually, blue one putting some pressure, and if he would manage to to win, then I I don't say that uh, he has chances of qualifying. Probably not. But uh, first of all, he will become this joker player who can then suddenly beat someone. Yeah. He, he exactly. It makes a big difference for. Uh... For everyone. Yeah, for the other players as well, yeah? Because you if he loses all his matches, you they are sort of counting on it, yeah? Exactly. So let's see. Uh, interesting move by Magnus, bishop e7. Along, bishop takes f6. I would, of course, be tempted, but... Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, bishop f6, gf is obligatory. Okay, good news is that then uh, you will have queen b5. Yeah, I don't know. I was th actually thinking about knight c3 here, but... Uh... Ah, to stop it. Yeah, to stop it also, maybe I will go to a4 and c5 later if... if ah, but this is very interesting that you give up your bishop, seemingly for the fact that after gf6 you weaken the king, and then suddenly you start playing on the queen side. <laughs> One would uh, perhaps also call it illogical, yeah? But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it surprised me, and, and Knight C, because I was already dreaming of Queen B5, ah, you want to attack yeah, yeah, me, yeah. I will defend, and then suddenly you stopped me from Queen B5. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but uh, I don't know, <laughs> then play Rook A8, Queen A6, but it doesn't have the same... Uh... Doesn't, yeah. <laughs> I mean... And then this Knight A4, Knight C5 was a nice argument. Yeah. But okay, you have also some like f5, and if knight a4, you can jump to e4, something like this. Yeah, I... but I don't. Yeah, it's not. It's certainly very tempting. Yeah, it's certainly in the air. I I don't really see blue bomb actually giving up his bishop like this, but it's clear that Magnus really wants him to do it. Yeah, because then he gets a lot of chances as well. Exactly. Yeah, no. But I'm not sure that he would do it against, let's say, someone else. Yeah. 
he does it because he really wants to play for the win. Yeah, yeah his his tournament situation is very tricky. Yes. Uh, and wow, Hikaru is finally had enough. I mean, okay, he got he had enough of this bishop and a one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who who cares about pawn? Give me some life. Yeah, but it's I am very understandable. You cannot look at this bishop for more than ten minutes before you sacrifice something. Yeah. Yeah, and and how did actually Fedosiev give this chance? Uh, knight c4, knight fd4, knight d6, bishop f5, only a4, knight c1. Ah, he opted for e5, and now after takes, 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 Hikaru got the chance. Okay. Yeah, e4 was, yeah, e5 was a bit, uh, maybe too, wanting too much from the position. Well, we see that uh, Kongyutai agrees what Black is doing, but uh, we, we feel some dynamics for White, yeah? There is some dynamics for sure, yeah. I mean, we don't need castles anymore, or maybe we can move the rook and then castle. Exactly, like you can move it along the f5 if possible. Yeah. On the other hand, yeah, I mean, pawn, a pawn is a pawn, and uh, it's far from mate. How do we even capture it? That's the first question. That's the very big question. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure at all. B takes e4. It's the first move that comes to mind. Yeah, B takes e4, but also the structure itself is very strange. Yeah, so let's let's go look at four. Yeah, look at four. Yeah. Because if you would play queen g3, my idea was to simply play f6, and I thought it's... And then you will have some knight e4 tempo and so on. Yeah, it's quite solid. No, yeah. no, I I just want castles. Rook f4 makes more sense. But okay, let's so let's say I do it anyway. f6? f6, cemento, okay, castle. You, you castle, and now rook f7. I'm trying to be super solid, yeah? Oh, wow, okay, so you also just want to castle. I just but, want to castle, but, yeah. but okay, I mean, this is a, this is a fight. It's no, it's definitely a fight. I mean, you are still not castled yet. Maybe I can even go knight f5. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't rule it out. Most probably I will have to take it. Yeah. Take and then I take rook f5. Yeah, yeah not so... Yeah, yeah. you are still not, uh, not I mean, I play, D I play d6 and I guess I'm ready to castle next, but... Okay, but I'm pretty sure that Hikaru is relieved. Yeah, yeah this is maybe okay, but still... I think black is be simply better here, yeah? Even if he looks for more. Yeah, B takes C4 on the board. Maybe he has even some more um, direct way to... Like knight F5 immediately is a move, I guess. Knight F5? No, first, of course, I wanted to suggest rook F5, but uh, you will simply not take it, yeah? You will then play F6, F6 anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I also feel that this knight should move to open up the bishop. Yeah, yeah. so knight F5? This maybe is more uh, more direct. You have to yeah. take it, yeah? Yeah, it's on the board. Yeah, knight f5, knight x f5, rook f5. Just one move away from heaven with short castles. This is simply tempo up compared to the previous line, yeah, basically. Yeah. And so tempo what... matters. What tempo? You played d6 or what? I mean, if you start to move the knight, then the compensation feels very decent. Okay, of course, if the knight moves, then there is this hole on d3, but I, I can't uh, open up the diagonal, yeah? Then queen g3 is coming, and it might end up with checkmate. Uh, I mean, but I, I feel that you need f6, yeah? Yeah, but I'm thinking probably... Uh, f6 may be smart, yeah, because you can't really take uh, the pawn, yeah? Then my but okay, king... I castle, yeah? Your castle and anyway, this I mean, d6 is it will be similar to what we just had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just wanted to highlight that yeah, this this knight can't really jump because anyway, it opens up. Then white comes queen g3. It's, yeah, but also uh, d3, I will simply pick up the pawn. Probably, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, but but even like you mentioned that eventually the knight might come, and after knight d3, then just queen g3, ignoring the knight. On exactly, d3. exactly. You need this knight for defense. Probably, I, actually, the knight is quite well placed on e5. Yeah. So d6? Ah, d6 first. Yeah, d6 played. Probably not a big difference. Yeah, he will end away castle. I'm not so tempted to take the pawn on e5 twice. No, 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 of course. Then, no, castle then, okay, will Black will be super happy. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm expecting short castle. Yeah. But I think f6. And it's, you're quite... Far from creating real threats, right? 
Yeah, short council played. I mean, no, maybe no need to do it immediately, but why not? I, I quite like it. Ah, by the way, it seems to me like Magnus is making some progress. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's just quickly check out everything. Ah, I mean, the, to... the queens got traded. Yeah, after castles, queen b5. Knight e5 takes, takes, look a8. Yeah, looks like he's fine now. Yeah? Oh, okay, still one move away from short castle, but look a7 can always protect the vulnerable d7 pawn. Yeah, for example, knight c5. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. This is key, and then if Magnus castles, then connects the rooks should be fine. Should be fine. In looks fact, fine. potentially with this pawn structure, maybe he can also try for something. No, no, he's play he does he's going for this position because there is potential, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about Wesley against Jan? This is a very important game. A bit odd, yeah. We thought that he was going to be better with black, yeah, but okay, he's 10 minutes up on the clock. Ah, 10 minutes up on the 10 clock. 10 minutes <laughs> up on the clock, and it's only move 16. 10 minutes up on the clock, yeah. Queen yeah, that was the be a also, he needs only a draw, yeah? He only needs a draw, but we yes. have already seen that this is tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm thinking like, uh, you know, uh, there are some ways maybe to trade and... Yeah, and, and the h5, this is actually also very nice. Nice touch. Creating counterplay h4, then if the knight lands on f6, it will be perfectly harmonious. I mean, West is also trying with his pawn on f6 to block the bishop on a8. And now he tries to, uh, yeah, to break out there. Yeah? H4 or even H3, yeah? you can continue. I mean, Possibly. honestly, I have never ever seen this construction in my life. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very Fisher random construction. <laughs> I, I think this is only unique for Fisher random. I mean, in classical chess, it's just impossible. It doesn't happen. Yeah, knight is the knight is the pawn d2 pawn. But usually it's not so great, yeah, I guess. Because no, not, not great I'm at not... all. Unfortunately, black has this d6, e6 pawns. <laughs> I mean, you are simply completely dominated with white, yeah, these knights. Yeah. And they also, very... Nayang can play by hand. Yeah, I mean, he has very nice intuition. Short yeah. castles. Yeah. But at the very least, it's something. Yeah, it's something strange and it's something. There is not a clear way for Black to, let's say, uh, make a draw in this position. Huh? You have to just play it. Yeah. And, and I wondered if eventually, somewhere, some F4, F5 ideas. Prob probably that will be the idea. Huh? Yeah, I mean, of course, we will weaken the e4 square, but but at least, I mean, we know that we have to play for a win, then f4, f5. In some sense, nice. it makes it easier, yeah, because you <laughs> you don't feel the same responsibility. Exactly. When you need to win. So how do we... I mean, okay, some rook h5 business, is it normal? Rook h5 looks quite normal, yeah. I think it feels normal. Eventually, also maybe going rook a5, hitting the bishop. A bit, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know exactly why this bishop is really disturbing me on a4. No, matter. because it's quite empty actually. Uh, this bishop. Yeah, it's it's kind of empty. It's more psychological. That aha, okay, let me. It's the one that is the furthest uh, advanced. Ah, yeah. Jan played knight e5. This is a very nice was a Very very nice move. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not allowing this f4 that his knight gets stuck on g6. I guess you simply can't afford to take it. Yeah. You have to play some knight f2 or something like this. Yeah, you have to move the knight. But that's the problem. Knight f2, I got knight g6. What do you do then? Wow. Yeah, that, that's cool. But just to highlight it after knight e5, d5, in fact, the queen is trapped. Yeah, the queen is trapped. And, uh... I mean, the queen just has no way coming back. The pawn on d2, black is coming, queen c5, and just yeah, yeah. wins, dominates the game. So yeah, to knight e5. White has to move with the knight, but knight f2 runs into knight g6. Knight runs into knight g6, which is a bit... It's very professional, but also a bit dirty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, what can you say? So, okay, basically, this means that white needs to play knight e1 then. Knight, yeah, probably knight e1. Maybe queen c5. Oh, bishop c2 was actually played in the game. Yeah, bishop c2 was played. <laughs> There is also this possibility to take and put place the queen on c5, which will be a very yeah, nice. It's very player. tempting. Maybe even to d4 later. I mean, but also, if... at, at some point, I'm curious about this bishop b7, bishop c, but it's too slow. Yeah? I will never be able to. Ah, you want to trap that queen, yeah? I think there is no need, basically. Yeah, probably you will not have enough time. Yeah. After all, white will anyway have the chance of going f4. Yeah, yeah. 
Wow, okay. Okay, okay but uh, yeah. That's Things are looking quite minutes. good for Napoli. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He has 50 minutes against six. Move 20. Yeah. But on the other hand, okay, Wesley can hope for some, uh, still some fight. Yeah, the position is not and simplified. It's definitely not simplified, but also it's definitely very pleasant for Black. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. I mean, basically, without castling, you solve the problem of your king. Yeah, the look on H8 yeah. feels quite nice. And also this fact that all these repetitions, yeah, with the knight back and forth and so on, that they never work for white, yeah? That you have to actually try to fight. It, it's a huge bonus for black. Exactly, yeah, that's a really huge bonus. So, okay, it seems like Jan has to make up his mind. We need to update the Hikaru game against yeah. Yosef. So nothing wow, much went... had happened. Yeah, we, we, we captured on F5, D6, short castles, F6. Queen G3, Queen D5. Bishop C3, cement. And H5, 92 on the board. Uh, he was maybe not in time to castle short, yeah, with black rook, because the F6 pawn was hanging. Yeah, and that's why he set up this H4 counterplay. That's why he had to play H5, Rook H6. Yeah, yeah, so basically after H5, yeah, it would be a blunder with White to capture an F6 because takes takes H4, kicking the Queen, and Queen G5 runs into Knight F3 check. Exactly, exactly. That's over. So basically it gave the chance for Black to win time with H5, Rook H6. And but, now... Uh, but the Knight is coming to F4. Knight f4 is a big question. What is his idea against it? Okay, probably queen e4, knight e6, look g6, yeah? But also the pawn is hanging on h5 after queen e4. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, queen h3 and you I... may... Okay, yeah, hard, yeah, hard to say, but, but knight f4, queen f7 is also a move. Yeah? Uh, just to come back like this, yeah, and okay. you are setting g6? No, I mean, yeah, may maybe, yeah. Hard to say. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, because probably, then, yeah. in fact, then look h5 is coming or knight h5, whatever. No, you are not. But h4 stepping. first, h4 first, and then we will see. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Basically, the point was that if you play queen h3, then we already have g6. Then we have g6, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh mm, what, very what, sharp position. Very sharp. What else is there? No, he's cooking up something very, very creative now for sure. I mean, knight f4 is, I mean, definitely the most natural, but it has to be calculated first. Yeah, for sure. And also because knight f4 traps the own rook, yeah? So exactly, if, exactly, exactly. Yeah, maybe also some queen hd, knight g3 ideas just to keep an eye on the f6. Queen h3 a little bit calmer, yeah? Also asking yeah. black how he's... Let's, let's check it out, yeah. How do you react? Yeah. I mean, it's not a threat yet on h5, so we have one move, but... Okay, but my <laughs> next move is going to be knight g3. Yeah, exactly, I, I'm not sure what I will do with this move. Yeah. yeah. No, I had one, but it's actually knight f4 is a big problem, yeah. Honestly, I feel that I would actually prefer to be white in this position. You would prefer to be white. I mean, in a, in a rapid game, yeah, I, I don't know about classical, but I simply feel that it's easier with white. To be jumping around. But I should be able to get something very solid as black if I want to, I guess. Maybe not. I mean, I was thinking about something like queen e4, knight g3, queen g4. Or oh. Something in that style. Yeah, yeah, if I want to claim that I'm okay at least. But uh, yeah. normally I would like to believe that I'm... I can play for advantage as black, yeah? I mean, the other point... Yeah, but rook... after my comment, you decided to be solid, yeah? <laughs> Except like rook 1f4, queen b1, and yeah, some repetition, for instance, yeah. yeah. Like but this. okay, hang on. Uh, actually, Wesley went on to sacrifice a piece. Wow. What what has happened here? So bishop c2, Jan played g6, and Wesley jumped on the opportunity, knight f4. Yeah, why? Uh -huh. And g5 Jan was... goes g5, uh, says like, you want to sacrifice, please sacrifice. Okay, takes, takes. So black, I mean, white gets two pawns, queen f7, queen f5. I, I feel that the, the potential break with f4 is the key. Yeah. And eventually also the knight landing somewhere on, on f5. No, definitely the break, yeah, will be coming soon. Yeah, break will be coming. There is, a... there is a game here. 
There is definitely, I mean, this is definitely a good turn of events for White. Uh, I mean, knowing that he is a must win situation. Because it looked so depressing. Not only, I mean, was it a bit worse, but also very depressing, yeah? Exactly. And here it's fun. Here it's definitely fun. Yeah, and uh, the big question also, how Jan will adjust to the new situation? Yeah, that's... Uh... At least he has time to adjust. This is a big advantage for him. He has the time, yeah. I mean, after Queen F5, now I'm wondering that does Black have time to play Rook H5? Uh, Rook H5, yeah, to... I mean, to, to try to threaten something with G4. Okay, maybe... If F4, you want to play G4 or what? F4, G4. F takes E5? Let's just have a look. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. We have a, I, mean, must have a look. I always love to sacrifice Queens, but how many pieces are we... No, I take with the knight. With ah, the knight. you take with the knight. Yeah, so I have double attack. Yeah, and Rook H5, by the way, on the board. Rook H5 on the board. But here, I mean, I'm just spotting some queen B7. I'm not sure what is going on here. Maybe yeah, that's yeah. a big issue. Yeah, that's very important. Okay, knight okay Rook H5, at least I'm happy that I managed to... You managed to predict Jan, but you, you predict yeah. one move today. It's already something. <laughs> uh, finally, one this? move. Look, H5. My heart is, you know, shining. But actually, ah, can we? Hmm, I'm I'm thinking if I can play D4 with the same ID, like D4, G4, F, G4, something like this. Well, but the point is, I I actually noticed this that I can't play G4 while you did not push F4. Then you have Queen F4, maybe. I mean, yeah. also have this square, but okay, maybe you mean, you let's say sacrifice. Could, yeah, d4. So g4, you want? Queen f4. Uh. Yeah, because queen f4, I, I have knight g6, however. You have knight g6. But uh, I mean, I don't know, for example, what is this? Takes, takes fg4. Fg4. And then uh, actually, it's. Uh, no, it's simply your. I mean, everything is hanging. Yeah? It doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, it doesn't look. The knight on easily protects g2. But we no, can no, also uh, yeah d4 on the board. We, we can also cut down a little. Yeah, maybe just move the knight. <laughs> Should also yeah, be considered. I mean, my feeling was that if you don't play f4, I'm not starting g4 yet. Yeah, it's uh... so let's say I play just knight c6. Yeah, to a little bit more. Or hang on, hang on. Do I have this devilish uh, and zug? G4, queen f4, and g takes f3. G4 played. He played G4, huh? Eh? I mean, because I have this Twish and Tsuk GF. Okay, just to highlight that Queen is trapped after DD. Yeah. This that's... is quite stunning. No, that's very nice. Yeah, but and after okay, G4... if you have to recapture, then suddenly you lose this F takes G4 opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. But let's say I play this D takes E5, yeah, which was my original idea. When? After G4 immediately. Ah, wow. Okay, so you just... You don't yeah. care. I well, I care, but what can I do? <laughs> I'm already in this position. Yeah. But hang on. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I have to take. Knight takes. Yeah, and knight G two is protected. G two is protected, but the issue I had was that it would be very nice if the F file was open, and maybe you're now in time to close it somehow. I'm not sure. Yeah, it feels that it should be fine, but yeah, Vasily will have to sacrifice because. Queen f4, g takes f, ah, and queen f4, gfc on the board. But now the engine gives a big advantage for black. Yeah, exactly. No, of course, after gfc, I was so relieved, yeah. Uh, okay, gf, gf on the board. Ah, gf, gf, yeah, he wants to move the king and go rook g1. But yeah, it's the only idea. Hard to believe, very hard to believe. But I mean, the, the queen on f4 is so vulnerable now. Yeah. No, the other queen sacrifice would have been very interesting to because rook knight and lots of pawns. Okay, probably we, we were blundering something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's yeah. usually it. <laughs> I, I have the feeling, yeah, because... Wow, if... knight g6, bishop takes g6, yeah, queen g6, king h1, but this doesn't feel... Or king, feel f... Oh, king f2 is too much, probably. Yeah. They're running into some... Yeah, no, king h1, he has to hide. But king h1, I mean... <laughs> no, but it, yeah, it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit too much. Yeah, queen h6. That's the more sober, sober response. And the endings are not looking very appetizing. Yeah, yeah no. But you cannot skip the queens. Yeah, that's very bad news for Wesleyan. Yeah. 
that's a bit sad. Yeah, and he's also done to one minute forty. Okay, for only for one move, but uh, yeah, but uh, the the sad part is that yeah, he he doesn't. I think he, the position is currently exactly. his main. He <laughs> doesn't believe that he can have enough here. Yeah, yeah. No, but without queens, it's of course a different story. Yeah. Yeah, this GTX FC was super important. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if he missed. I'm hard to say. Also, with one minute or two minutes, impossible to keep track of everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it goes look G1 check. He gets the five minutes, but. King F7, I guess. I mean, now uh, Jan is getting more and more confident. I mean, in general, I feel that he played this game very nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. He, he I mean, he went. The flow. He went for this complication with G6, G5, which maybe were not necessary, but also in, in his style, and maybe he simply knew what he was doing. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. This, this is how I felt, why I felt that he actually shows some yeah. confidence, yeah, that uh, he, he, Another... he starts to trust himself very much. Yeah, that's always a great sign. I mean, takes takes knight f5, you can even go rook h5. Yeah? Rook that's... h5, exactly, yeah. That's, you cannot uh, that's defend the knight with e4 and... Because if White would be able to get somehow d5 and d4 together, d5 and e4, bishop, then some chances. Yes, but uh, White will never have this time. Yeah, rook h5 is a big problem. You think Just to show, right? yeah, e4, knight takes e4. Yeah. Or rook takes f5, even simpler, actually. Even yeah, simpler. Does, that doesn't matter. Basically, the bishop yeah, opens yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, then it's and, finished. And uh, wins the game. Oops. Yeah. And so without, what? yeah, queen h6, look h6 on the board. I mean, you can maybe play... King g2, very, I mean, okay, it shows super class. Yeah, that, okay, he he needs to evacuate the king to f2. Yeah, it shows nice class, but also it shows how hopeless his situation exactly. is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> both things at the same time. I mean, I, I always feel very sad in, in such moments. Yeah, when, wow, king g2, what a move. Yeah, getting king f2 is fighting, but the position is bad. Yeah, what to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's very sad. Yeah. That's okay. I yeah. mean, he would Okay, keep... basically here the, the smoke has cleared itself. Uh, Jan is in total control. We can move now. Yeah, I think let's go back to Hikaru against uh, Fedosev. Wow, Monster Knight on d5. Monster Knight on d5, but still pawn down and still pawn down. Pawn on h4 is maybe a bit far advanced. Okay, this is a very special structure. Yeah, with this h4, h5. Yeah, this rook on g4 will be quite nicely placed, I guess. So queen yes, uh, c3 or. Hang on just very quickly. So well, what it was, look uh, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. he opted for knight f4, queen uh, f7, and this. h4. h4, yeah. Quite a surprise. Bishop Highly c7, surprising. now e4, uh -huh. bishop d8, and then king h1, queen e8, and then takes, takes, and yeah, because black was already probably setting to land the I think g6, g6, yeah? Or knight g4 also. Yeah, yeah, something. So Hikaru had to take and jump yeah. with the knight to d5, and now look g6 played i still can't really evaluate who is who is more happy here yeah very hard to say very hard to say but it depends on, on this rook also on g6 forced lines yeah that where, where is this queen moving let's say it goes to f3 and then rook g4 ah g3 g6 yeah you want g3 g6 i don't know you can aye, take aye, on aye. f6 but uh, g3 is hanging at the end g3 is hanging okay yeah, I that's mean, okay. Just just quickly to highlight this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Takes takes and then probably luck can take on G3. Not Very that this strange. Page, not so clear, probably still. Yeah, but yeah, no, not clear. Yeah, very strange position, but okay, it's uh, at least clear idea. Yeah, clear idea, and also unlikely that black is in danger, let's say. Yeah, so Hikaru still has three minutes and three <laughs> more moves to be played. A tough decision, very tough decision. I guess the solid way then would be to go to e3 instead, yeah? Just to have possibility to retreat later on. Queen e3 is the solid move. I mean, solid is maybe... Okay, rook g4. Yeah, rook g4, g3. g3. But here, I'm, if I don't do anything fast, I feel I might... Yeah, I mean, I also worse. have some queen e6. What is the... Okay, my idea was uh, with some g6 and eventually some queen hd check. Yeah, yeah, I will play probably king h2. I have to try. Yeah, yeah. king h2 is very nice professional move. 
Because but I anyway, my, G6 my, is uh, very double-edged. Double-edged because you kick me away, you get King G7, complete stability, but Rook on G4 is trapped. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah, and the, you have this monster knight, we, we never know exactly. We never know what this how is. How to evaluate, yeah. This very is tough. Some incredible mess, yeah? Because also this Rook is trapped on G4, but you cannot really attack it. Yeah? Exactly. No, very, very difficult. And who position. knows, maybe Black will even be in time to break out with F5. Maybe, maybe. This the yeah. H4 pawn is a potential weakness. Yeah, it's it's very tense. No, yeah, he goes tense. for your move, Queen E3. He goes for Queen E3, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rook G4, he needs to play G3, yeah. But also these pawns on the Queen side, yes? C4 and A4, they can quickly become vulnerable as well. They can be vulnerable, yeah. It's... Probably white who has playing trying to get stability, yeah? despite being uh, pawned down. Yeah, after all, this monster knight on d5 should compensate for the should compensate for the pawn. Yeah, yeah. But even this, not so. I mean, like queen trade, for example, not clear whom it benefits. Yeah, because then e4 will be weak and g6, f5 will be much easier to play and. Exactly. <laughs> Simply not... very complicated. Yeah, very, very complicated. So tough. And then basically the players yeah. will have to make very important decisions before time control. Yes, and very difficult ones. Very difficult ones. Yeah. Yeah. So basically th this rook g4, g3 played queen e6, not yet. Pardon me. That yeah, that's also on. not. I mean, you have many options, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, yeah, I mean, hang on. The uh, pawn on h5 is not hanging. If, if it's not, I blundered the pawn on h5, honestly. Assuming you that you can't take. Uh, I also didn't say that it was hanging. I yeah, was... because I thought that there will be so many tactical options and whatever. But but okay, yeah, some G6 and the rook is... Uh... Yeah, rook is then stuck on H6. Rook H6. But okay, you can play H5 next. Yeah, it's it's not clear at all Yeah, what, what is going on. Also, if the rook wasn't on G4, there would be some... Uh... Some queen H. Total mess. Queen E6 played. Queen E6 played. Okay, very natural move. Very natural, yeah. But also very because rook H6, I'm threatening H5 to at least I will get out. Yeah, I will not be trapped. Yeah. And now it's Hikaru's decision. Move 30. Does he take the pawn on H5 or not? Very tough call. At least, yeah, he will because it's the two completely different character of positions we can get. Yes. This is always the, the toughest decision. Hmm. Yeah, otherwise it's king h2, yeah, that's the solid move. But it's a big uh, big step for black to get g6. Yeah, because after the, you get this g6, king g7, potentially f5 counter play as well. Yeah, and e4 is a bit vulnerable and very yeah. hard to create winning. I mean, yeah, uh, and Hikaru goes chance. for rook h5. Yeah, probably necessary, yeah. Yeah, he, he needs to go for it. G6. Okay, Fedosiev still has one and a half minutes to make his decision, but yeah, G6 looks so tempting. Yeah, what are the alternatives? Is there even an alternative? Well, I'm, I'm doing nothing, yeah, but... Yeah, but at least then I come back, yeah? I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it should be quite good for White, though. Have an extra pawn. I huh? mean, the, the problem is that due to this monster knight on d5, all these tactics with rookie for queen e4, queen h3, king g1, don't yeah, work because there is no bishop b6 check at the end. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. The knight is dominating this square. That's that's the key element in white's defense. And some bishop a5, I'm not really at going attacking anything. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then one also feels that this bishop on d8 is very important piece. Yeah, it's a nice, it's nicely placed. But on the other hand, g6, it's not clear if it, like rook h6 does it actually help black. That's ah, why but... it's so tricky to make this move forty. Yeah, I mean move thirty. Ah, but let's say, uh, let's say you play g6, rook h6, mm -hmm. king g7. And if h5? And if h5, my idea was actually rook g5. Rook g5. Ah, because you have queen h6. I have queen h6, but on the other hand, it's only one check. Or and, I have rook and h8. Rook is hanging. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, this is played. Yeah. G6 had to be played rook h6, and the players are taking it from there. 
Let's uh, let's make a quick tour. So sure. Abduzatulov in total control. Total control, winning. yeah, winning and also it's only a draw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the previous game was the big chance for uh, Gretarsson. Yes. Uh, Jan is uh, comfortably better with a piece up and he only needs a draw. Yeah. And uh, the big question is about Magnus. Yeah, Magnus is more, this is maybe the most tense. Yeah. It's it's very tense. I mean, okay, uh, th this match is not decisive uh, for the tournament standing, but it might be very important for Magnus. It's very important for Magnus, yeah. For Blibram, yeah. because actually honor. it's also under some kind of a pressure. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. You mean some rookie Ivan is there, for instance, and yeah. I mean, I I also see some scenarios that it can uh, go wrong for Black. No, definitely, definitely, it's uh, it's very, it's very tense. But but of course, okay, it's an end game. Still lot to play for. All eyes on Nakamura against Fedosev. Yeah, F5 is... on the board. F5, yeah? F5. Mm -hmm. So H5 runs into Bishop G5. Yeah? Wow, wow, wow. H5, Rook takes Bishop G5. <laughs> Rook G6, Queen G6. Takes, takes. And Bishop... is, is it over or this knight starts jumping? Yeah, I was. It's not. Uh, but okay, you take on g6. Yeah, I probably take on g6. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then okay, you are at least super safe. Super safe. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay, this is not not to be recommended for white. And you cannot take, of course, on f5 because the knight is hanging. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, if if black disbalances the knight, then white's construction collapses. There is this stupid move, queen a7, but. Rook f7 looks simple, but then some then queen a8. Just go let's some say. queen a8, yeah. Queen a8, and then maybe I'm ready to take e takes f5 later. Huh? Wow. Because I'm defending my knight from yeah. a surprising square. Huh? Actually, this is. I don't know if there is some rook f8, some repetition, maybe, or. Well, there is that, but also already rook f8, e takes f5 is a. E takes f5 thing. also very messy, huh? yeah. Yeah. Wow, I mean, okay, but this is uh, kind of a little bit strange from Fedosev, yeah, that, I mean, he just got the five minutes and in such a critical moment, he blitzed out the move f5. Yeah, that's that's a bit odd. But okay, queen a7, also queen f7. Queen Maybe f7. More solid. solid move, yeah. But it doesn't really feel like white is in danger, yeah? Oh, actually, very Well, hard. it will depend on the next yeah, couple Yeah, of very, very hard to say. Uh, Maybe he's yeah. still in danger, yeah? Of I, course, it seems like you are in time or even to take and then go each. I mean, the, the rook will not be trapped. No, the rook will not be trapped, but maybe I can still be in danger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He is also taking uh, a lot of time. He's down to 3 minutes 20. Yeah, it's super critical, yeah. Huh? Yeah, very critical. I mean, after all, there is a lot of pressure on him, yeah, because if something backfires now, then it might cause... I have much... a feeling he will find some solid way, yeah? like to liquidate into a very drawish position. Yeah. I mean, Queen A7 looks very tempting. It looks very tempting. <coughs> Queen F7 probably is necessary, and then uh, yeah, somehow let's... trading some pieces and... Let's check this out, yeah. That, uh... Check it out once more. What are the options? So, for example, if we just take on f7, yeah, take rook. with the rook, and, and now, if, and if we just break somehow with h5, maybe also just e takes f5, yeah, just e f, yeah, because gf, uh, you knight have to e3, take knight e3, exactly. I mean, rook takes g3, knight takes f5, and okay. or even rook takes f5, yeah, and then this, this knight uh, might be very strong. I mean, some rook d6 double attack on the rook. I mean, on the bishop and with knight h6 yeah. check. Yeah, queen a7 played with 221 on the clock. But now at least increment. But still, these five seconds you cannot rely on in such a position. Uh, rook f7 played instantly. Rook f7 bleeds queen, out. Queen a8. Queen a8 looks very nasty. This looks very unpleasant. I mean, after queen a8, we were really worried. Really worried. Okay, you can go... I mean, Queen G7, but uh, I don't believe in this. Yeah, Queen A8 on the board. What is Fedosev doing? Is, is it his nerves? Why is he blitzing everything? Yeah, hard to say. Yeah, King G7 is it's interesting, but 
Yeah, but I, I just don't trust it. Yeah. Exactly. Like it doesn't feel like. I, I just can't trust King G7. Okay, but let, let's uh, let's see how we. I mean, okay. First of all, White has a draw at hand. Yeah. As a perpetual, yeah. Yeah. Wow, and he goes for Rook D7 and Rook takes F5. But what is this? It's just. He's just busted. Yeah. I mean. Just blundered. I don't know. I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see what his idea is. Rook takes G3 or what? No, I, 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 I think he just lost it. I mean, yeah, he lost control over himself. Yeah, lost, yeah. lost control. Yeah, because the speed, especially, is the worrying thing. Like knight f6 exactly. check now. Knight f6 check now is, is a disaster. Yeah, is a deadly threat. Yeah, knight f6 also. Rook f6, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like rook takes g3 and then knight f6. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because you will even give like rook h7 check if you get the chance and collect everything, yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is over. This is shocking. I mean, okay, he, he played such a good game. But yeah. okay, one one could feel when when Hikaru got the chance to play c4 and sacrifice the pawn that practically speaking, I think uh, he was not risking anything anymore. Wow, and uh, and basically Hikaru makes a giant step forward. Now this is huge. He beat Magnus yesterday, and now he beats Fedosev. So yeah, yeah. Basically, I mean, it it uh, his qualification is almost, almost clear. Yeah, yeah. Very close to mathematically clear, I guess. Yeah, and and I think practically speaking, maybe it's even more more powerful than than mathematically. Yeah, yeah, of course, and that's uh, that's always. <laughs> yeah, because mathematically there are always scenarios, but yeah, yeah, yeah. the I likeliness so. of those scenarios are just. You know, yeah. Yeah. Look at five. I mean, but but that's why you don't give Hikaru chances. You 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 can't let this happen. <laughs> okay, but it's easier said than done to not give him any chances. Yeah. Well, okay, but you reach move thirty. Yeah. You, ah, you mean like this? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, you you have five and a half minutes on your clock. I mean, spend the the Hikaru actually spend like two and a half or three minutes for Queen A seven. Absolutely justified. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. him. Do you think he missed King G seven rook F H five? Because that's the only only move, yeah. Uh, you mean this is the key? Yeah, I mean I don't know, but I'm speculating. Could be that he missed this, yeah. Yeah, could is, but I mean, okay, if if all your pieces are tied down and everything. No, no, sure. I mean, if he would think one more minute, he would not miss it. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree completely. Uh, this is clear, but maybe maybe this. Okay, also it's a nice theme, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it should definitely be pointed out. Yeah. yeah, wonderful team. But I mean, we we did not even uh, I mean it did not even cross our mind to move the rook from the F five. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, okay, like if if we just go back, I mean, already I mean, already F five, already F five is such a responsible we, decision. We are yeah. pinned here. We are pinned here. We are pinned <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the knight is. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, no. no, you you can't play like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Now Ooh. this uh, he lost control of his nerves, probably something like yeah. that. And now he's paying a big price. Yeah. Big, big price. Yeah, chess is such a brutal game. Yeah. C3 play. Also. Uh... Okay, this is a total desperado. I mean, okay. Just... Yeah, very hard to. <laughs> when, when you know that actually you you blunder the way and you are lost and already it doesn't matter. Okay, you you toss C3 in. Yeah, but. Uh... Yeah. I mean, D takes A3 looks quite normal to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I may suggest, yeah. I mean, what changed, yeah? I mean, some we, we just eliminated one pawn. Yeah, some rook D1 somewhere, or I, no, I don't know, no idea. No idea. I mean, basically, also, we, we have to highlight that, yeah, this rook takes D5, E D5, queen takes F5. Yeah, that's very important, yeah. Queen D8 check again. It's it's Black's king who gets checkmated first. Yeah. Yeah, and and for this line also, CC doesn't really seem to make a big difference. Ah, uh, it's we are really we have to work hard to find out where. Wow. So D takes CC. Rook takes D5. E D5 will be played. Uh, e D5, and now he wants to move this Queen B6, and he has some Queen B1 perpetual queen B6, ideas. Yeah. yeah, this is the this, this is, the is idea. his idea. No, but like the, the bishop, is, bishop is pinned. 
Yeah, but he's threatening maybe some perpetual because the pawn is not on D2. Yeah. yeah. I okay, mean, some... Great. Yeah, great practical chance at least. Yeah, well... <laughs> I see. mean, better than designing. That's no, much sure. better. Also now, King G7 is still a threat. Yeah, you should not forget about this possibility. Ah, so something like Rook H8 takes Rook F8 King G7 and then uh, in this line maybe there is perpetual in the end because because of C3. For example, Rook takes D8 and then? Yeah, let's say check King G2, check on C2, King H3, Rook takes G3. It yeah. should be very good chances for perpetual. Should be perpetual, yeah. And Rook G5 played. Wow, actually, I think. Wow, engine also, is now sitting equal, yeah? Also, I thought that there, because there is Queen F5 check. But how is it not an immediate perpetual? Exactly. I, I thought that it's just oh, a perpetual. It because you had moves, yeah? Ah, but Hikaru with 20 seconds, he, he panicked, yeah? He seemed Draw. to panic. Agreed. Draw, agreed. I mean, it just shows the tension, yeah? It's uh, wow, unbelievable. What a finish, yeah? We got carried away with, uh, with, with the evolution bar and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but yeah, it's uh, with with 10, 20 seconds on the clock. Uh, calculate all these lines. Okay, just to highlight after Rook G five, it's it's kind of easy because after okay, let's say takes takes Queen B one check. There is nowhere to to run after Queen F five because Queen F five check. Yeah. So White has to come back, and then Black keeps on checking. Wow. I mean, I I I'm really relieved that the game ended in a draw because. I felt like this was such a big battle between these two incredible players. Yeah, that, that's that cool. the two draws in the mini matches are absolutely justified. Yeah, no, that, wow, that's what what, that... what what an incredible entertainment. Yeah, that was a great game, definitely. And then C three, what a move! C three, it's it's actually very tricky. Huh? It's super tricky to defend. I mean, uh, maybe White could have just gone for a direct attack. But hang on, then we sacrifice the queen. No, and then C you sacrifice the queen, yeah. Okay, just to show this, yeah, because actually white is threatening checkmate like this. So probably black has to take, take, then cd2. But I mean, the knight can actually fall back. Yeah, or queen, queen takes a4 is also. A queen, queen takes, takes a4. a4, yeah. I mean, rook uh, takes e4, maybe. Queen a4, rook d5. No, rook takes e4, rook takes e4. Ah. I don't know, yeah? Looks like... Ah, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Rook e8 check, and you take with check on, uh, on d7. Yeah, Queen work. a4, rook e4, rook e8. Yeah, it's such a crazy position. One yeah, can yeah, go yeah, crazy. very tough. Very, very tough. And when the clock is ticking down, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just... Uh, very tough, yeah. Okay, okay. clearly we have seen that uh, Hikaru has missed something, but I think he was also kind of relieved with little time on the clock. Yeah, I mean, he could even lose it. Yeah, not impossible that at all. The, that the game ends in a draw. Not wow. Impossible. Okay, we have, we have no time to... No time. Calculate. We have to move. We have to move. Yeah, Abdul Satov has won his game. Uh, probably the game ends in a draw, but I mean, it's enough for Jan. It's enough for Jan. He doesn't care. Yeah, yeah but but I mean, it's also a very special construction. You you can't get to the HD pawn, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you yeah, have two pawns, yeah? So improve. You have two pawns for, for, with white, so you king cannot stop them both. Yeah, and okay, one one cannot feel but sorry for, for Blue Bomb that putting up heroic efforts, fighting uh, almost on equal terms against the top player, but finally at some point something goes wrong. Okay, for, we should not rule him out yeah, uh, yet. Should yeah, he might, but also down to 10 seconds. Yeah, but... How do you defend this? Okay, seven. But also how do you attack it? Uh, I mean... <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> okay, just make moves. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, King G6, yeah, H3 played. H3 probably a good decision, yeah, because there was at some point G4 was creating some mating threats. Yeah, Rook F6. I'm wondering if we trade one set of Rooks. Is it no, then I mean, with, with active Rook, it should be a win, yeah. You think so, yeah? Because then rook d5 was very tempting on the last move, yeah? Ah, very, rook very d5 tempting. like that, yeah? Very, very tempting. Hmm. Yeah, basically the players are just shuffling. There is no clear plan. No clear plan, no time to think. 
I mean, Rook B C five looks interesting also. No, I mean just to threaten with Rook C two check. Yeah, I think also okay. with other rooks. Magnus yeah. goes with the other Rook. Yeah, also makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And okay, down to few se three seconds, two seconds. Three seconds is almost. I mean, very very tough. Yeah, Rook F three. Rook F three. Rook C two. Rook F two. And then now we are you... getting this look at. I mean, I felt that this should be lost. You think it should be lost? Yeah. Honestly, I I don't see any. Yeah, takes takes. I mean, it's... some G four even. Yeah. Yeah, and and the king no is need, completely yeah? no stuck. Need. No need because you cannot bring the king. You just yeah, F6. can't move with your, you. You go and then f6, king g6, king f, and yeah, you yeah, start exactly, marching. Yeah, exactly, and you are stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King g6 simply, huh? Yeah, okay. Now he will go even. King yeah, now e5. he will. Uh, king f5 or king e5. Why ah, you I... think he will He will even go king d4, king c3? Yeah, could be. Magnus making giant step forward, actually. Yeah, but they are trading some pawns as well. But it's, yeah, it's too active. Yeah, I mean, after all, if, yeah, Magnus wins this match, then he will also have six points. He catches Hikaru. That is I mean, and then Fedoseyev is with, with four points and Bluebaum with zero. We see the clock stop, but uh, but the game is still in progress, of course. The game is definitely in progress. Yeah, I, I guess we will have suddenly some... Uh, yeah, maybe we can watch the, the video. The big screen, yeah? The big screen, the video feed. Should yeah, be it. It, yeah that's, that's perfect, yeah. So, Blue Bomb tries H4. Blue Bomb tries H4. So, G4 is the one that you would like to do, but... But, but what happened? The pawn is still on a5 or? No, no, it's on a3. It's on a3. Ah, so yeah, white, white look is on a5. So he's thinking now king b4, yeah? King b4 is what he's yeah. considering. Okay, he now we have move. it. But he doesn't and, do it. And then the rook on b3 cutting off the, the white king. On yeah, the yeah, rank. you have to. You even cut with one extra file, yeah? You can cut one step up and it's still winning. Exactly. Yeah, like king f3, pawn g4 is still winning. Yeah, it's completely hopeless. Yeah. And the body king G2, language. Yeah, king G2, king H3, you have to try Yeah, it. body language tells it all. Yeah, poor, yeah. poor Matthias. I mean, he yeah. knows that he, he put up incredible. I mean, he, he tried everything. Uh, by the way, Jan went on to win that game against Wesley. At the end of the day, okay, it was not decisive. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, but it's hard but to... actually, if it's some tie breaks or whatever, it might actually mean uh, it a might lot. matter. Yeah, this tie break matters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Matthias designs. He's yeah, he doesn't look so happy. Huh? Yeah, but but I mean, he's putting up incredible performances. Yeah, yeah, he could have scored many more points. Many more yeah, points with such players. I mean, when, when somebody looks at that, Matthias has zero points. I mean, it doesn't do justice to, to the performance he's No, delivering. definitely not. But it's tough. And he, I mean, he always down on time and uh, it matters in the final seconds. Yeah. Also, a little bit less experience. Yeah, of course. Okay. He is playing against these incredible giants. Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. I mean, but it's also sad because he has zero points. Yeah, as you say, he could easily have two or three. Yeah, but this yeah, format and, and also one has the feeling that, uh, judging from his play, that if he would score some points, he could maybe score more. Yeah, it's uh, exactly, exactly it's connected Hes with this feeling. Hesitating in some critical moments and so on. Yeah. Yeah, and then Magnus very relieved. He is very much in contention. We might yeah. be seeing the the standings, but basically it's easy. I think uh, Magnus has six points and shares the lead with Hikaru. Yeah, there we have it. Yeah, and uh, Fedoseyev is still in the race. I mean, uh, basically tomorrow we will have the Judgment Day. Uh, yes, with many incredible matchups. Magnus Carson against Hikaru Nakamura, and Magnus also up against uh, Fedoseyev. Uh, very special one. Uh, Abdul Satov has won all his matches. He has eight points. He's already secure, yeah? Is he? He's leading with five points, yeah? And they play for four, yeah? Yes, that's it, yeah. Yeah, so correct, because I, I don't see, I'm, I'm calculating blindfold on my screen. I don't. Do you see the points exactly? 
Yeah, he has eight. Nepo has five. West has three. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. It means that it, he's yeah. safe. Yeah. Well, then then it's all all depends uh, tomorrow on uh, on the matches. But Wesley still has chance. Yeah. If he wins against Abdul Sattlow and if he wins against Gretarsson, yeah, he he can get then to seven points. And yes. uh, yeah, so the tie break is also very important. Definitely. Ah, actually, you are right. Yeah, that it was quite important. Maybe that he lost, that he didn't hold this ending. Yeah, it could easily be. Yeah, that it was very important. Yeah. Wow. And uh, okay. Of course, if if Jan uh, Jan has everything in his own hands. Yeah. If he beats Abdul Satelov and uh, beats uh, Greta Arson, then uh, th there is no chance for Wesley. Yeah. No, I mean, of course. Yeah. If Jan just wins uh, his matches, he's he's through. Yeah, so Wesley yeah, must hope that Abdul Satarov keeps winning all his matches. I mean, what an upset it would be! Yeah, I mean, uh, Wesley saw so he was also so impressive. I mean, this yeah, uh, this two-day match game. started wonderfully, and it looked like he will dominate Jan, and then suddenly this game two in the very first mini match changed everything. Of course, but also yeah, in such a tragic fashion as well. Yeah, well, that that uh, that checkmate was already in the first game in the second mini match. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. uh, I, I meant that this uh, this Scandinavian stuff when he had this one ah like this ah you mean like this ah yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that was in, also in fact I would uh, suggest that we take a very quick look at that game because I mean the as as we know at this moment this was the de decisive turning point yeah yeah and we didn't really have a time to and see we it, didn't yeah. have the time yeah exactly when we left it looked like Wesley is in total control that's true he, he will win the the first mini match. Mm. Bishop c4, rook d6, fc, knight g6. Super confident play by Wesley. Bishop g e5, a3, bishop c6. Knight f2, knight b6. Bishop a2, bishop d5. And and we know that Wesley won the first game, so actually all he needs is a draw. Yeah. Takes, takes. Knight e4, long castles. Knight fc, h5. Uh, h5, h5 not was not even necessary, but f f5 looked very not natural as yeah, well. Yeah, just bringing, but but okay. I mean, the position of course looks very very nice. And then here suddenly Young creates some counterplay. With here he started to create a bit of play. Uh... Exactly. H4, Bishop f2, f6, Rook a1, and yeah, he Young is making good use that he hasn't castled yet. Well, he's confusing it a bit. Yeah, confusing matters quite a lot. Yeah, knight f4, bishop takes b6. Maybe uh, bishop takes b6 was also underestimated by Wesley. This is this is quite a stunning move. I mean, it's so easy to, to blunder this to move. To only yeah? think about a5, yeah, and then probably some knight bd5, and there is a fork on e2, and... Yeah, I mean, all these dynamics... Mess continues, yeah, but bishop takes b6, maybe white is just attacking for free suddenly. a5, and then bishop b4. A, b6. Bishop takes c3, b takes a7. It's not possible, so... Yeah, also queen c5 check is there. Yeah, queen c5 also. Yeah, so a6. Wow, well, look a4. But now it's just a pawn up, yeah? Exactly. Now yeah, it's and, just and then pawn. from this moment on, yeah, Jan... Jan was okay. kind of... Okay, some, <laughs> some big mess still, of course, but... Uh, but at least white is, is playing for the win, yeah? Yeah, white is playing for a win. And d4 also... That's good nerves. That's good nerves, def definitely. Yeah, queen b5, and yeah. ah, this is how. And this is where we we, we arrived again. Yeah, this was exactly. Saw. And then we felt like this is this is practically lost. Yeah. Takes takes, and then also this look at, and okay, that that's it. Now it's yeah, that's finished. it. This was yeah. So mm. basically, the turning point was maybe that black should have not wasted time with this h5 h4. Yeah, was... maybe f5 immediately and uh, stop this. Uh... King b8 also at some point, yeah, just preventing a4. Yeah? Exactly. Maybe that was the the easiest way. Yeah, just just to control everything. One or two more like careful Wesley moves usually here. Does, yeah? Exactly. Not exactly. not to give any chances, and uh, basically afterwards, yeah, it was such an emotional game. And then what happened in game uh, in the first game of the of the second mini match? Then this uh, checkmate at the end. Yeah, this we don't even want to. <laughs> yeah, we already about. talked about it enough. <laughs> In in any case, yeah, what what a turn of events. Jan yeah. is very much back in the tournament. Uh, Wesley needs a miracle tomorrow, and uh, group group B is is still wild with, yeah. with Fedosev. If he's able to 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 beat Magnus, then he has all the chances. But he has to kind of beat Magnus, yeah, to have any chances. 
he has to. Yeah, he has to beat. He has to beat Magnus. And he also has to win his game against Bluban, which is not given at all. I mean, Bluban will fight for. Yeah, yeah, definitely, one. definitely. No, yeah. he can also actually. I guess uh, if Magnus loses to Naka, he can maybe make a draw with Magnus. It's hard. To, then it will be tiebreak. Yeah. yeah in, in any case, yeah, there are so many different uh, scenarios general, yeah, there yeah. that I I uh-huh. don't even dare to think about all all the things that. I mean, I, we have I only to say, know that we have, we will have tons of dramas tomorrow. I no, mean, for sure, for sure. For that's sure. that's guaranteed. I mean, all these fun. nerves and uh, okay, you you just can never be sure. And Magnus has two very very big uh, matches, yeah, against uh, Hikaru and against Fedosey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, okay. Last words, uh, Niels. What, what what do you think about today? Uh no, it was of course very very exciting. I'm not sure. There are so many, uh, so many games to think about. So it's, I'm a bit overwhelmed, but I'm happy. I mean, it's a pity that uh, that Gretason lost this game. I really think because it would make it so much more interesting. Exactly, uh, and also a, a pity that Blibam didn't make at least one 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 match. Yeah, which he definitely could have done in all these chances. Yeah. Yeah, one really that has would have the made that it more. He, he deserved it, yeah. Yeah, more dynamic a bit, but it's still uh, very, very dynamic with three players in contention for for both spots. So, yeah, will certainly be be a fight till the end. Yeah, and we will be back tomorrow. the The usual time. I mean, yeah. uh, quarter to five, uh, ten to five. We don't know exactly when we are getting the fresh positions yeah. for for game three, Judgment Day. So much at stake. Uh, Wesley needs a miracle. Uh, tomorrow, Magnus has to perform at his very best. Uh, Hikaru is also trying to to qualify, secure his first position. All the dramas to look forward. We will be back. Uh, thank you very much uh, watching us and enjoying this lovely event. I mean, this event is fantastic. Fantastic. And yeah, uh, yeah it's it's tiring for the players, tiring for us commentators. I believe tiring as as spectators, but we are just enjoying these tremendous fights that the yeah. players are performing. Thank thank you very much, and uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>